let's uh, let's see what the lies of P are all about. New game. Not that we have a choice. That's a lovely watch. Oh, when in shock, your character's stamina recovers immediately. Uh, uh, recovery immediately decreases. In honor of the great writer Carlo Collati. He's Italian. Can you hear me? I, I can. Oh, the blue butterfly. So I read up on all the Pinocchio lore, the original story. There's something about a blue butterfly for sure. We need your help. Oh boy. I can't believe this pretty boy is made out of wood. Uh, 75 people bear this surname. 75 people in the entire world are named Pinocchio. Wow. Okay, so that was... I like how they didn't explain anything. I just wake the hell up. This does not look wood. I'm, I'm sorry, but I do not look like I'm made out of wood. What kind of puppet did he make? Have you? That's actually pretty crazy, Dragon. Of course, he's a pretty boy. They trying to hit more demographics. All those Timothy Chalamet stands. Oh my God, yeah. My left arm is steel. Oh, there you go. He, he saw my. I'm a. I'm a cyborg. I'm part human, part. Uh, part. Uh, part robot. Gemini. Gemini tigers in this. Jiminy, sorry. Jiminy, not Gemini. <laughs> Wait, Gemini, Jiminy? Is that the same thing? Do we call... Oh, no. I'm trying to think how is Gemini spell his name. I'm pretty sure it's another E, not an I. I'm like, are we supposed to call Gemini Jiminy, Jiminy now? <laughs> Anyways, it's, it is Jim, Jiminy. Oh, my God. Jiminy, Jiminy Tiger. He's not Gemini anymore. He's Jiminy. <laughs> um, use the belt. I press up and down to select uh, upper belt, lower belt. It's fine. Cricket. I know it's Jiminy Cricket. I know. I know. But it, it, I, I'm used to seeing Gemini. And so I'm like Gemini. And then they said Jiminy. I'm like, oh, no. <laughs> you don't think G Gemini likes to be referred to as Jiminy? They spelt it the same way, man. Um, equip items and gesture on the belt to use them. So... I don't know if the cricket in the original tie in the original story is called Gemini, uh, Jiminy, Gemini, Jiminy. Um, do you 100% this? I'm going to Loki. Loki, how you doing? Welcome in. I hold X to down to uh, activate the extra bag and to use an item. Okay, interesting. Cool. So that cycles through my stuff, and if I want to use it, ah, the extra bag. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Man, I walk so slow. Gemma has the bound to queen yet. He wouldn't tell you not to do things. He'd say do it pretty much. Delete the game is unplayable. Not made of wood. Pff, right, Andy? It looks more like a TV show once upon a time. Oh. Find something that might help. What am I going to find? A weapon? Got to kill stuff. Let's go. V. I wonder what that V stands for. Someone's brand. Someone's logo. I like how um, Geppetto has but lovely swords in his. Not safe. Arm yourself with one of the weapons over there. It'll be helpful on your way to the hotel. Yeah, I know. I, Jiminy Cricket is the Disney version. There was a cricket in the original story, um, but uh, spoilers: Pinocchio kills him instantly, and he comes back like as a ghost or a spirit or something. I was reading all the stories and stuff. Uh, trying to like see what like where everything went and all the other stuff. He has no name exactly, but he gets killed instantly. Pinocchio's like, what the hell? And he throws something at it and accidentantly kills the cricket instantly. I was like, what? Are you serious? I'm like, damn. Uh, <clears throat> path of the cricket balance. Okay, balance, dexterity, strength, path of the sweeper. Do I just uh, we, we do we lean into my bastard right dragon? Do we just lean into my regular playthrough? I mean like I could do balanced, balanced is nice, but I mean like we all we already know I just go strength. Shows you the stats. It's not an unreasonable reaction to seeing a talking cricket. That's true, Pixie. But he's a fucking talking wood, like he's a he's a puppet. He's a talking puppet. <laughs> he's literally like a talking cricket. How does a talking puppet? 
Cats are doing something crazy. Doesn't matter. You get the other weapons almost instantly. Okay, well, I'll take strength for now. We'll see how I like it. Do I have like a like a Jarvis? Who's talking to me? Why would you freak out when you have no knowledgeable yet? That's true. Disney is lying to us. What's next? Dumbo doesn't have big ears. What is Dumbo even from? Oh, interesting. I guess that was lightning. That was lightning. Okay. I thought it was. Oh, what? Someone's just dead down here. What is going on in this place? Everyone's just dead. Holy crap. What is going on? Okay. Oh, normal attack, special attack. Hold down to charge. Ah, what, what, what block? Uh, dash is a uh, guard is L1. I'm like, ah. Ultimate defense technique. Got a counter. My goodness. That rain is loud. Just a theory Dumbo is from Dumbo. I know, I know. But I mean, like, is it from another story? Did they, did Disney actually create something? Or was it another, um, oh, this guy gets up. Use the Legion arm? What the hell did that do? I came into Jimmy Cricket being wallpaper paste. How's it going? I'm doing good, Sleeping Beauty. How you doing? Gemini is... Jiminy is talking. Did you already forget of picking him up? Wait, was that... I did... Oh, that's what... That was him? I thought I was investigating something. I didn't see anything on the ground. So we're in Kratz, I guess. Sawtooth wheel. I'm not sure what that is. Okay, there's nothing else I can really do except for go forward. Yo, Ames, welcome in. How you doing? You all right, Sleeping Beauty? This is a Souls game, Dragon. You didn't know? This is a Souls like. It's it's very more. It's much more similar to Bloodborne and Sekiro with the countering or with the parrying than it is with uh, the other Souls games. But uh, it's it's supposed to be really well done. Am I doing a death count? We can reset it, yeah. I'm sure Yona will be happy to uh, keep track of it. Um, pulse cell. Use a pulse cell to recover HP. So we got our heal. Let me just uh, edit it. Um, oh, wrong way. There you go. Perfect. All reset. One of the best Souls games. Dragon, yeah. So, Dragon, you didn't know? <clears throat> w should Andy? Yeah, uh, we should. I swear the air in the building is blowing cold and I hate it. That sucks, Kim. Not from some... No, not from from soft Dragon. Um, okay, this uh, there is a maximum number of time pulse cells can be used. When you reach a maximum, the cell will be discharged. If you attack enemies while the cell is discharged, the pulse cell will be gradually charged. Oh, that's cool. That's really nice. I didn't know how the heal worked in this game, but as you attack things, you get your heal back. That's cool. I haven't looked at it closely, but I've seen it in Steam, but never read the page, okay? So it's all about... Ow, okay, that was bad. Let's see how long my battery lasts when it's almost dead. So I can just... If I pressed up and square... Boom. Little heal. Okay, not bad. Not bad. Oh, another guy. How about I just... Kill you before you get a chance to do anything? Thank you. Very nice. What's this? Dim Ergo Fragments. Okay. Only the last heal, though. Oh, only the last heal. Okay. Okay, I mean, so that's still better than nothing, but... Okay, I always miss the first attack. That's not nice. Instant battery drain? Instant. No, well, no, no, no. Andy, 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 Andy. I'm, I've used this controller for the rest of Saturday's stream, all of Sunday's stream, and the first 20 minutes of this, but it'll still probably last like two hours. Now, the real question is how long my other controller will last, because that one will probably not last more than three hours. Uh, from a view aspect, this game, in my opinion, feels more fluid. I mean, yeah, maybe. We'll see. Can I even go up here? Totally agree. It's silky smooth. Open the door. Do I want to open the door or do I want to go this way first? I feel like this door probably won't even open. It's probably locked, right? The station employee has the train station keys. All right. Time to get the key. Is it charged or charging? Oh, um, you mean the the battery? The, the recharge, I think, it, like Iona said, it's only the last charge. Uh, you can block enemy attack by guarding if you guard it successfully. Your character will take reduced damage, but it will continue uh, consume stamina. The reduced damage will be transferred to a guard regain. 
Guard regain accumulates, but gradually decreases over time. While you have guard regain, you can attack enemies to recover HP. So it's kind of like Bloodborne. If a guard succeeds right before... If a guard succeeds right before being hit, it triggers a perfect guard. When a perfect guard is, uh, is successful, you will not receive damage, only stamina is consumed. If you can use perfect guard to destroy an enemy's weapon, it will put the enemy in staggered status. Oh, you can, sorry. Once you used up all your healing cells, you begin to recharge one. Okay. Okay, interesting. Ah, you mother... He's got a gun. Can I run? Ah, this is not good. Ah, no, multiple enemies, not fun. Multiple enemies are never good. I was not expecting that guy to shoot me. Okay, instead of going up there, let's go check down what's over here. Once you used up all your healing, yeah. Pixie, you had a lot of fun with this. You finally started your level one run. Got the 100% on Steam. Look at this guy. Look at this guy being all sneaky, huh? Okay, not bad. Charge up attack, just move. Is there even a dodge? D does this stay up the entire time? Like, do I have all of the buttons here the entire time or what? Thermite. Nice little bathroom over here. Okay, so we got do dodge and dash, so I can run. We got the stamina be a meter there that I'm just noticing now. We got lock on, which I haven't used yet. An extra bag. We got switch weapons. Oh, you can switch weapons on the fly? I only have one weapon now, but okay. Oh, it's just a tutorial thing? Okay. Just the tutorial, I think. You can toggle it on and off. Okay. Hey, Aya, welcome in. How you doing? Yo, dodge. Dodge, how are you? Only for this area? Or just in the tutorial area? We're going to get to that tutorial boss, I, I would imagine, at some point. Is this guy... Okay. I love the uh, the little light he's got on him. Dodge, dash, d duck, dip, dive, and, and dick. <laughs> My god. Um, oh, rear. Fatal attacks. From behind an enemy and press R1. Okay. Do I have to sneak up to him? Fatal blow. Why? Why even make a trophy for something you're just going to force them to do in the tutorial? I mean, cool. I like it. But... I don't know. It's, I mean, like the first perfect parry. Oh my god, I'm really bad at that, huh? Ah, motherfucker. I'm gonna be real bad at that. His attacks are so long. Like, I have to get used to that. This, with anything like this, it's always gonna come <clears throat> with repetition. You've earned a part. Exactly, I got a participation trophy. Oh, it was breaking their weapon, not a perfect parry. But I mean, it almost ended up being the same thing since. They're, apparently, they're so weak that the perfect parry will do that. But that's interesting, Yona. Thank you for clarifying that. Passenger notes. What do we got here? If anyone finds this note, get out of the station and run. Be sure to steer clear of the waiting room. I saw a huge puppet smashing people to death in there. I locked the door, but I don't know if, th if that'll work. At least it should stop people from randomly coming in. I'm going to die soon, so I want to help you, even if it's not much. Please survive. Anyone. And with the rapier, one parry. Oh, so the strength weapon breaks their weapon faster from parrying. That's interesting. Strive, welcome in. How you doing? Good morning. You're working on getting uh, Steam 100% for this game along with getting the plat for this on PS5. You're doing it twice. Niji, nice. Let's see if I can parry this dude. Oh, no, never mind. He just wants to be... Wait, what? I missed the... What did the tutorial just say? It's something about jumping? Whoop. What did the tutorial say? I missed, I totally missed that. Right when I got up to him because I was gonna attack him in the back, I realized that it said something and then I totally, I totally missed it. Oh shit. <laughs> that guy came out of nowhere. Ah, nope, not good, not good. Concentrate, Dua, it's not my fault. He came out of nowhere. Yo, Bacon Mage, welcome in, how you doing? He literally popped up out of nowhere. Ergo is life. Chamber of Machina workshops. So there's a lot of puppets that are existent. Okay, so it's not just Pinocchio. Liza P time, it is Gamer. Gamer, how you doing? Welcome in. Random note on a silly achievement. Uh, Terraria, after 10 years, added an achievement to make a crafting bench. Wait, really? So Ergo is life. Krat Central Station. We've got some dim Ergo fragments again. I love the, uh, the aesthetic of everything. It's very cool. Although it's obviously devoid of life because everyone's been killed. Welcome in, Baker Maid, uh, Bacon Mage. How you doing? Big uh, Liza P fan. What's up, Dulcie? Welcome in. Yona, you went with speed or did you go balance? Ergo Proxy was a weird show. 
I've never heard of that. What show is that, Dragon? Oh, lock device. Also, what what was that little bit of of tutorial I missed? That just reminds me of it. Yeah. There are doors and ladders all throughout Krat that are locked by devices. You can unlock these doors or go down the ladder to create shortcuts. Very nice. Here is the door. I should probably use my heel and slowly build up a new one, eh? Press the button. You played this six times? Damn, Niji. Sprint jump, if you recall? Oh, so how do I jump after I sprint? I don't know how to jump after I sprint. Is it? Nope, that's a slash attack. Yo. Yo, 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 Saki, welcome in. Thank you very much for the raid. I really appreciate that. If anyone doesn't know me, I'm Duo of Ryan's Streaming Trophy Hunter. We play games, we get plants. We just started Liza Pete today. I'm still in the tutorial. But we do a lot of gaming here, and we do a lot of crafting. On Sundays, I play my chill game. We're playing Potion Permit. I just started that, and that's where we met Saki. Saki is another fellow Montrealer, which is really cool. They do a lot of art. Uh, definitely go check them out. I have to drop you a follow. I know you you just uh, you just popped into the community, but it's always great meeting new people, especially from the area. So uh, I know you do a lot of art, a lot of digital art, and oh my god, there's a gigantic puppet over there. But hopefully I'll be able to catch you sometime soon, Saki. Thank you very much for the raid. What were you working on today? Welcome in. Yo, Kassa, welcome. Potion Permit is a lot of fun. Look at this big boy. Okay. Do I counter this guy? Do I get smoked? Do I just... Not good. Man, they're... Okay, so I can block him. Oh my god. I am not good at that. Oh, he was... Oh, I thought he was gonna sweep. He freaking dashed at me. What a jerk. Okay, he's gonna do a two hit. There you go. Then we do this. I missed. Why am I bad? <laughs> Why? R3 is how to jump. Okay, I like that combo. Sometimes he does a three. I can't lock on. You're right. Sometimes he does a three hit. Sometimes he doesn't. That's the three hit. That does not go far enough. One. Oh, okay. I have to get used to this. Damn you. I haven't even been attacking this guy. I'm dead. Well, we'll try that again. <laughs> Fight and win. We'll try iron kill. My God. Um, what a game. We'll try, Mr. Bliss. I've died one time and uh, it was sprint and right analog press is what you remember. Yeah, that's how we that's how we jump. That is a big boy. So how does this work dying? Huh? Can't be afraid of dying. It's going to happen in these types of games. So I can. Oh, and ah, there you go. That's the little jump. How is that going to help us? My God, I'm so bad at that. Notice your hair became green in some places. Oh, Niji, I think that's just because of the green screen. It's just the light. My this camera picks up a color a lot better than my old one. So I think it's just the uh, the lights of uh, the green screen coming through the background of my hair. Green screen life indeed. Um, I went speed, but I used all kinds of different weapons throughout, including greatsword. The gr uh, weapon accessibility is great. Mechanic, you can make a weapon that suits you perfectly with a self-made combination of move sets and speed. You can actually change all the moves. That's pretty cool. The ambient lighting? Yes, something like that. It's just green frosted tips. Let me just fight this guy by himself. <clears throat> okay, you're dead, you're dead. I need to go pick up that other stuff, though. Wow, I can't believe I missed that. Went for a strength build. That's a big boy indeed, Saki. So, Saki, what were you working on today? Um, I missed what you said. You said working on a prompt from uh, for Stream Inc. A coffee cup with a f uh, cute floral and stuff. I usually specialize in characters, clothing, and weapons, though. Okay, that's pretty cool. Yo, Maggie, you want another dad joke? Let's try it. Another dad joke. <clears throat> my wife and I are finally fulfilling my lifelong dream of visiting the Golden Gate Bridge. What are you going to do when you finally get there, she asked. I said, I'll cross that bridge when I come to it. What do you call someone who points out the obvious? Someone who points out the obvious. These are weak. Weak today. Weak. Black Sheep, good morning. How you doing? Well, this is where we were. I can... Oh, so how do I get my Ergo back from this guy? This uh, Fibonacci joke is bad as the last two combined. Yeah. 
I'm uh, okay. Let me just. Try, I don't know how to. I guess I just picked that up. Let me just run around him. Oh, retrieve. Ah. There we go. Using use blade fable arts while guarding. Use fable arts. Hmm. Weapons have distinct blades and handles that each have their own fable art. Fable arts uh, uh, use up fable slots and the different fable arts use a different number of slots. Charge fable slots by attacking enemies with weapons. Okay. I wonder why it decided to tell me that. I guess that it filled up as we picked that up. Oh, got a full block. Ow, I tried to attack a second time like a fool. Ah, so bad. Ah, oh. Right, I, I... Oh, staggering. Hold R2 for a charge attack. While you're attacking, a white outline will appear around the enemy's health bar. When this happens, you can make the enemy stagger with a charge attack or with a fable art. Okay. Oh, and I... Of course I miss. I feel like that has, like, so little range. Sitting in my car waiting for it to heat up enough to drive you. Good luck. It's a, it's a rough morning. Yo, Boshi, welcome in. How you doing? Fatal attack. Face a staggered enemy. R1. Fatal attack can be performed on staggered enemies. If successful, it can inflict heavy damage. Interesting. So he already took heavy damage. And now he's going to take even more heavy damage. It's pretty good. Get another charge attack. Oh. Ow. Okay. Auto! Wrong button! Okay. Yeah, I might need a faster weapon for this. Because you're up in their face when you're countering. I don't think my strength-based weapon is going to work for me this time. Good morning, Black Sheep. How you doing? How long are you on today? I'll be on all the, most of the day. I have a medical appointment that will kill me if I have something cool to watch afterwards. It'll be cool. I'll be on until about 4 o'clock. Good dodge. Um, so I clipped earlier what you're asking, and it said circle. Yeah, yeah, no, thank you, move. Yeah, it was circle and the jump and the dodge and the attack and everything. Good, ready to start the week. I'm glad to hear that. So now there's nothing back here. We picked up that. Did we even get the key? Was there anything else here? I, I guess I must have picked up something. Totally missed it, though. Okay, so let's go back to where we were. We should be able to get through that door now. You got the key and the new frame. Uh, what What exactly? Oh, okay, it's armor. I think uh, Niji was talking about changing my appearance, but I'm not sure where I do that. We'll find out at some point soon. Happy time zone, Ava. How you doing? Welcome in. You're okay? You're going to plant Last of Us today? Good luck, Bosch. Start Wonder Labyrinth. Oh, yo, the record of Lord of War game is really good, Bosch. Yo, Darkstone, good morning. How you doing? Ava, how you doing today? How was your weekend? Look at this place. So that was the tutorial. We died once. I guess it's not horrible. It was bound to happen. Or maybe this isn't... Oh, Krat Central Station. On a rainy night. Does the weather change in this? Oh, look at that. There's a tree. Or it's maybe it's not a tree. Repair the Stargazer. Oh, it's not a tree. Okay, I was expecting a telescope. I was expecting a telescope, not an umbrella. Use a stargazer for fully recovering HP and stamina as well as recharging your pulse cell. You will be revived at this point in case of death. Remember, this process also revives enemies, not just your character. The Telltale Souls-like um, mechanic. It's on sale for 15, so a good opportunity to buy it. It's a really good game. Hopefully you enjoy Bosch. You look great as a blonde. Oh, you think so, Yona? She, looked, uh, she always looks great, regardless of her hair color. I think the Stargazer is just, is a the Stargazer is a ship in Star Trek. You're right, Queen. That was Captain Picard's first command. Use the Stargazer. What do we got? This is called a Stargazer, a marvelous device the Stalkers used in the past. Puppet Director makes danger estimates. Please reduce puppet numbers or reset danger parameters. As we are, we are not strong enough to beat the puppets. But if I lend my power to this stargazer for a moment... Gather ergo, clever one. This stargazer will make you stronger. But the stargazer's strength doesn't last forever. So be careful with it. Hurry up and come to Hotel Krat. Okay. 
Come to Hotel Krat. It's the same voice, yeah? Translation. There's a level cap on this specific area. At least that there wasn't the demo. I don't know if they updated the change. I would imagine there was probably... There's probably an update to this, unless this is... I'm guessing I'm still in the tutorial area. I've not seen all of Picard Dragon. I've seen the first season. I need to watch the rest. Um, what do I want to do? So, I mean, Vigors are stamina, I guess? Yes, it is. Capacity. Legion. What's Legion? Is that my strength? No, that is not. So motiv motivity is my physical attack. Okay. Or maybe not. The demo went for quite a bit, but a lot has changed since then, yeah? Bacon, uh, have you beaten this game? Dev should finish it. Was excellent. I need to, Dragon. I need to. We pee in here. We are we are pee in here. Plush. Plush Ebola. How you doing? Um, I don't even know what to upgrade. I guess... Um, hmm. I don't know. Capacity is more arm attacks and a higher weight limit on your armor. Oh. Arm attack. Hmm. Like my, like the L2 or whatever? Upgrade your lying skills? I'm a decent way in, but around the halfway point. Oh, okay, so you're not done yet. I'm well plushy. Uh, the green highlights show you... Yeah, I know, I know, I know, I know, Yona. It's just um, because both of these kind of increase it, right? But I have a lot of motivity. Like, no stamina. <clears throat> not enough ergo. Okay, well, let's level that up. Why not? What's advanced do? Oh, all my, all my extra stats. Lower decks for the laughs. I need to watch lower decks, too. There's so much Star Trek to go through. Expanding on advanced, it's mostly elemental attacks. Yeah, I, I saw that, Dragon. I have a bacon. I appreciate that. Investigate. Welcome to the city of Krant. In honor of... Oh, shit! In honor of, oh shit, this guy just came out of nowhere. No one respects, no one respects me wanting to read anything. They literally just, a fable catalyst, okay. In honor of Valentinus, who erected the cornerstone of origin. I mean, erected isn't even, isn't even an innuendo. They just went straight for it. They erected the statue, but I mean, like, in a game called Liza P, with the P organ and all that other stuff, I'm counting that as an innu- I'm, uh, the, Reading chat, you I know, right, Dragon? I'm counting that. If we're counting innuendos, we're counting every single time they talk about something related to penises. Erect, that's one. We need an erect, we need, we need an erect counter or something like that. Is there dogs in this? Oh God, no! There's puppet dogs? God damn. Oh shit. Yo, these guys come out of nowhere. We need a P counter, exactly. We need a P counter. Anyways, um, yo man, where are these guys? I know I should probably keep my eyes peeled. But Yona will say that no one's ever truly invisible. You just need to actually pay attention to what the hell's going on. I heard the dog. Obviously, I didn't see where the dog was. And uh, that other dude was lurking. He was lurking around. Uh, there, there's dogs in this? Thank you, Dodge. Appreciate the clip. Oh, there's a dog here. Oh, and the other guy came up. What is this thing doing? Oh. My God, the the wind up. I have to get I have to get much better at countering. You can just spam R three to find enemies. Really? What's R three do? Oh, really? Interesting. Even if they're on the ground, it doesn't even matter. That's kind of cool. Interesting, Yona. Nice tip. They put a raincoat on the statue? Yeah, it, it does lock on. Oh, more dogs. I wish I had a ranged attack. That'd be great. Oh, that, that did not work. Oh, no! Oh, shit, there's another one. My goodness. Dragon and I marathoned so much Star Trek to get ready for the newer series. They were each worth it for loads of reasons, and the writers did uh, did right by the material, even if it's years later. Totally worth watching the new stuff. I, I, I want to watch it. I just don't have access to it anymore, and I just... Um, sometimes it's time. We're re-going through all of uh, Next Generation right now, so that's been a lot of fun. We're in the sixth season. We're almost done the sixth season, so we're almost in the last one. We just got to the point where they have the second um, Riker that shows up on that... Um, the second Riker that shows up 
uh, on that space station when he got split and became like he uh, not necessarily a clone of himself but like a, a twin almost uh, the Krat Grand exhibi uh, Exhibition has been delayed. This decision was made to protect the citizens until the puppet frenzy that has recently paralyzed the city is under control. The occurrence began on Rosa Isabel Street, resulting in hundreds of casualties. While the cause is still unknown, the number of casualties and the scale of damage are both growing. As the crisis drags on, dragged on, the workshop of Venigni Company, Krat's largest puppet factory, announced that they would offer emergency supplies to citizens and do everything they could to alleviate the situation. So am I from the, Venid the Venigni? Venigni. Um, I'm, sh I'm sure I'm pronouncing that horribly wrong. Venigni? Venigni. Is the G silent? Venigni. Um, I'd have to ask my mom how to pronounce that properly. Because usually you, there's, well, there's obviously very specific ways to pronounce that, but Thomas Riker indeed. Um, in the big, 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 beginning, wait, what, Misty? <laughs> Anyways, so am I actually, is there a Geppetto in this? Was I created by Geppetto or was I created by this puppet factory? A task force is investigating the possibility of a fatal loss of the Grand Co Covenant, which is the control protocol of the workshop. Don't tell me. It's just a question. I ask rhetorical questions all the time. You don't need to answer my rhetorical questions. This is just the way I stream. Um of the workshop's puppets. However, there is no quick solution as of now with the puppet frenzy resulting in more casualties. As the city braces for a resurgence of the petrification disease, the citizens were advised to stay indoors for their safety. However, many citizens are trying to escape through Krat Central Station, intensifying the general chaos. So uh, did the puppets go crazy? Yeah, the puppets went into a frenzy and killed everybody. That's nuts. How was I supposed to know it was a rhetorical? <laughs> it's okay, Misty. It's a meme. Uh, be patient. I wonder if this is what Pinocchio expected when he wished to be a real boy. Mage Wolf, welcome in. How you doing? Don't answer anything he asks unless he repeats it constantly while swearing. Exactly, while sweating. That's it. If I ask the same question like 50 times, and I'm like, please, for the love of God, tell me. That's the only time you need to answer a question. God damn it. I always expect this thing to see that one attack fast, but when he's running at me, it's so slow. See, that one is slow, but the other one's fast. Okay. We're slowly learning how these guys attack. Doing all right? How you, I'm doing pretty good, Major Wolf. Did you play this? Okay, so there's a way down here, and then the, there's a way up there. But which way do I actually want to go? I guess we can explore up here, because this looks self-contained. Learn and then win? Yeah, pretty much. That's how it works. I know we need to go down. The dead? Oh, both of them. Okay, you're gonna die before the other guy comes at me. And then I will... There you go. Countered. That was the fast attack. I got it. Look at me. Look at me. Sawtooth wheel. And this thing is definitely closed. Okay. F me, man. No, no. I uh, know I didn't, but I've seen it before. Okay. Very cool. Very cool. I don't know. You don't... You're not a huge Souls game person, right, Mage Wolf? Like you, like you watch them. I, I, do you play a lot of them? Maybe. Like how they get up so slowly, I can just pretty much merc them. It's a mood. I needed the, that meme anyways, as my computer computer decided the, to close my writing program and delete a whole page of math already done. Misty. God damn. That sucks. Sawtooth wheel is a throwable. Throwables are actually insanely strong in this game. Yeah, because I don't want to get close to anything. These are not stairs. Okay, that guy's coming towards me. Guess we'll fight him. You can lock on from really far away. He's running at me, so it's going to be a really long... Oh, wow. That was not the attack I was expecting. Okay, that was really... I blocked way too late, but anyways. No, I'm not a fan. Fun to watch, though. That's what I thought. What have you been playing lately? I wonder if there's anything back here. Sometimes they can sneakily hide stuff, but I guess there's always a blue glow... Volunteers wanted the grand exhibition. Lorenzini. Exciting events. The most loyal servants. Is that the puppets? So puppets in this are like robots from iRobot or whatever. From the um, uh, Isaac Asimov sort of stuff. You didn't get some costumes, Dill? I just got a uh, worn of a few items when I started the game, yeah? I'm not sure. So how do I even change what I'm wearing? Equipment. Uh, ooh, obtained items. You obtained the following benefits. Alchemist hat. Um... Illusionary emerald glasses, treasure hunter's mask, treasure hunter's hunting apparel. 
Obtained items. Winter festive pe Oh my god, let's 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 go all winter festive. Uh, defensive items. Amulet, how do I use my as my I'm not even sure what any of this stuff is. Defensive parts. Is this a hat? That's not a hat. Liner. How do I change my costumes? R1. Costumes. Lower belt. Oh, it's actually costumes. Okay, so this has nothing to do with anything other than the way I look. Oh my god, why? Why? A dog mask? I like the top hat. The top hat's pretty cool. Santa hat's cool? My goodness. Do we just go around as the dog? I don't know. Can I wear glasses on top? Oh, I can't wear the glasses on top of the dog mask. Ooh. I wish I could have both. What? How is anyone supposed to figure that out? Costume? I know, right? I didn't see that. I, I, I don't know what I saw, but I didn't see that. It's my outfit. I don't know what the hell Iris is trying to do, but... Yeah, that's cool. I like this. Why, why am I a dog? I feel like this is going to ruin every single cutscene. Reindeer? You know, don't ask me. I'm no dev. Um, mm -hmm. What is Spider-Man 2 and FF16 DLC? How'd you like Spider-Man 2? Uh, let's see, what would I... Oh, a secondary weapon, eh? Does it change, like, my weight? So I have a new... I only have the greatsword. There's nothing else, actually. I have nothing else. Too bad. Uh, do I have any amulets? I do not have any amulets. Too bad. Oh, okay. Now it makes them better. I don't know. Iris is loud this morning. I don't know what the hell she's doing. She's playing around with something, but... What is this guy doing? He's just banging on the wall. Going crazy. Done is done. I should stop saying I sleep alone when Ona spends every night either fully pressed against me or just barely touching my arm. Bus driving pony, welcome in. How was the bus driving this morning? What is up? Hopefully you're having a good one. What is that? The puppet show? The puppet show. I'm assuming I'm going to have to kill those guys at some point. All the puppets went mad. Except for me for some reason. Well, I'm assuming we'll find that out at some point. Oh shit, dog. Dog fighting dog. It's a dog eat dog world out there. It was good, but the kiddos loaded off. And I got the kiddos loaded off to school. What do you got planned for your the rest of your morning slash afternoon until you gotta go pick them up? Hmm. I feel like obviously we're on a track. Do not, do not what? Obviously, the tutorial area, we're just kind of going down a path. We had a very small mini boss that I would hardly consider a boss. Although we did die on it, but, you know, it happens sometimes. Wait a minute. Didn't I come down this path? How is there something still there? Was that another path? I wish there was a map. That's the one thing with all these games. There's never a map. Is there a... I don't think there's a way to get there. I think the other one I went to was something else. No, no, there's no way to get there. At least not yet. You're just vibing a little cleaning, some eating, possibly a nap. Yeah. FF16 DLC is... Uh, the first part is out. And the second part is coming this year. Yeah, the Leviathan one, right? I Maybe... Well, I have to revisit the game to do... I played Final Fantasy 16 the first playthrough. I have to do the fantasy mode to get the plat. So we're, we will be doing that, Mage Wolf. Some enemies become red and use a strong attack called the Fury Attack. You can't dodge or guard Fury Attacks, but you can counter with a perfect guard. Okay. Become red and use strong attacks. So I can... Oh boy, look at this big guy. Even if you did have a map duo, it would still get lost, probably. Okay, do I want... Okay, that's the way the attack goes. Like, did I want to try and block that the first time? Probably not, huh? My god, why am I so bad? Can't block for shit. Ow, that was bad. Oh. Oh my god, the delays. Cut him in half. <clears throat> Perfect guardish guards. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to do. Not easy. I'm trying my. Oh, I have. There's a durability on this. How do I repair my weapon? There's a durability. <clears throat> Fun fact: This tutorial didn't show up in the demo until you die to one. Really interesting. 
Uh, you really don't need a map. The game is strictly linear. Is it? <clears throat> it's pretty linear. I mean, there's like little paths here and there and there's shortcuts in one. No one tell them. How do I repair my weapon? You're just going to let me... That's where I'm going. We're trying to get all the way over there. Kind of like the hotel in, um, what's it called? In, um, I don't know. I'm getting the, the, <clears throat> the first thing that popped into my head. Oh, this thing repairs weapon durability. Oh, thank you, Yona. Um, I'm getting the vibe from, um, John Wick. <clears throat> Wait, does that thing ever break? Do I just have an infinite amount of those? Yo, Melvin, welcome in. Even though the per first part was good, just a bit smaller, yeah? Even the first part was good. You liked it a lot, Mage Wolf. <clears throat> I have to go back to it to finish off the plat. Gotta do Final Fantasy mode. We'll do the DLC in Final... Oh, God, the guy with the gun. God damn it. All right, we'll just let this guy come towards me. He's dead. Okay, you. Come here. There you go. I feel like for some reason... Oh, never mind. I'm silly. That is not the case. Okay, was that the... One of these leads to that gate. Come on, doggo. You're just barking? Oh, he's, he's waking everyone up. Okay, you said that the sword... No. I picked up something that was throwable, but I don't know how to equip it. Block that guy. Nice. Oh, you're not dead. Yeah, there you go. Didn't get the notification today, but turned on my PS4 and saw you playing. Melvin, how you doing? Welcome in. What is up? Sometimes it'd be it, uh, twitch be twitchy. It doesn't always work. What's up, Tessa? Good morning. How you doing? Aya, have you played this or do you plan on playing this at some point? This looks like the path that I want. Yes, it does. Is someone going to drop down and ambush me after I pick this up? I don't know. Vin, uh, Vinigni Ur Urgent Repair Tool. Okay. Okay. Do you actually go through an entire boss fight and lose all the weapon durability before the boss fight is done? Like, is that a thing? I mean, it could be. It might not be. Okay, it looks like there's multiple ways for me to go. I can go up here or I can go to the other side. Let's see what's over here. Yeah, you do get a weapon that's stronger than the strongest weapon in the main game, so that's something. It's cool. I mean, it's New Game Plus. Oh, there's just an item, and then I fall down. Down attack. R1 or L, R2 while, fall while falling. Okay. Interesting. Very cool. Very nice. <clears throat> Love you, Phase 2. Tessa, how you doing? Got a little bit of snow in the nights, but barely worth mentioning. How are you? We got a shit ton of snow. We got so much snow, it's ridiculous. Yeah, this guy, that guy had a lot of durability for some reason. Depending on how good you are, durability goes down with attacks and blocks, but neither too much. Okay, nice block there. I'm sort of getting used to these enemies. Oh, can I even sneak up on a dog? Yes, I can. Oh, no. Apparently, I can't sneak up on a dog and kill him like I do with all the other people. Fable Catalyst. So, I, I'm, I'm assuming I'm getting a lot of material to use. But, again, we don't have that mechanic yet. The most loyal of servants. Or how loyal they are. Obviously, they went into a frenzy, so they can't be that loyal. They, they were missing the three rules of robotics. This is a very, um... Oh. Of course you have that mechanic. I already have it. It's already available. So which gate was this? Which shortcut was this one? Okay, back at the very beginning, I think. Ah, okay, I know where we are. Perfect. Do I go back and get my heals? Kill all the enemies, level up a little bit, then come through this? I think the lock-on, the front of the door of the apartment building has been frozen for a few days. I'm just using the back door now. Dulcie, that's awful. The three blue bars. The three blue bars at the top. Isn't that a special ability, Yona? That's a special ability. I have to press triangle to use it or something?
I will be careful. Do I even have one equipped? What's in my bag? We got all kinds of stuff. Pulse cell, monad, the lamp. Okay, last resort. Immediately, imme immediate character death upon use. Oh my god. Yo, Beck, you want a Canadiana? January 8th. Okay. Let's, um, let's try and beat this boss and then we'll get that Canadiana for you. Fable Catalyst. The Catalyst made to su supplement puppet abilities. Rapidly charges Fable. Oh, that's what it does. Okay. Urgent repair, throwable items. So you said we picked up the sawtooth. Oh, okay. Can I equip this? Select. Move to even equipment. My extra bag. Okay. Press down, I guess. Why not? Why did that not equip? Are you serious? Did I not just equip that? Can I not put it there? Oh. Wait, that was weird. Oh. Oh, I had to... Okay, that was a weird system, but anyways. Sounds good. More just slightly inconvenient, luckily, but it's a bit annoying for sure. I remember a stream I saw last night where someone accidentally used the last resort in the middle of a boss fight. Oh my god. That sucks. Okay, I only have one heal. Is it the boxing guy? No, there must be a, someone else. That guy looks very stationary. Wait, who is this? Oh. This guy looks like I can talk to him. Oh shit, it's... Oh! Stargazer activated. Okay. Nice, very kind of them. Hello there. Welcome to Karat, visitor. I didn't think there were any stalkers left to fight the puppets. Stalkers. Here? Figures. The whole organization fell apart. All that's left are wannabes and amateurs who think they can fight on their own. You ought to buy something while you're at the festival. You can't rely on yourself alone. So I am the only puppet that looks relatively human. So no one realizes that I'm actually a puppet. They don't even... Isn't the gigantic metal arm a dead giveaway? I guess. Maybe not. Maybe. Out here alone? You could use some help. Here's a festival gift for you. Now get yourself something useful. Okay. Purchase. So I can get throwable cell. Um, electric blitz apprehends uh, abrasive. So these are the weapons I could have gotten at the very beginning of the game, right, Iona? If I wanted to switch it up. So we have the great sword, is what we're using right now. Then there's the winter rapier, which is the fast one, I believe. And then there's the saber blade, which is um, the um, mid-range one or whatever. Okay, I just made tea so I can use the mug to warm my hands. Nice, that's nice, Kim. That is nice. Okay, so let's see. Puppet Saber's Blade. Do, do I want to stick with this? I guess we'll stick with it for a little while longer for now. What is this now? Oh, so this is practicing my punches. Not bad. The problem is... Wrong. The problem is, like, this guy is doing the exact same thing over and over. So it's really not any helpful to practice on this guy. Because, yeah, sure, you'll get the timing for this very quickly but it's not going to help when you it's not going to help when you start getting to different enemies that act very different like the timing for this is exactly the same every single time uh by the two you're missing you need all the weapons for a trophy oh okay well thank you yana i need all the weapons Burgess. we got this one and we got this one We've got them all. Wait, is this even better than what I'm using right now? Or do I already own one? I think it says I... Is that the one I have or is that the one that's available? Can I compare? Oh, no. A mountain bag. I already have one. Yeah, yeah. It's the same. It is the same. Okay, let me just use this. So, actually, Beck, the Canadiana isn't, um, isn't a, a date. Isn't a date. You have to give me a page number. Do you want page 8? Do you want me to do an early one? So let's get um, more stamina, more technique. Is there a way to like do more? What's it called? Mm. My weapon uses mostly mo motivity, but a little bit of technique. Is that they're one of the things that makes them break faster? I guess it's advance. Like if I'm blocking them properly, it kills their weapon even more. Is it break? Like the thing behind me right here? 
or is it something else? That's not for practice enemy attacking timing. It's for seeing how the weapons block and parry. Oh, wait, wait. So different weapons block differently. It's not just pressing L1. I feel like that should be the same no matter what. Uh, but he has a point with the different timings of enemies. Do they time? Do they block slower or faster? I guess with the attacks, while you're attacking it, you can see how quickly you can block again. That's true because sometimes you attack. I am. I am Chris. I am. We've already got one into innuendo. They talked about a statue getting erect. Um. Whatever. We'll just put more into motivity. <clears throat> All right. Well, let's go. Wait, okay, so the boss is up there, I would imagine. What's down this way? Always like looking at stuff. Is there nothing here? There's an item. Very nice. What is this? Introducing the parade puppet. He appears a terrify a terrific puppet that will enliven the parade. Here appears the terrific, sorry. Introducing Parade Master, a remarkable parade puppet model from the workshop to celebrate the grand exhibition. Hello there, I am the Parade Master. I like singing and marching with people. The Parade Master has the following functions. 16 jolly songs, cheerful laughter, and 54 parade phrases. Parade dances to delight children, the strength to carry six men on his shoulders. All you have to do is grab the string and pull and then let go, and he does all his crazy little marionette stuff. This parade master was made big in, com in commemoration of the Grand Exhibition. Check out its charms on the eve of the upcoming exhibition. All right, let's get out of here. Let's go kill the parade master. Guess his nose isn't the only thing that grows now. Oh, my God. Actually, I used a katana that can parry with the uh, charged R2 once I got hit. The timing was very hard to figure out, but it's so damn strong. You can parry with an attack. Interesting. Chris, how you doing today, man? How you holding up? Now right, let's go kill the parade master, the, the the tutorial boss. Took us an hour to get through the tutorial. Oh wow. Pinocchio is not fucking around. Busted open that. I haven't been using that attack though. How good is the arm punch? How good is the fisting? Some weapons and fable arts can do that. And seeing their timing is what this boxing puppet is for. He's the Chad. Look at this big boy. He looks like Robotnik. He's got a big Robotnik vibe. Okay, that was a bad block. Oh my god, my timing is awful. I should just dodge that, honestly. Okay, that was a bit better. This guy's slow as fuck. I'm very bad, though. I'm much better at blocking that move. I'm very bad at blocking that one. I'm getting that one very nicely, though. Okay, I fucked this guy up. I'll just run away from that. Get this guy pretty good. Ow, not good. Okay, he's fucked up. Ow. Fuck, I, why did I not bl back away? I'm such a fool. Okay, I'm very bad at blocking that one. I don't know why. And Okay, I'm bad at that, that one too. I Do the attack I'm good at blocking, you fool. I missed my chance. Oh, now he does it when I'm attacking him? I'm too impatient, apparently. Okay, well, that's my all my blocks. Okay, we get that one. Oh, shit. Here we go. Nice. Let's see if I can do that again with no... Let me see what my triangle move is. That's it. Oh, God. Oh, shit. Okay, he changed his stuff. Oh, no. Phase two. Oh, crap. He changed everything. Oh, God. I have no more heals for this. I was, I was doing pretty good, but he changed... He changed the rules. He changed the rules. Oh, man, I'm afraid. Fuck.
Ow. Okay. Well, thank you. Oh, shit. Damn it. No. He crushed me. That was not a bad first try, honestly. Does it have triangle, triangle, triangle? Oh, that does. I can do follow-up attacks. It does have that, Iona. I, I, I just realized that's what it meant. Thank you. All right, good first attempt. Before we get into the next one, though, I'm going to give Becker Canadiana. Upon dying in the boss area, if you die in a boss battle, death or goes created at the entrance of the boss area. That's at least nice of them. That's at least nice of them. All right, so I have this book here. When does damn? Uh, when does a homage? When does homage cross over into copying? Because this reminds me of the headless ape. Does it? I don't know. I'm not sure, Andy. I mean, it's not. There's definitely much different attacks. He doesn't jump in the air and throw his poop at you. Uh, but anyways, we got Stuart McLean's book over here. Welcome now to the Vinyl Cafe Story Exchange. Uh, he was a radio host in on CBC Radio many years ago, and he used to read uh, letters from all over Canada that people would send in. And this is a compilation of the uh, or um, of the best ones over ten years. Morning Taxi, how you doing? Tens, how are you? Love this game. I haven't finished it yet, but I, you're near the end. Nice Tens, how you doing? Bad Children get the stick is a rather weird phase change line did he actually say that i missed that that that's the one thing when you're in the middle of a boss fight sometimes you really miss the color commentary i can't believe you said that bacon so this one's called the height of humanity i don't know what my father did in the war except that he entered as a private and left as a master sergeant he was a pattern cutter in the garment industry in new york when he volunteered for service by volunteering he was able to choose the signal corp it was, though, uh, it was thought that this would offer an extra measure of safety, but it did not. Someone in command had a brainwave. When the first Marines hit the beaches, uh, beach on each of the island-hopping Pacific invasions, a working telephone should be waiting. Installing that telephone line was my father's job. By the time I was old enough to understand my father's war stories, he'd stop talking about the war. My brother, who's five years older than me than I am, heard all his terrifying tales of blood-curdling ba uh, banzai charges in the jungle night, and of men leaping into foxholes to escape the machine gun bullets, uh, or of stra uh, strafing Mitsubishi Zeros. But there was one war story my father did continue to tell, about how one night he did not shoot a looter. He was guarding a supply dump in one of the, on one of the Philippine islands. A young Filipino boy was running away with a case of something held over his head. My father said he should. He shouted the warning, stop or I'll shoot. The Filipino boy, never breaking stride, replied, I am not the one. My father laughed. He laughed whenever he to retold that tale, and it was the only war story he ever told his, in his later years. That story never seemed especially heroic to me when I was a boy, but now that I am no longer young, it seems to me to be the very height of humanity and good sense. My father died in 1995. There are almost certainly no military medals awarded for not shooting a looter, for not killing a starving, terrified boy in his own war-ravaged country, but maybe there should be. So here you go. As we're in a game surrounded by death from warring puppets and frenzied crazy stuff, uh, maybe we don't kill the little boys. Good day to you, fair trash panda. What's up, Taxi? How you doing? Welcome in. Uh, Tens, how are you doing? It's nice to see ya. Let's try this again. That's a good story, yeah. When I first saw this Puppet Master guy, I think the Dr. Eggman Robotnik. Niji, I said the exact same thing. It reminds me very much of Mr. Eggman. Honestly, I hate how my brain felt. It was more important to remember how to read the obscure text than most of the stuff I study in university. I think we're all kind of like that, Bacon. I mean, unless you're doing what you really love in school, sometimes it just doesn't click much like what you love, which is games sometimes. Ah, wrong buttons. Why did I think R1 was block? Okay, that was bad. That one is much delayed. That one is much delayed. I need to get better at blocking. That one's delayed too. That one I'm really good at blocking. I don't know why. It's super easy. Okay, that was much later. Oh my god, it's so late. I'm, I, I, need to, I need to get better at that. Why am I so bad? Uh, I feel like I need a faster weapon for this, honestly. Oh my goodness. Nope. I'm doing horrible this time. I'm trying to block too much. I'm like, I, that's the way I probably need to play, but... 
It's not helping me out. Oh wow, I missed? Damn, that was the first time I missed that attack. Only reason he wants to learn programming? When your partner comes home from work and wants to do your math? Wants to learn the programming? That's cool. Ow, that was bad. Too early. Okay, this guy can easily dodge, though. Man, I keep missing. I feel like the R2 like should be going much further, but it just doesn't. Oh my god, he got up really fast. But I have a heal back. I like the fact that the heal charges up as long as you attack. That's kind of nice. Ah. Not if I miss all of my friggin' blocks. Ah, oh, goddammit, that's such a weird attack. He goes, like, backwards. Come on, bro. Oh! In the four-hour demo, I never parried a single time. Did you, Yona? I feel like I want to parry. Honestly, I, I want to parry. So far, so good, Taxi. Just set up for work. Going to get all my planning documents finished today. Nice. You don't feel like working today, Queen? You can play both ways. You're not forced to block and parry. You can just focus on dodging. I don't know. I feel like I want to, to parry. Atma, welcome in. How you doing? Totally see how this reminds you of the uh, the Headless Ape. The death counts. Oh my god, I only died three times. That's it. That's fine. I'm dying every 20 minutes. Although now it's basically just this boss. But I feel like... I have to do the R2 move. That might help me a little bit also. Hey, Safe Haven, welcome in. How you doing? <clears throat> Why is there Japanese subtitles at the bottom? Was he saying... Did I not realize he was speaking Japanese this entire time? Oh my god, I didn't parry that? I thought I did. But I can block and use Fable Arts. What does that do? That used all of my Fable Arts. That was not worth it. I'm anticipating the count being fantastic in like a stream or two. We'll see. Yeah, I think I want a fast weapon. I'm going to play this game a bit differently, especially if I want to counter kind of like Sekiro. If I want to counter like Sekiro, I, I need a faster weapon. This is just too slow for me. But again, I could also take this way differently. Like I could just back up. This guy is... Although I'm not close enough. I can block some of them. Man, that punching does a lot of damage. Holy crap. Missed. Okay. Ow. Come on, baby. Ah. Ah. Ugh, what are you doing? Holy miss, wow. Oh, I'm so stupid. I just sat there and blocked like an idiot. Ah. Oh my god. I wish I was so much better at this blocking. Oh no, I have no more. I thought I had. Crap. Crap, 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 crap. It's so close. Totally missed that. Ah, his, uh, he gets up way faster than last time. Okay, he's dead. Oh, fuck! Oh my god, that greed. That greed. I almost died. I wasn't expecting him to go up to that friggin' red attack. He scared the crap out of me. At least it's slow. 
Um, quartz. We picked up some quartz. Well, that was all right. I feel like the end of the boss is slightly anticlimactic. There wasn't this big fanfare, and it just kind of... I don't know. It just kind of disappeared. Okay. GG's. I changed the death to Lies of P or something, so it won't fuck up the actual rip. No, no, that's something else. We'll, we'll just try and keep track of it ourselves, Neri. Counting them innuendos. Okay, so we're inside the fairground now. Should I go backwards? I don't even know. There's items everywhere. I feel like there's got to be like another stargazer here somewhere. Although I have no heals, we've got to be careful. Imagine if a pleb kills me now. You're 43, are you, Neri? God damn. Safe Haven, how are you doing today? Wait, Safe Haven. Um, fair, I do enjoy programming though, so it would be kind of like a treat if you can help uh, Misty with the programming, uh, with the programming um, homework. What's this? The hotel security excludes puppets like you, so you'll have to lie to get inside. You're a special puppet after all. Okay, time to lie. How are you feeling, Safe Haven? Hopefully today is good. Okay, is there anything back here? Anything hidden? Oh, I can't even break those. Sometimes you can break the, the stuff and sometimes you can't. Call in sick to work and do this vastly more important. <laughs> I still need to redo all that. It's okay, Taxi. Don't worry about it. It was working for a little while. What, uh, what ended up happening, Taxi? There's no enemies here. Everyone's just dead. I kind of want to explore around. There's definitely stuff I can pick up. I'm not locking on to anything, so I don't think there's anything here. You're achy today? I'm sorry to hear that. Hidden Moonstone. The Moonstone was not from this world, however, it was the most optimal... God damn it. If they, get, if they have that much flavor text, a text, I wish it would stay up until I could read it all. I'm achy today. I had a speech therapy session, but I had to stop early because of pain. That sucks. Okay, I don't know why I'm not sprinting around. There's, like, so much area to cover here, but I keep clicking to make sure there's no enemies. There's just dead bodies. I had to whip the yuzu running at the same time as produ Oh. Fair enough, fair enough. No worries, taxi. I'll pop in a little a bit of grind later today, you think? It seems pretty fun. I'm getting into it a bit. What, what language are you learning, Misty? Welcome to the Sanctuary of the Grand Covenant. Prove your identity. I'm a wolf, can't you tell? So how do we lie? Puppet, human, that's it? I'm a human. First lie. We're growing. We're growing. <clears throat> Your springs are reacting. Open the door, let's go. My god, the epic music. Adult question, do check checks expire? Um, a lot of the times, usually within a year, I guess. I'm not sure. It depends. Lies of P. If I told the truth there, is it the truth of P? Do they change the intro? That would be funny. Very dramatic. Language? No, I'm learning math programming. Oh, you're learning logic stuff. Okay, Misty. Pinocchio literally failed, and I am not a robot test, pretty much. If you tell the truth, you cannot enter the hotel, and then what ends up happening? I guess I'll find out eventually when we get to that. I'm learning AI brain melt. So you don't wait, unless all of this didn't matter. This is all in my brain. I never actually, nothing actually happened here. I'm not sure what I hate more, this cheer or my guy. I like the world they created, though. It looks really cool. Steampunky a little bit. Like checks from companies often say void after X days. A lot of the stuff you might get from the government are like after a year. Uh, after vacation laundry day, womp womp. Oh damn, Timmy, good luck. It's crazy how there are just so many puppets. That's an interesting twi uh, twist on Pinocchio. Now they went crazy, started murdering folks. So we're never attacking people per se.
Fucking sick music. Don't kill the boy. Didn't we learn that from the story I just told everyone? My goodness. This is messed up. Just hanging humans? The, wait, the, the puppets hung the human on the statue? God damn. Bloodthirsty. I wonder what happened to them. I, I, at some point, we'll figure it out. If you're writing the check yourself, you can cross out the old address, uh, address and write it in the new one. I've done that before. Oh, yeah, Eva. The blue butterfly wakes up us, wakes us up. Can you imagine if people approached clothing the way they do paper plates and cutlery? Throw away after one use. Imagine, Queen. My goodness. Uh, as the owner of the Hotel Kranta and to oh, My God, they do not give you enough time to read that on PS5. You just throw everything out to me? Oh, hello. Is this Sophia? The blue butterfly. In human form. Very nice. Hi. Yo, Edvin. Welcome in. Thank you very much for that follow. My God, I really need to take this, this dog mask off. You're so happy. Sophia. I've been waiting for you. Searched all over the city of Croft to find you. You must have questions. Geppetto will have answers. But we have to find him first. He was last seen on Elysian Boulevard. All of Croft is dangerous for humans. And that neighborhood is one of the scariest. Please find Geppetto on Elysian Boulevard. I'll explain more once you find him. So the funny thing is, Pinocchio is literally all about the search for Pino for Geppetto. Can you level up through Sophia using the Ergo in your possession? And he's always looking for Pinocchio. And then he ends up, you know, getting eaten by a whale and blah, blah, blah. You can increase your stats when you level up. Um, thank you for telling me that, even though I've been doing it already. I thought they told me that before. Um, we only got 2,000 from killing the boss. Goddamn, that's not a lot. Um, more strength, more health. Okay. Boy fixed. Look at Gemini. I think he's in shock. Gemini is fine. Gemini. Gemini. That's Gemini. Broken. So they I changed it too. Isn't so calm. I'm no inventor. But perhaps I can fix him. Or perhaps he'll fix himself in time. Wait. Take this pocket watch. Krat is a labyrinth of peril right now. This watch will guide you to a safe place. Interesting. Be careful, clever one. Okay. So a pocket watch imbued with myst uh, mystical power. The power of the watch turns back time. Turns back time when what? How do I use the watch? What does it do? Bag. Where's my watch? Where's my watch? Um... The power inside the watch returns the user to the last stargazer visited or to the hotel stargazer. The pocket watch imbued with mystical power. The power of the watch turns back time to when the boy was in peak condition. So this is just an instant teleport. OK, so there's no fast travel to anywhere outside, but there's always a fast travel back. That's an interesting take. Not too bad, unless there is fast travel here at some point. Um, so I was going to say something. What was I going to say? I was going to say that, um, yeah, this this dog mask needs to go. But God damn it, I had I had a point to make, but now I can't remember what the hell it was. Um, you can get a cashier's t a check. Yeah, as I wear the same pair of sweatpants for the ninth day in a row. Timmy, sometimes that happens. Uh, there's a normal talking voice. You are just uh, used to duo shouting. That's true. Why do they always whisper? I don't know, Queen. It is ridiculous. Um, yes, that's what I was going to say. So it's not Jiminy and it's not Gemini. It's Gemini. It's like in between both. I thought it was I thought it was Jiminy, but they were saying Gemini, which is an interesting way to pronounce that. I can I I can't wait for Gem to pop in so we can just I'm gonna I'm gonna rouse him for that. Wait, they have a puppet working here? Why didn't this one go? Welcome Why didn't this one go crazy? My name is Polandina, butler to Lady Antonia. Please let me know how I may be of service at Hotel Krat. Comfort and calm walk hand in hand. Welcome to Hotel Krat. How may I be of service? Can I get a room? Purchase? Oh. So, hmm. That's curious. 
that is very curious. Why? Why is this one not going crazy? About the Grand Covenant. The Grand Covenant is a set of absolute commands imprinted on puppets. Rouse him, rouse him, Taxi. Not arouse, arouse. First law. All puppets must obey their creator's commands. They do have laws. It's Second like iRobot. A puppet may not harm humans. Yo, they just ripped that right Third out of law. Isaac Asimov. A puppet protects and serves humans and the city of Krat. Fourth law. Oh, they have four. A puppet cannot lie. Oh. I've told you about the laws okay, they modified it a bit. Every puppet. Do you require anything else? Interesting. Okay, cool. Cool. Nice lore. Nice lore. Can I talk to you? What what can you tell me? I'll use my power to help you. Mhm. Mm ergo is the miracle that made Krat prosper. Without Ergo, there would be no automated puppets to make Krat wealthy. When you move, you tap into the power of Ergo within you. Gather more Ergo. It will make you stronger. Okay. What about Monad's In lamp? The folklore of Krat, a cricket often acts as a guide. That is why these automated models became popular. But Gemini is unique. He's more than just a guide. As you get more familiar with Gemini, you'll see what I mean. Okay. That's it. Interesting, interesting. So that's the lamp I have, though. Okay. No. Uh, okay, so I have the lamp. What does that even do for me? Hmm? How do I switch this stuff? That I don't know how to change. Because I can use this. Oh, if I keep pressing down, it switches. Okay, that's not too bad. So maybe I should put the gun on the on the bottom one also. So what does this do if I do this? Oh, it's literally just a lamp. Okay, I thought, I thought Gemini was going to talk to me or something, but apparently not. Okay, let me adjust stuff because... I want to switch this move equipment. I want to grab you. I want to put you maybe up here. There you go. Now if I press up twice, it switches. Okay, that's not too bad. I like the way that works. We got a little lamp. Where are we going to go? Yo, Zul, welcome in. How you doing? So, Andy, what do you got planned for this week? I guess we're going to look around the hotel for a little while. There's items to pick up. Oh. Uh, Venini's Kratz Landmark Guide. Hotel Krat is one of the city's creepiest and most mysterious buildings. According to lore, Hotel Krat is an isolated castle built by an aristocrat devoted to the form of occultist after receiving a revelation from a radiant tree. At one point, it was used as a mental institute, and some patients said they saw hallucinations. However, no record remains, as they were all destroyed in a large fire. Of course, it's always a large fire. Above all, being so far underground just compounds the rumors. Uh, some even said that it is connected to an unknown hell. By now, the rumors have served to embellish the charm of Hotel Krat, which has been renovated in the latest style. As the recent rumors of the Grand Exhibition Ghost Hotel spread, more customers are actually looking to stay at the hotel. Next is a comment from the hotel owner, Miss Antonia. A ghost hotel. I've heard that more times than I can remember. But fortunately, our hotel guests are brave like lions. It's not a problem at all. Rating 4 on 5. Creepy and mystical. Best resort in Krat? Reporter Med uh, Medoro. This guide was made with the support of Venini Company, a friend of the city. My goodness. My goodness. <clears throat> You've been busy today. Have you played? Have you played any Eliza P. Zul? I don't know if you like FromSoft games. Who's this? Unexpected guests. Are oh, this is the owner. We don't insist on reservations. I am Antonia, and this is my hotel. Welcome. Still, only got a four. You can never give a five. I knew from the moment we met the George Petto's puppet. He might have a few loose screws, but. Petter's skills are undiminished. I lied and she saw right it's through me. He took off for Elysian Boulevard. And he never came back. It's the, it's the wolf mask. Soon, we'll have to make a new coffin. 
Oh, I forgot. I was keeping this for you. It comes with a long story. But I think it's better off with you. Please find that old man. And do take care of yourself out there. Um, I just, I beat the boss, but I'm pretty sure you saw that. I lied to get in here, which you saw. We talked to people. I'm curious why the, by the, the hotel attendant isn't actually going crazy. Um, apparently Antonia knows that we're a puppet. And, uh, yeah, that's about it. People have no idea so many secrets are buried in crowd. Thanks for keeping me company. What are you curious about? All kinds of things about lying. I see you're here. That means you can lie. Your I did, Iona. are a rare ability. You're able to choose your own path, unbound by anything. People on the outside are still afraid of puppets. Lie to protect yourself and find your path. I'm an old friend of Geppetto's. His son is like family to me. Make Am I his son? You I guess. You're welcome here at the hotel. If you have any y questions, ask my butler, Hollandina. I don't know why he didn't go crazy. Why Why can't I ask that question? Why did your puppet not go crazy? What did, What's special about your attendant, Hollandino? Yep. Um, I'm also really nervous about having to mail a money order or a check for rent. I've never had to do that before. You can't just do... That's your new landlord? I'm surprised you have to do that. Okay, so there's nothing over there. There's some more stuff up there. Let's check out the right side. Looks like a parlor or something. Oh, hello. I heard about you from Geppetto, but to see you in person. Wow. You should take this. Geppetto left it with me. So yeah, I did ask the hotel attendant about the four laws, Yona. Oh. I got a harpoon. Interesting. So this is the blacksmith legion arm. Legion arm is a special equipment that is equipped on the left arm. Each legion arm has its own combat ability. Legion arm can be modified into all sorts of forms. Modifications can be made using the Venini craft machine. Hookshot, something like that. <gasps> the sound of it alone. Yo, good morning, donuts. That craftsmanship comes only from the hands of Geppetto. You must be something else. A custom arm from Geppetto himself is quite an accessory. Oh, I forgot to introduce myself. I am Eugenie from the Workshop Union. I know my way around weapons of all kinds. I'm sure Master Geppetto would agree. If any of your weapons need work, bring them to me. Bring them to you uh, uh, for sure, okay. I know my way around a weapon. Want me to look? Yes, look it up. Let's see, upgrade weapon, alter your handle. Let's talk to you for a second about a stargazers. stargazers All the lore. Device used by the stalkers. It powers itself by accumulating and absorbing ergo spores in the air. The stalkers installed stargazers all across the city. Once they're recovered, we can put them to use. Okay. If you want to test your skills or try new techniques, head for the garden. The stalkers captured a puppet to use for training. Nice. Don't look at me like that. Everyone hates puppets. I know whose side you're on. Everyone hates puppets now? Um, okay, upgrade my weapon. What can we do? If you have a moonstone, Eugenie can help you upgrade a weapon's blade. The weapon's attack will increase when you upgrade the blade. Some blades can only be upgraded with a special moonstone. So do I upgrade all of these at some point? We're using the great sword. I only need 200 and a hidden moonstone, which we do have. Um, I guess it'll make it a lot stronger. We'll learn how to play with this. 105, that's it? Oh, the weapon durability went up, okay. Although I don't know how much stronger that made it. Alter the handle. You can bring Eugenie cranks to alter weapon handles. Each handle's property upgrades based on your character's default abilities. You can change this property and grade one time with a handle alteration. However, you can always reset it with a, with a balanced crank. Oh, do I even have another handle? So I'm motivity, so that's that lowers that, that raises that one. Advanced, but it makes everything else. I think I'll leave it the way it is. Why change it right now? Okay, 
Anything else I can do? Anything else back here? Anything I can steal? Donuts, how you doing today? What are you up to? What is up? How was your weekend? There's nothing over here. Okay. Just big storage. There's the puppet. Oh boy. <clears throat> yeah, my throat is still not perfect. It's 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 okay, but it's still not perfect. Wow, that's rude. So this I can go. And I'm still over the block. Oh, I mi he missed me. Are you serious? Why am I not getting this timing now? Fable is an infinite. They never do any damage, which is interesting. Man, I can't block for shit now. As I'm attacking, I'm like missing all of my timings. Fable is infinite. Oh, really? Fable is infinite. I do not know how to do that block. What does that even do? Does that instantly break it? Like I don't I don't understand how that works. I have to press triangle and L1 at the same time. Like I, I don't get how that works. Remember the white outline on HP bar means heavy attack for stun, yes, that I know. I'm just trying to think how that works. What's this? Great fortune to all visitors. Rest for all travelers, blessings to all friends. My god. Just topless ladies. Very nice. Yo, Zam, welcome in. How you doing? Y'all need to need my case manager's help because the post office is too far from my work for, for you to walk. And I saw what you said before, Timmy, how times have changed. Your parents don't like paying stuff online, but they'd rather mail it and Safe Haven's all worried about mailing checks and stuff. It's an interesting time we live in and how everything has just changed and how old mentalities for some people are just hard to adjust. Did have to go to the post office then? <clears throat> there was once a cross-eyed teacher who had trouble controlling his pupils. That's one of the dad jokes from the book that we've had in, in the past, Bosch. I think I need to make tea. This tickle is dying. It's killing me. Ah, my coffee is cold now, so it's not um, really helping me at all. I can fall down there. Can I get through here? It's locked tight. Okay, nothing there. I should be running around everywhere, but trying to control the camera and move around at the same time doesn't... Uh... I wish there was a quicker way to, like, if I could, like, run with, like, L2, that would be nice. You need Rosa Isabella's... Okay. I guess there's nothing else for me to do up here. Time to go back down. We'll go through the main area here. Wish this building's manager had his shit together so you didn't have to struggle through this. No, there's nothing. Oh, the new building manager. Yeah, hopefully... I mean, it'll be better in like a month from now. And purchase items from Polandina at the hotel. That I knew. Look at this sta stagnant fountain. Nothing back over here. I guess we're just going to go into the actual area now. We have no more tutorial on the side of our screen. Oh, look at that. He didn't bust open the door. I need to change my helmet. I hate to be a bother, but is that a robe or a sweater you are wearing? It is a sweater. It is the cardigan. It is very nice. I got it for Christmas this year. I like it. I want one like it. It's very nice. I don't know where my mother-in-law got it, but it is gorgeous. I love this sweater. It's super warm, too. Really, really nice sweater. You should get one of those coaster warmers for the coffee mug. It'll keep your coffee hot. I mean, I'm, I have a thermos. It's just the coffee was made very early in the morning because Queen gets up very early for work and then uh, puts it in a thermos for me. So it's pretty warm around 8 when I wake up, but now it's 11, so it's, it's a little cold now. I think I'm going to change my face. Character info. Oh, my God. Look at how detailed that dog face is. That's so cute. It's freaking adorable, but... It's, it's ruining my cutscenes. Make it a very weird. <clears throat> Let's see. Top hat, Christmas hat, Christmas hat and glasses. Look at that. Okay, what I should do, actually, before we move on, I should put a secondary weapon. Does this change, like, the weight I have on me? Does weight matter in this game? Like, am I going to fat roll or something? I kind of want... Let me try the rapier. so fast. Is that going to really help me? I don't know. 
There's a lawn gnome head. Weight matters a lot, yeah. Am I fat rolling now? I don't even know. Weight matters a lot. So is there, is there even a point to have a second second weapon on me? Sometimes it's just not worth it to have the second weapon because it just weighs you down so much. <clears throat> That's like a lawn gnome a, a lawn gnome hat. Yeah, a little bit. What the hell's going on over there? Ah, the Black Rabbit Brotherhood. I hate these guys. But don't be alarmed. My name is Gemini. We'll talk later when we're safe. Gemini. I always want to. I always want to say Gemini because we're so used to Gemini Tiger. Gemini sounds so strange, and he doesn't have a distorted voice anymore. That's interesting. Okay, we'll we'll avoid the light because I feel like that's probably the best thing to do. <clears throat> Some bosses might be too aggressive to waste time on repairing your weapon. Oh, so you just change, really? Wow. We'll see. Andy, you're famous? Oh, shit. <clears throat> Did Andy even say that? I'm not even sure. Oh, there's the stargazer. Okay, so we're into the new area. What else are we going to get back here? Anything? Anything in this back alley? Nothing at all. Okay, well, that's fine. Over here, can we actually fall down? Yes, we can. There's... Oh, there's an enemy here. We're just banging on doors. Where did that Santa hat come from? What? I... It's... it's oh, shit. It's from... Um, what's it called? It's, it's from, like, a winter update, I guess. They gave it to everybody. It's cute. I like it. I looked away for a second to answer an email, and you're now Santa indeed. Although it looks like I'm wearing a pylon on the top of my head, so it's a bit different. I went from a, I had a dog mask. Yeah, just kill everybody. Okay, so I haven't even used those wheels yet. I wonder if they're any good. Well, people have said they're pretty good, but we'll see. Is there any point to shoot them at these guys? Oh, okay, well, I guess maybe not. Ow. Wasn't expecting that attack. Can you get, uh, can you get over here with the enemies with the puppet string? Imagine. I mean, I have that hook shot now, so maybe at one point we can get an ability like that. I don't even know what my puppet string does. Elysian Boulevard was a regular rich people row. You wanted fancy boutiques and shops. <laughs> no place better. Yeah, I, I see it now, Dragon. That was long ago. The of oh, it is. It is a get over here. Neri, did you start playing this? You just died? How far did you get? Oh, that... Okay, that's the shortcut. It's... Oh, no. Yeah, that's the shortcut. It's on the other side. Okay, let's go. Hell yeah. Let's see how far it works from, though. <clears throat> a pylon? Not wrong. It does look like a little pylon, eh? A little baby pylon. I feel like there's so much stuff to explore. Oh, there's a dog. No, no, no. How far does this go? Get over here! Yo, that was amazing. It stopped him from friggin' yelling at me. After this part was my first death. Oh shit, you got you already got past this part? Damn, Neri. Damn. That was pretty awesome. I love that actually. That's really good. How do I recharge that though? A Legion magazine. Well, I, I got my answer. A Legion magazine, huh? Let's equip that. Why not? Where's my Legion magazine? Um, a polymer filling that activates a Legion's arm specific ability. It can be implanted in Legion arms to charge Legion rapidly. Uh, the polymer bullets that are used in Legion arms were developed in collaboration with Vanini Works. These bullets undergo a chemical reaction inside the Legion arm and turn into a different substance like fire, electricity, or acid. So does this actually change what I do or it just charges it up? Let me see if I can equip this. What do I want to equip it to? I guess maybe the lower one? <clears throat> Very cool indeed. No more enemies over here. What's this? It's a chest. Is there mimics in this? Do I have to worry about mimics? A Lada F-150 frame. So what do the frames do? <clears throat> you said I picked up a frame a while ago, but I don't know what it was for or what it does. Okay, you're dead. Not bad. At least I can kill them with two main two main attacks now. 
It's pretty nice. There's a door I can open. Oh, there's a ladder too. Can I even open this? I don't think I can. Oh, I can't. I got a Ford pickup truck. Frame, nice. <laughs> Ford F-150. Zam, how you doing this morning? I was lurking you the other day playing Baldur's Gate 2, and it looked like you were having a rough time. What was... Oh, shit! I swear to God. Was not expecting that guy to come out of that corner. Good old FromSoft traps. Oh, my God! Of course they've got a guy with a gun. God damn it. Of course... He did the quick attack. I was expecting the short attack, uh, the, 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 the long attack, but he did the quick one. That game is bad. You're not a fan of old school Baldur's Gate. It can be tricky. Those games are hard, man. I'm looking forward to getting into the third one soon, though. Did you see the Dragon Daggerfall Unity remake for free? I did not see that. I'm looking forward to getting into the... Um... Oh, look at this. It's poorly designed. It's not that it's hard, it's poorly designed. I mean, I think people back in the day would beg to differ. It might just not have aged well. I haven't played it myself, though. Do you play a lot of those CRPGs, though? It's so badly designed from a game perspective, yeah? But I mean, like, it's D&D, &D, right? I don't know. I haven't played it myself. I never played those games back in the day. Oh, I blocked way too late. Nope. Not like this. At least I got the shortcut. This goddamn... Yo, Spice, welcome in. Even compared to the likes of Fallout 1 and 2, it's definitely hamstrung by D&D &D rules they chose. That happens. D&D &D can be very finicky. It took 10 years for them to finish it, but it came out a couple of days ago. And it's so much better than the original, yeah? At least I just got the shortcut. So, let's see. Where's the ladder? What ladder did I just open? I probably should have went... It's over here. Okay. So if I block their basic attack, I can attack through and heal, which isn't necessarily bad. It is not necessarily bad, honestly. Because I could just, um... I could just block the attack and then just attack them, which is pretty nice. The only thing is... Okay, we got a Legion magazine. Baldur's Gate 2 is just hack and slash fun. Is it? I, I thought not not the original one, unless you're talking about Baldur's Gate Dark Alliance or something like that. Spice, how you doing today? Oh, I'm on the side with the guy with the gun. Come here. <clears throat> can I drop this guy? If I grab him, can he fall down? There he goes. What a sucker. He didn't die though, but anyways. But my main gripe, aside from the rule set they, uh, they took, is the design where it looks like several team teams worked on separate segments and then it got stitched together haphazardly and has too many themes of random. Interesting. Dark Alliance was hack and slash. Pause for lunch. No worries, Neri. Enjoy. All right. Let's see if I can actually kill this guy this time. Oh, God. Blocked too early. Every time. Got you that time. Oh. Wasn't expecting the next attacks. Ah. God damn it, man. Guys, their attacks are fast. He's got like three different combos I have to pay attention to. Thinking back, my death was so dumb. I was trying to get to the next Stargazer without healing. Not smart. Throwing Cell, Dim Argo, and Star Fragments. He gave me a lot of stuff. My PlayStation has been put up for a while now. What do you mean, Dragon? You haven't played anything? Some of the areas are, specta are spectacle and great. Then you get to something that just takes the wind out of your sails and you're just sucking in farts instead of hair. So, yeah, Zam, I mean, a lot of CRPGs kind of get into that problem in certain areas of the game. Not everything is amazing. My PlayStation has been put up for a while now, not on PlayStation. Wait, I'm, I'm confused, Dragon. What do you mean? Oh, there's a guy here. Let's just sneak up on him. Is it? Oh, shit. Is it constantly auto-saving or what's going on? I feel like I keep seeing auto-save in the top, like, right corner here. But I'm not sure why. 
If this is more not amazing than amazing. Mm. Might be jaded at this point. Did you really like Baldur's Gate 1? What was the big difference between the two? Ah, oh, god damn it, of course. Who shot me? Who shot me? Where? Oh my god. Who's hitting me? I don't know who's... I was like behind a wall and I'm getting shot. Oh my god! P may lie, but these don't. Thank you very much for the 69 biddies picks. What do we get? Oh, with the nurse. I need a nurse because I just died. Picks, thank you very much for the biddies. I can't even... I mean, I can believe that, but goddamn, man. I, um... I was trying to run out quickly because of the fact that I was getting shot, and then I totally missed the damn bridge. So that sucks. Goddamn fall deaths. Gravity is never your friend in these games. Never your friend. It's hard to tell if they're gonna wind up quickly or just go straight into an attack. And it just looks straight and you can easily run over the beam. Yeah, I know, I, I thought I was gonna run over the beam, Eon. I, I don't know how I missed it. It was maybe a bit too dark. Sometimes the um, exposure doesn't change right away when you're like, a lot of these newer games with the different types of engines and the lighting and stuff like that, when you're going in and out of buildings, the, um, what's it called? The um, exposure changes and like, it's very hard to see things inside or outside buildings. I feel like a lot of games have that struggle. Uh, at least more modern games. Pix, how you doing today? What is up? You here for all the innuendos? We ha we only counted one so far. Um, I haven't actually... Oh, this was... This guy doesn't respawn? Interesting. He's like a mini boss that doesn't respawn. I didn't expect that at all. Um, but anyways, um, they were talking about a, a statue getting erect. So we counted that as the first one. Yeah, there's more than one person in this room, no? There he is. Dead. Oh, there's the third guy. Uh, that's true. I noticed it a lot when being outside and looking for some someone inside and vice versa, where it's pitch black. Yeah. Yo, big steak. Welcome in. How you doing? <clears throat> Okay, so I thought I was actually running along here, but apparently I just totally missed it. That's where you were, huh? He was outside to the right. I thought he was outside to the left for some reason. <clears throat> you died, so reposting. I haven't played anything on it for a while now because my PC is better. So it's also in storage now because needing housing situation to change. Oh, okay. I understand, Dragon. I understand. What have you been playing on PC then? Yo. Saki, how did your appointment go? Welcome back. How you doing? sharp pipe. Oh, there's an item over there. I don't I feel like that's a very dangerous platform to walk on. There's a ladder here also. I guess I'm going down and there's a ladder there too. Where the hell am I going? That's probably another shortcut, so maybe I should do that. But this looks dangerous. I don't like this. I don't like this one bit. I'm barely on this. Electric blitz adhesive. I really don't like how very narrow that edge is. Yo, Chrissy, welcome in. Good morning. Now, do I go down or do I go up? I don't know which way to go. Morning, duo and chat. Wishing you a happy Monday. Happy Monday to you too, Chrissy. How you doing? Sir Andrew, terrific penis. Oh my God. Big steak. That's all it gives me. Nigel, welcome in. How you doing? ESO, Mass Effect, a little bit of Apex. Yo, uh, J just Jake got into um, some... Just got into some uh, friggin' ESO lately. Oh, sneaky, sneaky. Oh, God. Damn, dude. Back at the office today. Oh, hopefully the office is good. 
How often are you going into the office now, Nigel? You can sneak up on that one? Can you? Okay, let me just go down here. This is what I want to check. I'll suck you in for a few months, for sure. It'll, yeah, for sure. I want to see if this has a, another shortcut. Very nice, very nice. Where is this now? There's not there. I'm in another area. Suck for a few months. I'll suck you in. Yeah, well, you're going to get up. There's probably another guy behind me, honestly. Nope, there actually wasn't. I'm surprised. Very surprised. Hidden Moonstone. Nice. We can upgrade another weapon. We'll upgrade this one again. And there's the shortcut. Fantastic. So this is at the very beginning. So I could probably go upgrade my stuff. You so sucked me in for a total of four hours. That's it, Yona. Still in the office Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Home Thursday, Friday. But we've been work from home for the past three weeks. Really? Just for Christmas and stuff? That sounds dirty. Just a little bit. So that was the shortcut there. This was at the very beginning, I'm pretty sure, right? I'm trying to get my bearings for the map. There it is. That's the other shortcut. There's the Stargazer. And then we just have to keep going all the way down into the left. Okay. But now there's another path here. What's down this way? More items? Or not? Oh, no. This is the beginning. Never mind. The actual shortcut is this way. ESO is very hack and slashy. I mean, so is most of Elder Scrolls. The premium is absolutely needed to play it. They designed everything to really push you into it. I hated that, so I quit. That makes sense. Gotta have plus, yeah. That sucks. Okay, so there's the shortcut. Do we bother continuing? Do I go level up a little bit? I have 2,000. I could level up at least maybe once or twice. Let's go see. I have those fragments too, so we could level up a little bit. Let me just go back down here. There's probably a couple of things I need to fight. Or not, I already came this way from the Stargazer. Okay, we're good. Gotta have plus. I do have another hidden Moonstone, but I'm not sure if I can actually increase my weapon again. Or maybe I increase a different one. Well, let's find out. I'm very curious. Oh, I could have used the... I think I could have used the... Um... Oh, I don't know why I don't have that equipped. If I take this and equip it... Move to equipment, put this into the up, I guess? Why not? We can fast travel back all the way to the town. I equip that now and I don't even use it. I'm just running all the way back for whatever reason. I, we're not exactly far away from stuff, but... Oh! Interesting. This game has instances of zones. It's not just one gigantic open world like a FromSoft game. Although technically... Technically, the, 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 the places that are away, like the safe havens, tend to be different zones also. Yo, Mia, welcome in. How you doing? Like in, in Elden Ring, you had the, uh, the long, the, the round table or whatever it was called. And then you have the different ones in Dark Souls where you go to that area with, with all the uh, different people hanging around in. The game is pretty cool so far, Maggie. The game is pretty cool so far. What I really want to check is this over here. Do I need another hidden one or no? If I go here, we have the great sword. I need two hidden moonstones. Okay, so I can't do that again. I was very curious about that. Let me see about this. Um, switch arm legion. So what do I even have? I only have the puppet string. That's all I have. But so now, if I hold it, do I punch still, or I can I not level up? That's interesting. <clears throat> Can I not level up from this one? Or do I have to level up from her? I'll use my power to help you. Oh, I have to level up from her. The Stargazers can level me up, but in the main place, I have to use her and not the Stargazer. That is interesting. A little bit different. I should be able to do this twice. Okay, let's go back to where we were. I uh, know punching is only the basic arm. Really? Okay, so I have to pull them in. You can trans. Uh, you can transfer from one stargazer to another. You can only travel to those you have activated stargazers in areas with an event will be marked with a hint. Ah, marked with a hint. So this is zone one. And then I guess we're going to zone two. Well, let's go back. We'll continue. We'll try and find Geppetto wherever the hell he is. <clears throat> So 
So picks, how you doing this morning? Drop those six to nine biddies, drop a bonus raid to, to big steak, and then then nothing. Hopefully you're having a good one, man. Hopefully work's going well. You very Christmas even though it is January? Yes. Well, I mean, gotta have that little Christmas Santa hat. Why not? Oh, okay, we gotta kill people. I was I was fapping. Too many sexy people in chat, right, Pix? Mia, how you doing today? Have you played this? I know you play some from soft games here and there. Got that nice counter, not alone. You're never alone, Pix. You're never alone. So who has played this in chat? I know Yona has. Pixie has. Anyone else? Neri's been playing it in the meantime. I mean, it's duo or porn. Oh my god. Rosie, how are you doing? Welcome in. It's nice to see you. So this is my shortcut. We've got a couple people to kill. Not yet. It's on the radar, though. Okay. I have love in the 10s. Yeah. How far are you? You said you're near the end. I know um, Bacon said that they're about halfway through right now, but they're not quite finished yet. I don't think there's anything back here. I cannot play these games. My patience is not strong. You do need patience for this. Although you got through Metroid. Um, you got through that new Metroid game, which is supposed to be pretty tricky in the first place. So that's uh, that's pretty good. Isn't there going to be enemies here? This is not. Oh, there he is. Oh, oh my God. That is not a nice shortcut. That is not a nice shortcut. What the fuck? Okay, if you missed that first block, you're pretty fucked from this guy. Well, I wasted all of my he um, all of my heals. Dread was rough at the start, yeah. That is a horrible. That is a horrible shortcut. God damn! I pressed the wrong button. Well, that was rough. <laughs> How many hours on record for Boulder's Gate three so far? Metroid makes me upsetty spaghetti. Thought I saw something there. Is there a cat? So the MTL stands for Montreal, Rosie. Rosie, how you doing today? Hopefully you're having a good one. If there's going to be another guy with a gun here. I was in Montreal last year. Where are you, Zan? What for? How come you were in Montreal? Work? Very cool. What do you do for work again, Zan? This guy's still friggin' shooting me. Oh god, no. Can I please... Oh my god, this is not good. I've already ran out of all of my stuff. This was a crazy gauntlet. Can I fuck these guys up? I cannot fuck these guys up. Is there any way up there? I need to explore the zone. There's no way up there. They're just a bunch of jerks. Okay. Let me just keep exploring here for a second. Who's laughing? Um, I am a safety officer just to get more stuff then. Okay. Wow. So those guys are just there to be pests. Nothing I can do. My God, Andy. Masturbating to lemons. The interesting thing MTL would stand for. I'm upset at the lack of smoked meat this year compared to previous years. Smoked meat, smoked meat is pretty good. Oh my god, of course I miss. I, I knew there was going to be a guy there, and I wanted to. I'm so dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. There was three guys. Oh no, that was two. <sighs> Getting through these zones is tough. I tried to... I, I, I fell, and I saw him at the last second, and I was trying to attack, and I totally just missed. What smoked meat? Uh, Zam was in Montreal and um, was uh, was sad about the lack of meat in uh, the last year of his life because I guess he wasn't in Montreal. Yeah, but I was there three years ago and like everyone had smoked meat this year. There's only a handful of places and the ones I did get was pitiful. I mean, it depends where you go, honestly, Zam. It depends where you go. Where did you end up going to eat, Zan? That was pitiful. What disappointed you? I haven't, um... I mean, usually we go to... 
I mean, usually puts in places that have smoked meat puts in. That's typically the smoked meat we tend to get. I want to go to Schwartz, but I got mine from a pub closer to my hotel. Okay. You remember what the pub was called? Okay, so that one's there, that one's there. Now we have to be careful because I'm going to get destroyed at the top of this damn... Destroyed at the top of this damn ladder. Uh, Lester's, Rubin's, Smoke Meat Pete's. Delibies. I've never heard of Delibies. I know all the other ones, though. It's fine. Potion Permit is a hard game. So if I keep moving forward, that guy just runs by me. Just pull this guy towards me. Pull a scorpion. Now the problem is we need to run by most of the guys shooting stuff at me. Check your title. Naughty Duo, check your title. Counting innuendos. What did I do? What did I, what's wrong with my title? What's wrong with... Did I forget my... Did, oh my god. Li, did I put Liza P? Oh my god. I, I put Potion Permit? God damn it. Liza P. The one thing I forgot to change. The one thing I forgot... I changed everything else. I changed everything else. Nothing's wrong. I forgot to change the t the name at the end. No, no, no. The game is the game says Liza P, but the title doesn't say Liza P. It says uh, it says Potion Permit. <laughs> My bad. So-called pro streamer. I never I, I've never said that, Andy. I've never said that. Oh my god, that guy tracks me like crazy. That guy tracks like crazy, oh my goodness. Okay, we gotta kill this guy now, fall down and attack. Oh my god, what? What was that? Oh my god, no, not like this. Tricky zone, man. Tricky zone. Uh, potions of P. We fixed it. We fixed it. You know the title category is right? The title category is right. Everything else was wrong. I almost lost all my all my souls. All my ergo. Legion magazine. Very nice. Very nice. What else do we get here? Picking up a lot of those, which is nice. <clears throat> lies of potion permit. It is, it is the lies. Potion permit. All it does is lie to us. It's a big boy. Man, I knocked him too far away for, to actually hit him the second time. Oh, I think we can kill the other guys now if I go up. What's down here? A bedroom. What is this? Frozen man's letter. Oh, shit. Okay, can I even read this? My Louise and Charlotte, my treasure. I can't hear anything. I think the streets are already dead. Nothing but silence. I assume that I, too, will become just another petrified corpse soon. I didn't unmute. <coughs> I still remember that sound of your singing voice and the sight of Charlotte looking at pictures. And I think I literally coughed right into the mic that second time as I unmuted. Sorry. The sound of your singing voice and the sight of Charlotte looked at picture books. I miss all of it. The best thing I did when I was alive was send you to Charlotte to the cathedral for shelter. I wish this nightmare was all over. If only you and the kid would come back. But I guess now it's impossible. I love you, Louise. I pray that you're safe there. Your internet is still dead. I'm getting scared that my phone will run out of data. Really, Yona, my goodness. I thought you had a shit ton of data, no? Do I even want to fight that guy just yet? <clears throat> that looks like a way through. Let me go up first. Don't burn your data, Yona. Don't burn the data. It's at the beginning of the month, too. Um, you may need it, and that shit is expensive when you run out for 100%. Really? Get over here! Uh, I can't get the angle. This guy does not want to fall down. Not on my phone. My phone internet is like one gig. Oh, really? 
Oh wait, don't you don't you have that option to like turn it on to like infinite or something like that? I know you use that sometimes. A standard definition uses up 0.3 per hour. High definition uses one gig per hour. Three gigs, seven gigs. My God, Dragon, you got all the info. You own his internet, a tragedy in 35 acts, pretty much, Spice. Spice, how are you doing today? I know you've been enjoying the cross-stitching a lot. You've been spending all your time doing that lately, which is really cool. I'm glad you're enjoying it. There's a hole here. Vivid Ergo Fragments. Whatever that's for. There's another item back there. Fuck, I like the rapier, but that, that step into attack. Fick, fuck me now. I feel from the... You fell from the roof on oh, no, Neri. We all have Google Duo. That's true, too. Still. <clears throat> Stick to 140p. What is... Is there anything here? Can I open this door? What was the point of this? Where is this bringing me? Oh, this guy. Oh! Oh my god, I got the attack in before he hit me. Oh, I'm behind him now. Can I get a sneak on this guy? No, he's just walking. Oh, I can literally skip this guy if I want. Why would I skip him? Why would I skip this guy, huh? Let's do it. Pretty much day off today, so I've been playing Ghost of Tsushima and went to get more thread for the stitching. I have to go pick up some thread later today. All right, big boy. Out. He hit me and I got him. Oh, big attack. And now you're dead. Very nice. Not too bad. Fable Catalyst, Dim Ergo, Star Fragments. So what are the Star Fragments for? <clears throat> skip them. Never skip any big enemies? Never. So what do I obtain? Life Amulet. So that is the only amulet I've picked up so far. Let's have a look at what it does. Um, Not what I wanted. I want equipment. Amulet. So... An amulet that can be equipped on a puppet. Information and the memories that are useful for movement can be imprinted on the symbol to draw out special powers. The slightest blink is enough to make a puppet move. Puppets do not have life, but it is enough to move them. Increase max HP. Okay, 1.3 weight. It's not too bad. I don't know how much weight I actually have. We're at 30. We're at 48%. Am I like super heavy right now? Like, am I fat rolling? I guess I. It looks like I'm kind of fat rolling. I'm a, I'm a slow boy. I'm a slow boy right now. Anything else over here I need? Oh. Oh. I didn't get behind him. That was just another path. Ah, I see. This is where I came from before. Okay. There's the Stargazer. Do you want to know about Star Fragments, or was it just a rhetorical question? I mean, it doesn't, like... Heavy is above 70? Okay. Yo. Girl Wonder. What's up? How you doing? The Girl Wonder. How are you doing? Are you a big uh, Liza P fan? Welcome in. Thanks for the follow. I, I'm not sure if it was that rhetorical. I mean, it doesn't seem like if it's like a big spoiler. I don't feel like Star Fragments would be a huge spoiler. Like, is it a crafting material? Is it for upgrades? Like, you don't have to go very... You don't have to elaborate, but you could just be like, oh, it's something like that. <clears throat> now, uh, or voice only, yeah. Do you want to know about Star Fragments, or was it just rhetorical? Mr. Bliss, you've played this. Um, use storage. Wait, can I not upgrade from here? Talk with Gemini. I'm Gemini, your friendly Gemini. puppet guide. Or friendly guide puppet? I don't know, one of those. I'm also a friend of Sophia's. Last time I woke up, Sophia was there because... Because she woke me up. But I'm sure there are still other memories in there. Sorry. Must be the shock. Bear with me, and I'll do my best to guide you. Okay. So... I'm... I, can I not level up from here? I thought I could level up. Oh, because I have to click it a second. No, that's weird. So I can't level up from any of these. I have to go back to her. I thought I could level up from any of these stargazers. 
You finished it, it about two weeks ago. You loved it, Mr. Bliss. Nice. I'm very curious. I legit thought I could level up any of those. What's this guy? Hello. Oh, you're the traveling Why, merchant hello. again. <laughs> I didn't know anyone was alive out here. <laughs> I know what you're thinking, but I'm not a burglar. <laughs> I'm just crashing in an abandoned house for a while. Vacant, welcome Don't in. Don't worry. I won't cause any trouble. We survivors need to look out for each other. Uh, for your information, I didn't steal this. Sure you didn't. So we have lots of dad jokes in here, Vacant. How you doing? Are you a big Liza P fan? Have you played a lot of it? Um, gem. Oh, he. this guy's got a bunch of stuff. Temporarily produces Ergo even in death. Protects Ergo, okay. Uh, emergency protection. Tempor temporarily protects Ergo when hit. Okay. Interesting. Do I need any of this stuff? I don't know. Are you winning? We're doing all right, Candy Cane. Have you played this? This thing's busted. Yeah, it's busted. That's a shortcut, okay? We're going to have to continue to that at some point. <clears throat> January 13th. You want a puntastic? I still only have last year's puns. I need to get new calendars. January 13th. So, that one is... I used to compete in boomerang contests. I haven't competed in a number of years, but I bet it would come back to me. You bet. You bet it would come back to you. God damn. I have not played this yet. Looks cool, though. It does look pretty cool. I'm, I've been enjoying it so far. Although, again, I thought I could level up anywhere, but it's kind of weird that you can't. Like, I could level up from the other one, I guess, or maybe I just... No, uh, you're not allowed to enjoy games. All I do is enjoy. The puppets there, not in this economy. Why does everything got to be a roof? Gravity, gravity deaths are the bane of anyone's existence in these types of games. You've played them game and capped level, personal goal. Absolutely love this game. I think you will like this game. Is this your first? No, no. I've, I, I've played practically every single one. Vacant. I have all the plats for Sekiro, Bloodborne, uh, Dark Souls One. Um, I have Elden Ring. I have Demon Souls. I have to do Dark Souls Two and Three. Three is probably going to be this year. I'm going to make it my 250th plat. We're nearing this one should be my 230th, so we're going to try and get another 20, 20 plats this year. But yeah, I'm, I'm no, um, I'm, um, I'm not new to any of this. Keep taking mini naps this morning. I, uh, tired morning. How's the weather? Did you get more snow? Candy cane, what have you been up to this morning? Where am I going? Do I trust this? Oh, no, I knew it. If I kept walking, that guy was going to fuck me up and I was going to fall. I knew that was going to be a trap. I knew it. I'm so glad I hesitated. I the Willem scream. Was there actually one? Strange. I didn't hear it. Jeepers. Why I almost fell for that trap. Like that? If you want to check it out, I can take point. Um, the landmark guide too. I'm going to have to read that after a second here. This guy just climbed the wall for some reason. Okay, where did... Um, where is that now? If I look at the lore, collectibles. I just picked up... I've seen that before. This is new. Uh, this month's attraction, Alchemist Bridge. The Alchemist Bridge is the bridge on Elysian Boulevard and the main way to Krat City Hall. The Holy Euroboros. Euroboros? The mark of the Alchemist is fittingly engraved into the bridge. This shows that the Alchemists are <clears throat> are just are not oh wait, sorry, are not just as a powerful privileged class, but also donated tremendous amounts of money across the city. Thanks to the thriving culture of philanthropy in Krat, you can find areas with names of prominent figures. It's like the city's motto. The citizens are the owners of the city. The most widely known attraction is Rosa Isabel Street. It's named after the cultural sponsor, Lady Isabel, Monad. Uh, but if you think about how the lady's married to the leader of the alchemist, Valentinus, you'll think twice about who really is in control of Kratz. The union of Kratz old families and the organization of alchemists is shown in this symbolic form. Given that the sacred Uroboros uh, Mark is engraved on uh, City Hall as well. It's obvious who owns the city of Krath. So the Uroboros is that snake that eats itself, right? I uh, got a QA like a mad lad. No worries, picks. Enjoy the workday. Rating 3 of 5. A good place to learn about Krath's beginning, end, and its essence. Reporter Medoro. This guide was made with the support of Venini um, Company, but may not reflect the company's opinion. 
Interesting. <clears throat> Dragon, those are my cats, yes. Okay, so where else do we go? And actually, no, there's a cat in this game. I swear to God, I keep hearing a cat. The snake biting its tail, yeah. I swear to God, I keep hearing a cat everywhere. I don't know why. Also, this is dangerous. I want this item. Dim Ergo Fragment. Now, what's the point of coming all the way down here? I'd like to be on the ground, but at the same time, I'm sure there's more stuff to explore up here. Or maybe not. Maybe this is just, just a dead end with an item. Oh, what? Wait, a red butterfly? I thought there was a blue butterfly. Dimensional butterflies. Occasionally, a dimensional butterfly will appear in part of Kretz. Monad's lamp can detect the butterfly lighting up red to point out its location. When the character is near the hidden butterfly, it will appear. After a, a certain amount of time, the butterfly will disappear into another dimension. Kill it to get useful material. Okay. I was like, what the hell's going on here? <laughs> Thank you, Neri. Um, when you die and your ergo is lying on the street, you can see how much it is with the little number below your current ergo amount. And if you get hit, it reduces the amount you can pick up again. Oh, wow. But can get it back by killing the enemy you that hits you. Or use this Gemini Protector item. Wow, okay, thank you, Yona. Interesting. Interesting um, change of mechanic there. That is definitely different than any of the other games that this is inspired from. There's no item down there. I guess we'll go down. There's two ladders I can go down. I would imagine they both kind of go together. So we'll see where we end up. I was also freaking out trying to find the cat when playing the demo. Cats are everywhere. Dogs are everywhere too. I like how I can interrupt. Oh shit, there's another one. Ah, not fast enough. Okay, so what is up with these things? Can I even hit them? They look very much not killable. I don't trust this. Can I can I shoot things at this to break it? Yes, I can. Does it eventually... It does die out. Okay. Now, can I hit that and move away? Or I feel like I can't hit that and it's just going to shock me, which I don't want. It's an interesting idea to prevent you from running past everything. It is, actually. I was following it and lost it. The game came after telling me to kill it. Oh, man. Just don't die. I'll try not to, Candy Cane. I'll, I'll try my best. Workshop Union Standard Insulation Converter. Whatever the hell that's for. I miss you, Murphy. <coughs> There's a person that's alive here. Look at that. Big boy. Good block. Ah, I was not expecting the second one. Oh, God damn it. Ah. Okay, sometimes he does a red attack there, sometimes he doesn't. Break him up. <clears throat> so, Candy Cane, what have you been up to this morning? Did you get a run-in? Is it really cold? Did you get a lot of snow in your area? The semester started today and I taught at 8.30. Oh my god, then went back to I went to the store. Okay, I thought you went back to bed. You not played this? It looks cool, though. Yeah. Hopefully the 8.30 class every Monday morning is not going to be too killer. You're back to teaching this semester? You're not just correcting and stuff? Do you like... Do you prefer teaching or do you prefer correcting? Hey, I want to stay away from these things. Is there any point to actually kill them? Do you get experience? I feel like I could just avoid them and not worry about it. And like you said, this game is fairly linear. There are shortcuts everywhere, but... Hmm... Yeah, that's the other one. So I could technically just have fallen down here and ignored everything else. They hit enemies too, yeah. I can't do this being cold inside. It's awful. Yeah, that must suck, Kim. It's probably not very comfortable, eh? <clears throat> I feel sometimes I... I knock people away from me with my stab attack. Gemini Emergency Protection. Okay, that's... That looks like the elevator. There's another dog here. If I hit nothing, does that still waste my puppet string? I guess so. 
Hidden Moonstone. Oh, wow. Okay, so I can fully upgrade my weapon now. Might as well travel back the next time we get that. Welcome to your life. You can't feel your toes. Andy, wear some socks. I know you don't wear socks, man. Oh, okay, that's a shortcut. Where the hell am I going, then? If I can't go that way, and I can't go through that way, where the hell am I supposed to go? Yeah, there was someone talking back here. Can I actually talk to them? Let's see what we can find. There's a broken store. No, that's just a window. I guess I go up there, but that's where I came from before. Who is talking? I wish we could play together. <laughs> like we used to. Is this? Oh, shit. So Pinocchio had a friend from school. Who is it? Is it's a different name, Murphy? though. Maybe not a different person. I guess not. Sorry, I, I thought you were my friend, Murphy. Murphy is a super cool police officer. As a puppet, even the petrification disease can't get him. I wish I was like him. <coughs> you should leave so you don't catch the disease from me. It wasn't Romeo. I can't remember their name. I read it last night. So basically what happens in the original story, and it does happen sort of in the Pinocchio remake of Disney, but he had a friend when he was going to school, and that friend convinced him to, um, like, before their exams, they went off to, to the Land of Toys, and so they stayed there for a few months getting distracted, and they both turned into donkeys, but I can't remember his name. But that's what, uh, that's what happens in the original Pinocchio story. It, it wasn't Romeo, it was something else. I don't know if there's any donkey-related things in this. Okay, so if I have to come back up here, that means there must be something up here and not down here. There, that's the shortcut, but I can't get to it. So where must I go now? Where must I go? Over here was a dead end. Up here looked like a dead end, too. I hate it when I'm partying with friends and we all turn into donkeys. I prefer teaching to grading, but I feel like they usually come together. I have had research assistant ships recently, which is a nice way. Yeah, that's much better, you find. Okay, well, there's nothing here. I can't, like, actually climb up this scaffolding. Is there another path I can go? This is where I came from originally. But coming back here doesn't really help me either. There's that elevator. Oh, there's another path here. Or not. I need to get over there, but I don't know how to get to it. I'm not going to respawn everybody, although I do have 3,000 ergo. I might as well level up. But if I can't level up at the Stargazer, so what's up with that? Why can't I just go to the Stargazer and level up? I feel like some of them I can level up at and some of them I can't, and I don't know the difference between the Stargazers. Unless that was only at the beginning of the game. So am I missing something? There's definitely a cat somewhere. Unless there's another path here I just missed. There's the butterfly here. Oh, there is another path. I'm silly. I totally missed this. I'm glad we came back. What's this? Warning. Petrification disease quarantine zone. No trespassers. Everyone is... Everyone is a patient or a lunatic. Do not speak to them. Waiting for Duo to look at the chat and see your comments, Yona. What did Yona say? Look again at the dead ends. Yeah, thank you, Yona. I eventually got there. It only took me 30 seconds. I was looking around. I was looking around. My baby. My baby. Who's alive here? Is this where the shortcut is? It is not. Oh, big boy over there. Wait, there's another ladder here. You were able to level up at the first one because Sophia sent her power to them. Oh, because she couldn't reach you otherwise. But now she can, so she doesn't need to exhaust herself anymore by sending her power to the world. Oh, wow. Okay. What was the point of coming up here? I guess getting away from that guy or talking to her. Hi. This must be your first time in the petrification disease quarantine zone. For most people, this is their last stop. You are a good Samaritan for coming all the way here. I want... May 
I ask you a favor? Is this a mission? My family took my baby from me and sent me here. They said it was for my own good, but it was heartless just the same. A baby must be with its mother. Please go to Card City Hall and bring me my baby. Oh boy. Okay. <clears throat> I'll find her. So if I lie for everything, but like, do I do all these missions also? Thank you so much, kind one. I can finally see my sweet Elena's face again. Please hurry. Hard scales spreading across my eyes. Hard scales? What Before the fuck? I lose my sight. Please. She said the baby was at City Hall. Should we check it out? I mean, yeah. I hope everybody's safe. Okay, so there's gonna be a big guy here. We gotta fight him. Big boy, I have one heal. I should probably... God damn it. Nope, not, not a good time to do that. Shit. Is this the police officer who was talking about being a good guy? God damn it. Damn it. Shit. So bad. God damn you. I'm afraid. That does not do anything. God damn it. I blocked too early. Fuck. Uh, is this game creeper or did I just come in while well, it's eerie? I'm, it's always kind of eerie. Uh, chi. It's all about Pinocchio though. God damn it. God damn it. Okay, so at least we're here. We're not too far away, although there's still a lot of stuff to go through. And um, we have to get to that dead end, but I don't need to go down. We could just kind of fight these guys. Just kind of fight these guys. Mostly eerie. A little bit. It's not too scary, but... it's it's Everything's a puppet. I can do eerie. It's not like a scary game. It's kind of like how Bloodborne's scary. All you're doing is fighting puppets. And you yourself are a puppet being Pinocchio. Pinucci. And there's a cat somewhere. Bloodborne was scary in your opinion? Bloodborne had all the weird alien stuff. The weird alien stuff doesn't help. Okay, we're not going down there. We're just going to come down this way. I want to get all my stuff and we're going to fight this damn police officer. Also, having penis innuendos, there's a lot of those. That's for sure. I mean, the story of Pinocchio is hella scary. Even Disney's version freaks you out, yeah? All right, Mr. Cop. Some areas in Bloodborne could be straight up horror. That's true. No, Chi, honestly. One of the trophies is called the Rise of P. I'm talking about statues getting erect. I tried to block that. That did not work. Oh, I keep forgetting the third combo. Ah. Fuck. Ah. Fuck. There you go. That's my last heal. These guys are tough. Man, man, I keep missing that. Ah. Got that block. And now he's dead. Not too bad. Although I wasted all of my heals. Crap police baton head. Ooh. We got a new weapon. Interesting, interesting, a very fun game. Yo, what's up, Elite Snipes? How you doing? Welcome in. Everything has a penis innuendo? Yeah. Now, Bloodborne has two generally scary parts. One is when you're killing, while well, you're killed by the sack dude and, you've t and you're taking the Yarnum. Yeah. Yo, 
another Canadiana today. 78. I will get that for you in a moment, Elite Snipes. How you doing? Welcome in. Torn Doodle. What do we got here? It itches. Peel the skin and there's true... There's blue blood. 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 Pretty caught a cocoon. Blue angel. Joyful appetite. Blue death. What a feast. Death. Death and death. I'm alive. It itches. What? Okay. Okay. Strange. Very strange. We've got some dogs all over here. We did just get to a new zone. Oh. Police officers got some different weapons, huh? They blocked me. Oh, blocked him. Okay, not too bad, not too bad. Yo, J-Roll, welcome in. This guy seems... Uh, seems fine. It's fine, yeah, seriously, eh? Oh, is this... This is the shortcut over here. So that's not too bad. I can take the other ladder down instead of going up and around, so that's... Yo, how's the P? The P is doing good, Sarah. How are you doing today? I'm well, uh, I'm well recently got back from Florida as an end of the year vacation surprise from the family. Nice. Hopefully you had a good time. Did you do any of the... What the hell? Did you do any of the, like, Universal or Disney or something? Or... I think I want to go... Oh, my God. I think I want to go back and spend my Ergo. Oh, there's an elevator here. Nice. So a double shortcut? That's interesting. Double shortcut, huh? I'm good, just at the office. How are you? I'm doing good, Sarah. How's the office work today? Use the lift. We went downtown to Disney, but it was uh, more to do things that we don't normally do. Okay. What'd you guys end up doing? All right, that's a great shortcut. So this is perfect. I'm going to head back. We're going to level up a little bit, and then we'll, uh, we'll head back down. I, I feel like opening the other shortcut, the elevator is so much better than... Like, the elevator is just so much better than than using the door. Unless you're trying to, like, go around in the loop. Also, I literally uh, reserved one in store and got confirmation. Wait, I hereby have an air fryer. I'm relaxed uh, after the trip, and then I try to find out. I'm thinking of chopped up veggies and ch uh, chicken, and then I'll see how it comes along. Also, literally reserved one in the store and got a confirmation. Oh, whoops, I went to the wrong place. God damn it. No, wait, where's the... Oh, Hotel... I have to press square to go to Hotel Krat. My god. I thought it was one of the places. I didn't realize I have to press square. Thank you, Yona. Um, it's odd. Today is the start of the semester, and it's oddly quiet. Really? Calm before the storm? Um, they sold... Um, then it showed up. They told me it was sold out, so I had to go somewhere else to find one. Almost double the price, but hopefully a better one. That sucks, Chi. I'm sorry to hear that. Use my power to help you. Yes, use your power to help me. Let's level up. Uh, we went on a glass floor boat and saw a lot of cool animals. Went to the museum and wacky uh, of wacky things and also went to the military museum. That went through the different wars in history. That's really cool, Elite Snipes. We mostly just chilled and saw family. Well, as long as you had a lot of fun, it sounds like you had a lot of fun. It sounds like you did a lot of really cool stuff. Okay, we'll level up a little bit of everything. Alright, so let's get that... Let's get that Canadiana for Elite Snipes, page 78. Been a long day. I hear that, she... So we got our book, Stuart McLean. Time now for the Vinyl Cafe Story Exchange. He used to be a radio show host. He did die a number of years ago. Uh, so I don't know if someone took over as radio show host, but probably not. Um, anyways, so this was letters from all over Canada. He used to read them every Sunday. And this is a compilation of the best ones over 10 years of radio. So page 78 is called... Oh, we've... Okay, one second. We're going to do page... Skating with Sing. Sometimes I think about a, a solitary man who lived in our town when I was a kid. A Sikh man who everyone called Singh. This was back in the late 60s when my hometown, Amherstburg, was no more than a bedroom community tucked in the bottom corner of Ontario and linked to the rest of the country by a long, boring stretch of the 401 highway. Singh was an exotic being back then, an enigma separated from the rest of the community by his appearance. He lived in an apartment that had been converted from a business. His living room was the windowed storefront. We kids knew this because we'd steal glimpses of him through a gap in his curtains as we walked by. I remember him sitting in a straight back, uh, a straight back chair next to a table on which sat nothing but a black telephone. I don't remember a television or anything else. 
in my memory, he is just sitting there alone in a spare room, in a sparse room. And we, in our nine-year-old wisdom, would avidly discuss him and his turban, and the rumors about the length of his hair underneath it. I don't know where we were, where he worked, and I don't recall seeing him with any friends. I don't know if he had a car. As, uh, as was typical of most small towns in Canada, the arena was the main hub, uh, the main hub of community activity. The winter, I was mine. Singh took up ice skating. It was with curiosity and cruel bemusement that we kids observed him during Sundays. Um, afternoon, uh, during Sunday afternoon and Wednesday evening public skating, either in the roped off beginner's area or hugging the boards on his way around the ice. Singh was always smiling, as if being so out of place, winter coat and mittens o uh, over his exotic cotton uh, clothing, amusing him too. His progress was excruciatingly slow, and I'd wonder, as I glided past, what kind of pleasure he could possibly get from his sluggish, jerky trips around the rink. He was such an easy target for the mean boys. But Singh continued to show up at the public skating sessions, and even, uh, and eventually he got better. Eventually good enough that I didn't have to hold on to the boards. He became a fixture that winter, and our interest eventually waned. Today I remember Singh through the eyes of an adult, not as an exotic uh, emigre, but as a man. I can't remember when Singh stopped showing up at the arena, or when he left town, and I wish I could tell him that I remember him. That I know now that with every wobbly slip of his blades on the ice, he was reaching out to his community. I wonder about the nine, uh, the night he might have sat in that straight back chair and decided to buy a pair of skates and go skating. I wish I could tell him that his unabashed vulnerability is now to me a symbol of generosity and kinship, and that I wonder if he still skates. So that's a little story for you guys about little kids and growing up in a different time. That is a, a wondrous quote to pop in on right during a nice little sweet story there. So I won't say it out loud, but people can read it in the chat. Anyways, I'm going to be right back. It's noon. I'm going to get a quick snack. I'm going to go to the washroom and I'm going to get some tea because it definitely helps my throat. But I'll be back. Give me a second. That was quote 92. I still remember that he was talking about horses. Really? I was actually talking about horses. I wonder I wonder how that came up. It was probably Stardew or something like that. But maybe not actually. What the hell was I playing that would have been What the hell was I playing that I would have said horses are expensive that came out as whores are expensive. Sometimes context context just sticks even if the quotes are more funny without it. I'm not sure, Star Stable. I don't think it was related to the game. Someone in chat was talking about owning horses and how expensive they are. It might it might have been Venus. Who knows? Although I don't know if they're around when I had 92. I know I saw. I saw Queen. I saw. I have to start from the top and work my way down, Queen. My internet is still dead. Does anyone remember when I first wrote that? My phone went net holds for three hours when I watched on 160p. Um, oh, maybe it was Kingdom Come. I don't know. Uh, okay, so... Yona, you said that when I was, um, where the hell's the shop? Not here. Oh, here's the door. And the elevator. Okay, um, it was right after I got to the hotel, which was probably an hour into the stream, so it's been about an hour and a half, Yona. It was when I entered the hotel. It was about, it, it was an hour into the stream when I got there, more or less. Yo, SK, welcome in. I got a possible game for you. It's got some run calculations, giving Celeste vibes a little. Leica Age Through Blood. It's a Metroidvania on a motorbike. That sounds very interesting, SK. Is it on PlayStation? When did it come out? How you doing, dude? Welcome in. Oh, God. That's not cool. I have to fight both of these. Ah. Yo, this is not... This is a not cool exit. Not cool. Not cool, man. Okay, that definitely helps. But do I want to do that every single time I come through here? Probably not. Oh, it's on Steam, okay. So half my volume is gone. I've seen Leica, it looks cool, but I really, it's really damn brutal, yeah. Windows, PlayStation 4, PS5, so it's on everything. Interesting, I'll have to look into it. SK, I, I think you're in the Discord. If not, uh, I'm sure we've talked on Discord before. Send me a message, I'll have a look at, into it afterwards. Oh, I can actually open the door. So where are we going now? That was the elevator. Oh, I think we're on to the next area, I guess. Thank you, thank you. I saw that in the Iron Pineapple video. It looks awesome. Iron Pineapple, what's that spice? 
The Alchemist Bridge, cloudy morning. No more rain for us. Purge puppets. God damn. No one's very kind in this game. Everyone hates each other. Perfect fantasy setting. All puppets will be destroyed. Yo, what's up, Lone Wolf? How you doing? You think you found Asteragos thanks to Iron Come Pineapple? You got a lot to answer for. Who the hell's screaming at that guy? Geppetto. Oh, is, is it this guy? Do I fight humans now? Is Geppetto in there? You know what caused the puppet frenzy, don't you? The mad donkey. You're their maker, practically their father. You and the alchemist scheming together. Tell me the truth. What's your problem? I'm here for the old man. Get lost. Interesting Wait. way to put the donkeys in this. I know you. Or more like I know what you are. You're the devil's puppet. You can't sneak past me. Die! What's up, bro? Oh my god, look at that guy's weapon. I want that. The first boss. Ah. Like a freaking. Oh my, he really turns on you, huh? Oh my goodness. I am not doing this right. Okay. Oh, fuck. He attacks really fast. Oh, or he attacks really slow. God damn it. I cannot get the timing of this. I cannot get the timing of this. And I'm just clicking it, so I'm not even healing. Ah. Uh, not good. He attacks way faster than I do. Oh my god, he has so much. Motherfucker. And I'm dead. God damn. Shrek would, uh, should be close by, imagine? That was rough. That was a rough first go. Rip indeed. Better explanation? Iron Pineapple is a YouTuber who does a series called Steam Dumpster Diving, where he plays Souls-like no one has ever heard of that he finds on Steam. Always, of course, Souls-like, though. People love those types of games. I was about to say he went, we want the struggle? You shouldn't be saying that? I don't even see what you said, Neri. It's fine, I'm gonna just work on parrying him, Neri. That's weird that I can look behind that. You're doing well, vacant. I'm getting wrecked. Okay, if I can pull you here, come here. There you go. Ah, oh, I tried to block you. Ah. Okay, okay. Vacant, how are you doing today? The dog. I don't know how much I'm doing well, but anyways, I feel like I'm doing all right. Oh, there's what did I miss here? Oh, it's another trap. I wonder if those go off just for no reason. Urgent repair tool. Why are you wearing a birthday? I'm wearing actually a Santa hat. It looks like a little pylon, but anyways, I could wear a top hat. Let me get more into character. Let me get more into character. Although I, he should be wearing glasses, but goddamn, look at that top hat. Ridiculous. That better? He's a garden gnome? See if there's anything else here. Alright, let's kill this guy. Now we're wearing a top hat. Let's see if I can get this guy this time. Alright, bro. Goddamn, your attacks are either way too fast or way too slow. I'm so bad at this, like, countering this guy. I don't know why. He's fu There you go. He's fucking hard. <sighs> I keep expecting the fast slow white, but I never get it. Fucking dick. Ah, there's the fast one. Okay, got you there. God damn it. The fast one I never anticipate. The fast one I never anticipate. Ah, god damn it. God damn you. 
Oh. This guy's fast. For how big his weapon is, he's fucking fast. Ah. Okay, that was weird. Ah, god damn it. I keep like countering, but I'm not holding it, so I don't block him. I'm trying to counter and I miss. Oh my god. I thought he was done. I'm dead. Dodge? I don't want to dodge, Zam. I want to block. Yo, Chops, welcome in. How you doing? You can. Yeah, I know. Neri said that before. I could backstab him. Don't die. This is this is dying. It is dying, Zam. I'm okay. Doing well. You're doing well. You will get used to how he fights. Uh, the timing. It took me a few tries when I first played. Yeah, I'm already getting used to it. It's not so bad. It's just a matter of getting the reps in. I was already countering him way more than I was before. I'm trying, Zam. I'm trying. Zam, do you ever play these games? Uh, play the one that first came out. Have you played? I've not played Lords of the Fallen. Lords of the Fallen does look cool. I don't know if I'd play it, though. I never played the first one. Did you ever play the original? Technically, it's not a continuation. Oh, fuck you. Guy attacks so fast. I also stubbornly play this like Sekiro. I should probably have a faster weapon, though, if I'm going to play like that. You start to get the hang of this game a bit after this point, yeah? Okay. At least we're picking up items. I thought there was a dog here. Where'd he go? <clears throat> Chops, how you doing? How did you like this game? You got through all of it? I don't know if you want a tip, or just a tip for when the claws show up. I mean, I haven't even seen the claws, so I don't even know what it's going to be. Unless you're talking about his red attack, but it's fine. Don't worry about it. I will figure it out. Uh, Lords of the Fallen is really cool. Puts way more emphasis on exploration, though. People compare it to more DS2 than... And I can yeah, you can absolutely see it. This game is sick. It, it's pretty cool so far. I'm in, I'm enjoying my time with it. Although the first boss, I've died a few times here. Ah, fuck you. There you go. Oh, I'm so dumb. I, I like if I'm gonna block, I should hold it. So at least I get the block in. There you go. Ah. Ah. There you go. Not bad. Ah. God damn it. I keep going too fast. Ah. Oh, I broke his weapon. Suck it. He has like no range now. He has no range. Get Rex, son. There you go. Not too bad. Easy peasy. <clears throat> I have to learn to hold the button. In Sekiro, you couldn't hold it when you're parrying. At least I don't think you were. Geppetto, my father. 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 He was a real ass. He actually was, Andy. Now look at my glasses. Oh, shit. What's up, bro? Look at his Finally, gold monocle. We meet. Wait, has he so, never met me? What is this? It's Very interesting. A dream come true. Oh. Seeing you like this, I understand why some people despise me. I invented the puppets after all. I should take responsibility as their maker. But in order for me to do that, I need to take care of the puppets at City Hall. Won't you help me, son? I guess. Take this. You'll find it most useful. 
Um, oh, Mad Donkey stuff. Krat City Hall key, Enigma assembly tool. So a new tool. Um, we got all the all the donkey stuff. So yeah, that is the, an interesting take on the donkeys because in the actual story, Pinocchio and his friend get turned into I donkeys. To hear all about your experiences, but now isn't a good time. No, it's not. Use the stalker's key to open the bridge door. Then get rid of the frenzied puppets that have seized City Hall. We'll catch up at Hotel Krat when you're done. All right. I guess we're going to the hotel. So you're saying a lot of people are comparing Lords of the Fallen to uh, Dark Souls 2. And uh, Lone Wolf is saying that he he really likes Dark Souls 2. Even if it's the worst Souls game, it's still a very good game. Which a lot of people, I feel like they forget that part. I've never played Dark Souls 2. But I mean, just because it could be the weakest version of a series doesn't necessarily mean it's a bad game. And a lot of people are just like, oh, it's, it's bad because it's just... It could still be a very good game. It could still be better than many other games. It's just, it doesn't live up to the rest of the series, possibly. I, I, again, I have no, I have no opinion because I've never actually played it. I'm just like going off of what other people say and sort of figuring out. I feel like I don't get a lot of ergo from the bosses. Exactly, DS2 is the lowest of the DS games, but it's still a great game. Worst is still a solid 80, 85% between two genre defining masterpieces, right? Man, there's just dead people everywhere. God damn. I don't play Souls games because so my mom said these games are for the devil and I value my soul. About. If you find any more weapons, let's try using them here. Mm-hmm. So I can assemble my weapon. Oh, assemble weapons. So I can actually... Oh! Assemble weapons through Eugenie at the hotel or at the Stargazer at different areas. Separate your weapons in the blades and handles and assemble them into new weapons that match your character's battle style. The weapon's features are decided by the handle and blade combo. Okay. Interesting. So, I have different weapons here. The Krat poli Police Baton, which uses mostly motiv motivity. And then we have the other one that uses motivity, but it's a little bit less. Does it say, like, the speed of these things? Because, like, right now I'm using the Greatsword, right? Greatsword, Fate Blade, plus the handle. Can I, I guess I could disassemble it, this and change it. There's so many things. The blade defines the damage and speed. The handle defines move sets and scaling. Oh. Okay. So the the Krat Police baton handle does the same thing as the handle I'm already using. It's B motivity and D technique, anyways. Um, although this is slightly less weight, but at the same time, it's well, it's a lot less damage. I like my damage. Slowly getting used to using this. Favorite place so far for me, Gramophone. I don't think I've been there yet, Neri. DS2 is good, janky fun. I uh, got invaded by the entire cast of Shrek when I streamed it. Wait, what? The entire cast of Shrek? What are you talking about? Uh, okay, so I guess we'll leave it at this for now. I guess I won't really change anything. If I were to disassemble it, there's nothing with a better scaling. Or actually, you said the blade... Is, no, no, the handle defines moveset and scaling. Okay, so I don't really have anything that I would change this to unless I wanted to have motivity and technique up by putting the puppet's saber handle, but there's no point for that. Okay, we're good. Uh, switch Legion on. What else do we have? I, I didn't actually pick up anything else. I thought I did, but apparently I didn't. Oh, I can change it. I did pick up. I have the steel arm and that's it. Okay, well then that's that. I guess we're going to go back. I want to go level up my weapon. I like the blade you have with the baton handle. The baton handle, yeah. What does it change though? Because the baton handle has a different move set. It does it just does it change my actual attacks that I have, or does it change the like just the triangle, triangle, triangle? I'd have to see what it actually does. I guess we can go have a look in the training area. So it actually does change what it looks like, or what it what it actually does. Got invaded by the entire cast of Shrek. Shrek, Fiona, Puss in Boots, the Magic Mirror, and Doors. The bar, uh, the bur, uh, the barmaid, the barmaid, the, to name a few. So like basically the names were that. Okay, well let's see. If we assemble a weapon, if I disassemble this, does it cost me anything to disassemble and reassemble stuff or no? Like if it costs ergo, why do I want to do that? Let's see. If I use the great sword blade, and then I use the you said the baton handle. Let's have a look. Why not? Oh, explore possibilities. Let's upgrade my weapon here. 
Oh, and now I need four. Okay. So that handles it. Let's go outside and have a look. Now it doesn't cost. Okay. At least it doesn't cost. So I have a different... Now I have a, I have a different move set. Okay. So I'm way different. I don't know if I like that. It's like having to get used to something completely new. It's way more slashy, eh? It is way more slashy. And I don't even have a combo for R2 anymore. It's literally just a single attack. I guess I don't mind that because it plays into my normal strengths. How quickly can I attack and block, though? How quickly can I attack or block, though, is the real question. Hmm. Okay, I'll, I'll try it. It seems interesting. You like to sprint attack. Okay, it's a nice little sweep. That's good. The other one is a up slash. I guess I can live with this. We'll see what it looks like. Also, different blades are differentiated between pierce and strike. Damage, obviously, a baton is very bad at stabbing. Yeah, that's true. It's more sweeping, eh? I live in the UK and I played $50 for that game. Biggest waste of money. I will tell anyone, wait until there's a great deal or when you do not have to pay for it. Which game vacant? Lords of the Fallen or names and they looked as much like the characters as the D2 engine would allow. That's amazing spice, honestly. That's the beauty of the game. You will find a blade handle combo you like. Uh, you have to test them all out though, right? Oh Lord, you didn't you didn't like it? So Yona didn't like it at first either, Vacan. Maybe give it a try with a different with a different build. You might actually enjoy it more than you think. Okay, I'm gonna level up one more time too. So many options. A little bit more damage. I'm just... I just keep... Do I even want technique? Does it do anything else for me? I guess more physical damage. Or no, physical defense. The only... Oh no, everything increases my defense. It's like souls in that way. So technique is literally just for... Oh no, it does increase my stuff, but... I don't know what else it does. Yo, Vacant, thanks for the follow. Really appreciate it. Um, More stamina? No. More attack. Oh no, not capacity. Although that gives me more weight. Do I want that? What does Legion do again? It makes my, my weapon better, right? Okay. Let's go back. And let's check out the, the main hall. Krat City Hall. Legion is your army. I figured I, I got that afterwards. But uh, thanks again for the follow, Vacan. Isn't the Blade Fable art a busted block or something like that? On, on the baton, Lone Wolf? I don't know. Remember to reload your uh, sword by shooting off screen? Thank you, uh, thank you, Zam. Doors just had a ladle and did zero damage. That's actually funny, Spice. I'm, like, I can't believe a group of people just did that. It's really funny. Me cold messaging someone in another branch in another country. Also me rereading my two sentence message 800 times to make sure I didn't do a spelling mistake. Don't we all do that, Queen? Don't we all? Absolutely love the ranged weapon system in Lords of the Fallen. Nothing I've ever seen before, and it's a lot better. Yona did not have a good time doing melee in uh, Lords of the Fallen, so maybe give it a shot with the range. You might enjoy it. Okay, there's... Wow, I totally missed you. Wait, I got a new heal. When did I pick up an extra heal? Great sword blade, not the baton. Oh, okay. I'm, it, is it a busted block? I don't know how it works. I, I can't figure it out. Oh, shit. Some guy showed up behind me. Ah, I'm just getting attacked. Okay, the problem, like, last, before, this is much better for single targets, but it's a lot harder to hit multiple people. When I was, uh, when I was using the regular greatsword, um, handle, it kind of did sweeping strikes that hit everything. Geppetto gave you an extra cell. Thank you. That, that's what it was. <clears throat> I've not been using... Hmm. Yeah, the heal is mine. Can you give it back? Sorry, Zen. It's mine now. Okay. Not too bad so far. S slowly getting the hang of this one. No enemy over there. There's just this guy. Can I sneak, sneak up on you? Probably not. He's going to turn around right before I get to him. Oh, no, he did it. Dead. 
Uh, you ever get a chance, please try it, or when it's on sale. I don't know if you have to mind to play Lords of the Fallen. I played Lies of P first, then I went to Lords of the Fallen. It really wasn't for you. I'm still going through Lords of the Fallen as I want to complete it. I don't like not finishing games. Do you do trophy hunting vacant? You said you got the plat for this, right? Is that something you typically do? Because that's what we do here. All the trophy hunting. Okay, you're dead. Oh, that's not an enemy, but that looks fucked up. Vivid Ergo Fragment. What the hell is going on here? I guess this is the plague area. Something's definitely up. Here's a button. Shortcut. I do hunt trophies, then. That's all we do. Name all the trophies ever? I don't think I can do that. Okay, so that was a quick shortcut. We don't have to go through all of those guys anymore, which is pretty nice. That's actually a very fast shortcut. What the hell? That's a little weird. Okay. I mean, I don't mind, I guess. It barely gives me... I, I, I pass a few guys, but not that many. Kind of interesting. What a phony. I could name them all. Can you? Which ones can you name? Where do we want to go? There's a big boy over there. There's an item over here. Any enemies? No enemies. Oh, there's a bird. I feel like I want to talk to the to the crow. Pratt News. Issue 1124. My Mr. Ven uh, Venini. His ambitions to make a jolly police mascot puppet for City Hall ended in failure. His passion to make a trustworthy friend for the citizens and a strong officer who overpowers criminals was in the right place, but turned out to be excessive. The new police officer's puppet's uh, overcharged storage batteries exceeded its capacity, causing chain explosions and malfunctions and serious body damage. The city council re recommended disposing of the puppet on the grounds that its appearance intimidates visitors. But Mr. Vanini and the taxpayers protested, halting the council's plan in its, in its tracks. The puppet still lies abandoned behind City Hall to this day while the lawsuit is ongoing. I guess I'm going to have to fight that. The interesting thing is, even when the puppet is un uh, unattended, it performs a number of its mascot roles. It is especially popular with kids, and it even appears to react and respond to the playing of children. However, it has led to more slum children entering City Hall and causing inconveniences to visitors. The City Council is considering exhibiting the puppet only occasionally as a means to strict restrict entry. Interesting. Fire cat? Firecat, yes, Firecat, something like that, Queen. I don't know where you got that though. I got my, I got my cats on fire or something. I can't answer your question. You have to go. The cat's on fire. Well, good luck with that, Sam. Good luck with that. You also hate that. Uh, same here, Liza P. Then Lord of the Fallen. They focus on completely different things, so it's hard to compare. Sometimes games be like that. Of course, you get up before I come. What can I do for you, huh? I just fought one of you. Okay. Get in this guy decently. I like the range of that much better than the range of the other one for whatever reason. I don't know how it goes further, but the weird sweeps that I did with the two the two hit was a little weird. That was much better. Actually, you're right. I like this a lot, uh chops. It's very good. Broken baby puppet. What? Survivors here. What do we do? Just give her that baby puppet. Is that the mission? Is that the quest? I give her the baby puppet? Yeah, I have a platinum Liza P. I like to get the achievement trophies. I did get all the trophies for Dark Souls 1. I know what is hard to get all the trophies for. I know yeah, I have that one too. It's it is pretty challenging. Made quick work of them, pretty much. Sleeping Beauty, how are you doing today? What are you up to? God damn it, I'm never close enough. <clears throat> Come here. Get over here. Oh, apparently I'm not strong enough to kill him, though. Need to upgrade my weapon just a little bit more. Ever so slightly more. Does charging up my fist do any more damage, or just pressing it may basically does the come here and that's it? Yeah, there, there's another item here. I like it better than the default stabby stab moveset. I'm not sure. I like it. I don't know how much I like it more than the other one, but it's it's definitely workable. More Mortal Kombat voice right there? Yeah, exactly. Puppet destroy amulet. What does that do? 
Makes me stronger against puppets, I guess. Increased damage inflicted on upon puppets, okay. Slowly increasing my weight, but not by much. I might want to increase that a little bit more, but you said it only goes down around 70%. 70% is a far, a far cry away from me right now. Spectre. Use a star fragment at the cracks calling next to the boss area to summon a specter. It will help your character in boss battles. So that's what star fragments are for. Okay. It's just for summoning stuff. And we have a boss coming up. Ooh. I don't want to do that. I guess we'll just go to the boss. Okay. Uh, what got you into Souls games? Um, so my history with Souls games. I played Demon Souls back on the PS3, and apparently I got pretty far looking at my original trophies for that, but I never beat it. The anxiety of dying all the time kind of really got to me, so I kind of stopped playing it after, I don't know, I beat, I, I did beat the Flame Lurker, which is fucking hard. Um, then I got, I tried to play Dark Souls. I never really got into it for whatever reason. Again, the anxiety of dying and just, like, I wasn't really used to that. And so I just never really continued with it. I know my friend were really big into it. Um, we were already from Slop fans. We used to play Armored Core and a bunch of different games. So when they came out with Demon Souls, I was pretty hyped for it because I love medieval stuff. I just never ended up getting into it. And then, uh, Bloodborne came out. And Bloodborne, I love the aesthetic. I love the, like, just the like the Victorian, like the Gothic Victorian area. Like I just loved the aesthetic and um, it was really cool. So I started playing that and I got fairly far into it and still I started getting that anxiety feeling again, uh, uh, with it again. And so I stopped playing it, I put it down. But what got me back into it was a video that I found on YouTube about the lore of um, Bloodborne, how it was more Lovecraft and it starts off with like werewolves and witches and stuff and all this weird campy Halloween things and then it starts getting deeper into madness and ridiculousness that was the aliens and all this other stuff and um, and that actually watching that video actually got me into learning about more of the world of Bloodborne and it pushed me through to actually beat the entire game and from there like I find once you actually get through your first full FromSoft like Dark Souls type game then it's a lot easier to get into all the other ones because you get used to dying you know it's part of the process like when you start any of these games they're very unapproachable dying is incredibly quick at the beginning you have no power you have no health you have no ability Thank you very much for the gift sub, Chops. Knusan, enjoy the uh, emotes and the ad for viewing. Thank you very much for that, Chops. I really appreciate it, dude. Um, really, really appreciate that. Um, so yeah, like I was saying, um, dying at the very beginning of these FromSoft games is gonna happen. And when you're starting out, it's unapproachable because it just feels like that's the entire experience of the entire game. You're just going to die constantly. You're never going to get strong. Everything is going to feel weak. And it's not just bosses that are strong. It's all the pleb enemies that kill you because you're just not used to it. You're not strong enough. You can't survive anything. But once you start getting levels, you start getting uh, more familiar with the game, you stop dying to all the pleb enemies and you're only really dying to bosses, which makes it a lot more approachable. But until you get to that point, in your experience with any of these types of games, they're hard to get into. So, I mean, that's my experience with it so far. Now you can kind of play any of them, but but yeah, that's uh, that's that's just my experience with it or how I, I see it. Uh, Knusan, welcome in. How you doing? What is up? So we got the first big boss. That donkey guy was nothing. Chops again, thank you very much for the gift sub. Really appreciate that. Knusan, enjoy the emotion ad for you. How you doing? Welcome in. A fucking, you're fucking up all the letters. Don't worry about it, Knu. It's all good. How are you doing today? It's got a learning curve for sure. This was the last demo boss. Oh, was it? So I'm not even out of the demo yet. I know I heard a lot of people struggled with this stuff. Been crafting most of the days. Okay. This fight is rougher than 90% of Elven Ring. <laughs> Elden Ring wasn't very hard. Other than the last, like, five bosses, I cruised through that game. Is Dark Beast Parl the robot? Ah! My god, he punches far. Oh my god. I actually got that. Okay. This is the police. Oh, oh why did I do a second attack? Oh shit. No, dodge! No! Oh. No! I wasn't sure what was going to happen there. That goes really far. 
I am not blocking properly. Oh, I missed. I tried the I tried to block that. I did not get it. My god, like the wait time for all of that is so long. Okay, we can probably block that a little bit better. I'm doing horribly. Yeah, not doing good. Oh. Knock him down. Not bad, not bad. Well, we'll get a heal back here, I think. Yeah. Okay, so we knock him, we heal. Try and survive a little bit longer. Oh, come on. What was that? <laughs> I was not expecting that at all. Can you block that? Nope, nope. Electricity is bad. God damn it. They had to have electricity. They just had to have electricity. Ah. Do I just avoid this guy forever? I'm losing my Ergo. This looks so much like it is. It is very much like a Dark Souls game. I'm dead. Oh my god, this is Pinocchio's themed Souls game? Pretty much fickle. That's that's what it is. <clears throat> Thanks. So it is a watch not play game for fickle. It's a cool game though. The story's interesting so far. That is the first main boss. My goodness. Okay, well, well I mean we got we got that first one down. <laughs> Thank you for giving me the tutorial about all the electroshock now. Electric shock occurs when electric blitz damage builds up. Both your character and the monster will take increased electric blitz, the physical and uh, blitz and physical damage. Your character will receive continuous damage to your fable slot. Monsters will experience increased stagger damage. The higher your electric blitz resistance, the slower the electric shock gauge charge speed. Use purification uh, ampoule to remove the status ailment. So do I, if I'm doing extra damage for being shocked, do I care that I'm shocked? I mean, it does damage to me, obviously, which is bad, but not a bad first attempt. This also be timing. It wasn't too bad, Neri, but yeah, it's not easy, that's for sure. I've seen this game millions of times, but I still have no idea about anything. I just realized, well, it's all Pinocchio. Can I actually avoid this guy? Can I go straight to the boss? Ugh. Really? I'm too far? Come here. Okay. Might as well get this guy, too. You might have picked up a shock resistance cartridge. I probably have. I'm pretty sure I've picked one up, Yona. So, Kanusan, what have you been up to lately? You've been crafting most of the day? Nice. What have you been working on? So, the boss is through here. I have to go through another... Oh, he didn't actually re... I thought when I killed these guys, they don't come back anymore. You can just run through that if that helps. I could. I don't really want to. I know I could. I mean, it's not hard to kill them. And it's not like I'm going to use my puppet string in that next fight. So I'll just pick up some extra Ergo and then that's it. It's not a horrible walk of shame. Good old walks of shame. All right. <clears throat> Should I use the shark resistant cartridge? Would that help? But uh, then again, using these items when you're not really used to the fight. You leveled up a few times just killing these guys on the way to the fight. I could level up right now if I really want to. It's armor. Oh, it's just armor. I don't think I picked that up. Like an amulet or a defensive part. Oh, standard insulation converter. Nine weight. Oh my goodness. That's giving me a lot of extra weight. Physical damage reduction rate. Okay, this brings my defense up a lot, actually. Okay, I guess it's better in every regard, except for weight. We have different rings, too. Um, my goodness. Why are these so heavy? That's the, the Ford F-150 frame. Okay, so I never actually changed any of these. What does this do? Physical damage reduction. So these are just better armor. But again, I'm just increasing my percentage. Shark resistance? Shark. Shock. Shock. Did I say shark? Sorry. I wasn't sure if you felt like you could or couldn't. No, no, for sure. Yeah, I, you can always run through stuff in, the, in these games. Um, I just wasn't sure if I wanted to. Shark resistance. Hmm. Do I want that? My, my resistance is only four, which is kind of shit. Maybe I could do the mid-range one. I'm going to have to increase my, my, my weight. I'm going to have to increase my weight. Baby shark, do, do, exactly. Shark resistance. I was thinking more lone shark. 
<laughs> Resisting the loan shark. All right, let's try this guy again. See how this goes. Got a good block there. Got a block there. Nice. Uh, keep blocking too late. Get that arm, that, that health back a little bit. Keep blocking too late. God damn it. Got that one. We're doing a fair amount of damage so far. We're doing good. God damn it, charge. No. There you go. Suck it, buddy. Uh, God, I don't know how much time I have to do that. I was trying to do all of it, but I missed. There's the shock. Let me just back up a little bit. Get a little heal in. Okay, okay. Nice parries. Not bad. Just back away from that one. Okay. Oh. What the hell was that? Nice. Suck it. Oh, what a grab! I was not expecting that one bit. Don't kill me. Don't kill me, bro. Oh, god damn, that sucked. Oh. That sucks. I was not expecting to grab one bit. Is there any indication that he was gonna grab me there? That I just missed? Okay, that combo was much longer. Right in the middle of, yo, look how nice that game is. The battery actually lasted like three hours when it said it was going to die. So that's not horrible. God damn. God damn. At least, uh, at least the game is kind to me. That could have been very bad because that's, this has been so far a decent run. Okay. Very. Big block. Oh, back away, back away. Okay. I haven't been able to do much to this guy. Oh, that was the grab. Oh, fuck, I'm an idiot. That was the grab. God damn it. I wish there was a better indication that he was going to grab me. No. I thought he was going to attack. I just stood there like an idiot. Oh, fuck. The, the shock. God damn it. I'm not used to the shock coming up on the ground. That was a very good second playthrough. Yes, the Sekiro definitely gave me some good training. God damn it. What type of builds do you usually go for? Strength builds va vacants. I'm always very strength. Um, the grab is brutal. The grab does a fuck ton of damage. Um, and I wasn't used to it. Now this game likes tricky. Trickery, yeah. You're picking this up fast, honestly. I can't even believe how bad that guy did. But yeah, I played I mean, I played Sekiro in 2019, though. It was a very long time ago. Like five years ago that I played Sekiro. But it did help. Probably, but I'm, I'm just more used to these games in in general after playing a, quite a few of them. But I, I guess I, I don't. Oh, God damn it. I don't necessarily adapt slowly, which is to my benefit, I guess. Uh, but yeah, I usually do strength builds in any of the Dark Souls games. My main strategy is to just I, I tend to dodge around and wait for them to give me an opening because honestly, None of the bosses in any of these games really give you much time to get more than one attack in. So why not make it as strong as possible? That's usually how I end up approaching these games. So I just, you know, hit once very hard and then I roll away. So I don't want to overextend because overextending usually means death. Um, this one's a bit different. Sekiro was a bit different because there's no real build in that. Um, you just kind of have your weapon. You kind of go through. It's a lot different. Whereas in this... There's so many different different ways to go, but you are forced to kind of be close and kind of defend. So it's maybe not the best choice to be overly strength based. But we'll see. Got a lot of practice, I am. I played Sekiro in a release. Yeah, I was very very excited for that after finishing Bloodborne. That was a bad block. That was a bad block too. That was a good block. That was bad, but anyways. That was good. That was good. Oh, 
Why did I do that? Okay, knock you down. Can I get all three of them in this time and then do the... Oh, no, I cannot. Well, at least I got all those and I don't know what does more damage, honestly. I'm actually going through Sekiro again because of Liza P. Sekiro is a sick game. I love Sekiro. God damn it. This B. Okay. Oh, he's going to shock me. Okay, I dodged that. Smart, smart. Uh, we're learning. Big block. Oh, back away, back away. Oh, I backed up into it. Oh, fuck. I think I dodged his grab. I wasn't even actually expecting it there. Fuck, I'm, 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 I'm dodging. I'm, I'm blocking way too early. My strength tactic is not really working. It is and it isn't. We'll see. Oh, I blocked too late. God damn it. Might as well charge this up, get a full. Come on. This still has so much health. Oh, that's the grab. No grab for you, jerk. Too far. Damn it. This guy's doing so much more damage now. Ah. Oh. Fucking hell. I tried to dodge that. Dodging did not work in that regards. I am dead. This is not going well. How was I supposed to dodge the shock? I thought I was away from everything, but it put it everywhere. I wasn't around any of the things that popped up, but then it did a shockwave on the ground that I wasn't expecting. It's not like you can easily jump in this. What did you think of the last boss in Sekiro? It was the it was the hardest boss that they had in one of these games that I've played at the time. Um, uh, before Melania, Mel that boss took me like four hours. The last boss is Sekiro, but Melania like solo without having like just doing a strength build and fighting her normally without doing any summons or anything like that or no magic or anything took me like seven hours, 163 deaths. It was uh, it was a tough one. It was a tough one. But I got through. No summons, all strength. I mean, I, I eventually changed up some of my weapons to put a little bit of frost and stuff, but I, it was all melee. I would always try to grab the parry, ended up getting grabbed. Oh my god. Tried the parry to grab. Yeah, that's what I was trying to do, Chops. At least at first. At least I, I'm getting used to what it looks like, so that's not so bad. That's not so bad. Yeah, I could probably level up again if I really wanted to. Do I want to? I don't know. This guy's tough. After he gets the electricity, I'm just, I'm not getting any damage in on him anymore. I'm just not getting any damage on him. What is with the Japanese subtitles? I don't understand that. Fuck, there's always a little bit of a delay there for that attack. Fuck, that time there was no delay. Fuck. And that time there was a delay. God damn it. I'm missing my blocks. I keep missing all my blocks now. I was doing very good before and now I'm just missing everything. Down you go. Get that attack in. That's not Japanese, it's, it's encrypted. Oh, okay. I don't know, it looks like Japanese symbols, honestly. Ah, oh, goddammit. There goes the shock. Now for the hard part about this fight. Ah, oh, goddammit. Nice blocks. Dodge away. Big block. Dodge away. So I need to be right on top of him to miss that? I don't know how I dodged. God damn it. You need to get yourself back into the zone, yeah. It's not easy.
Okay, I can get... Oh, God. Damn it. Not expecting that. Well, there goes my last block. Nice block there. Need to get these blocks in. Come on. Come on. Attack me, fool. Shit. God damn it. Oh, I was trying to block, uh, trying to get away. Nope, that's the block. Oh my God. Yes. Knock him down. He's not quite there yet, but he's almost there. You asked for it, I did. Got a heal. God damn it, I healed up and then took a big hit. Oh fuck. God damn it, I'm so close. Fuck! Ah, uh, so close! Uh, not Japanese, just apparently New Game Plus translation. Oh, it's Puppet Speak. Yeah, it's a Korean company. It was their first game released. Yeah, but they did a good job so far. Remember to not die. I keep forgetting, Zen. I keep forgetting. That's my problem. I keep forgetting to not die. It's another rip. Another rip. 13 so far. God damn. I mean, we're making... I mean, I'm making good progress. We got much further into that second phase than I did before. Much more into that second phase. God damn it. I keep wasting all of my stuff. Oh, God. wrong button. So the one thing I don't like about this is that there's no three-hit combo. You hit twice, and then it kind of just cycles the two hits. It's a little slower. Without blocking and parrying, this guy in the demo took me like 15 tries. God damn. I'm just saying, just in case anyone did not know, uh, that was a great run. Well, thank you, Vacant. It was uh, it was a good it was a good run. We're almost there. I just I'm not uh, I'm just missing a little something. But we're almost there. We got this guy getting all that little extra experience. Should I go level up? Should I go level up? I'd have to run back. I kind of want to just beat this guy. I'm sure I could do it. I'm sure I can do it. Puppet speak. So I speak like a normal human, though. Why doesn't anyone else speak like a normal human? God damn it. I'm okay. I'm attacking. Big block there. Oh, I thought I had that block. I waited just a little too long, unfortunately. Ah. This guy should be going down pretty soon. Fuck, that punch. I'm wasting too many of my blocks early. Too bad I can't break this guy's weapon. There you go. Okay, so now he's going to do his electricity bullshit. Let's back away. Off he goes. There you go. Thank you. Get a nice big hit on him. Fuck. Keep messing up that block. Get in that one, though. Oh, my God. I backed up into it. I, wait, I, I, I don't like the fact that I can't see... What's behind me when this guy starts doing his attacks? Ah, oh, can I keep blocking that too late? Yeah, motivity. That is what I am doing. Welcome in, CPT. Captain. Shit, the block. Out of the grab. Captain Spyro, how you doing? God damn it. Well, this run's pretty scuffed. I don't think I'm gonna... I might be able to get out of this, but I have to be very careful. Nope. I missed my block. Can't wait to see what you choose to go for in terms of build. Uh, what kind of weapon you will choose and can't wait to see. Well, we'll see. We'll find out. With a rare, with a rare Ergo Greatsword. The rare Ergo Greatsword. We're going to try. What's up, uh, Captain Spyro? How you doing? Hmm. Oh, that will be interesting. Uh, as I went for a technique, I... We'll see. I don't know. My, my stubbornness says to just go strength, but at the same time, this game is much different. It's much closer to Sekiro, so I might have to go that way. There's a really cool weapon in the next area, which handles... I use for a good chunk of the game, yeah. We also play very differently, but then again, handle 
and wep and blade choice could be very different, right? Maybe I'll still like that handle while keeping my blade choice. Be curious to see what it is, Yona. Yeah, let's keep running through. A couple more guys to kill. Captain Spyro, did you beat this game already? Are you going for the plat? Have you already received the plat? I do trophy hunting here, so we're going to be going through the entire game. Pretty sure you will like it. It has a bit out a bit out of my usual weapon choice, really. Okay. The blue butterfly is back. We're slowly getting a lot more experience, though. I'm already at 3,000 now, just from all these death repeats. All right, buddy. I shouldn't have attacked there. And I blocked too early. Too early again. That time was good. Too early. Got you there. Got you there. Stopped his red attack. Ah, oh, that one I'm, I'm never anticipating it going as fast as it does. Fuck, I blocked way too early. Knock him down. Another extra attack. Oh, shit. No, I missed. There you go. I got it. I almost missed that. Pretty sure you'll like it. Yeah, I went for technique as well. It was really fun. I always like, have you played all the other FromSoft games, Captain Spyro, or no? I've played a bunch of them. I tend to be a one-trick pony. Love me my strength. Oh, God, why can't I grab that? I, I keep blocking too late. That's what I think I'm doing. I keep blocking too late. Ah. Fucking goddammit. Why do I keep blocking too early? too late. I think I'm used to, like, that other one that keeps coming down. Oh, shit, the grab! Technique with the scythe for you, yeah? Goddamn grab. I noticed it at the last second that I couldn't get away from him. Oh, I dodged that. Okay. Big block. I'm so stressed. Hella stressed. Greed! Greed! Sometimes greed works. Eliminated. Sometimes greed works. God damn. Um, I got a bunch of stuff. We got the P organ. Yo, that's the second innuendo. That good old P organ. Yo, Lazy Chocobo, welcome in. Lazy P was your first, no regrets. Nice. Faded whistle. Friends? Okay. Do you plan on playing any of the other ones, uh, Captain Spyro? What what pulled you into Liza P versus any of the other FromSoft ones? <clears throat> okay, so we got the Stargazer. Is there anything else I want to pick up here? Is there any other items? We we just beat that guy. Which direction did we come from? I need. Uh, I should probably heal here. We got eight thousand ergo. I could probably level up. I also have to give that baby back. I have to give that baby back. Um, do you want a tip for the whistle? Uh, no, no. Well, we'll figure it out eventually, I guess. I, I'm assuming the game will probably eventually tell me vacant. Do not worry. Oh, what's this? The Vinny, the Va Vanini Guide. Dear citizens of Krat, the factory has been occupied by the puppets. Whatever the cause, Vanini Company is responsible for it. I, Loren, uh, Lorenzini, Lorenzini Vanini. 
I'm going alone to stop those devils. The factory is very dangerous now. Stay out of it and keep safe. The rest I'll leave to Mr. Geppetto, whom I trust more than anyone. God save us all. Regards. Uh, I got you hooked. My girlfriend loves Bloodborne, and she told me about the new Souls-like game, Lies of Peace, so I gave it a try. Okay. But yeah, it's very reminiscent of Bloodborne. Bloodborne's fantastic. You should maybe give that one a go next if you really want to um, play something similar. You can also try Sekiro, too. I'd say this game is a kind of a good mix between Bloodborne and Sekiro, at least so far. I think I'm going to go level up. Is there anything else I want to see in here? I don't think so. That's where I came from, so we're not going to go back that way. Let's just exit. We'll come back. I got you hooked. So maybe maybe Bloodborne. Bloodborne or Sekiro would be a good stamping point for you, for sure. Uh, that's fine. If you're going through this game to platinum it, I think you'll figure it out at some point. The game tells you when you have a quest ready to be completed or someone with new dialogue. Oh, really? Is that with the when you teleport? It said something about giving me... It said that there would be something in the teleporter, right? Oh, wait, where'd she go? Oh, she's up there now. She's moved. Things have changed. Welcome to Hotel Prop. How may I be of service? His mo his lips don't even move. Oh, whoops. I just wanted to see if he had something new to say. Talk about the stalkers. stalkers are vigilantes. There are two groups of them. The bastards and the sweepers. The bastards are an organization of guards for the alchemists and the workshop. Motto, honor or nothing. The bastards? The sweepers are an organization of guards for the old families of Krat. Motto, we always repay what is owed. Mm -hmm. Historically, the relationship between the two groups has been turbulent, but most were killed in the puppet's full-scale attack. That is what little I know beyond the hotel walls. May I serve you in some other way? Okay. No, that's it. Thank you. Uh, Andy, welcome back. What was for dinner? We're doing good. We just beat our first big boss. Not even the donkey, a big you boss. Geppetto. We did. Wonderful. He is on the second floor. He can hardly wait to see you. Thank you, Sophia. I'll Guess use we'll... my power to help you. Thank you. I don't know how to how to word it, and I don't always know if I am giving too much information. Don't worry, we got plenty of uh, plenty of people that will help uh, vacant. But I do appreciate your enthusiasm. Okay, what do we do? I think I want some capacity. Increase my weight. Just a little bit. That brings me back down to 50%, which is nice. Okay. Okay, perfect. Uh, also, GG on killing the boss. Thank you, Neri. Goddamn, finally killed this. You finally killed him too, Neri. So you got past me and then I got past you, or we're more or less at the same amount. Where is Geppetto? I'll sit and relax and watch you play your game. Hey, no worries, Vacant. By all means, uh, converse with everyone. Don't just gotta sit back. What are you playing now anyways, if you're done with Liza P? Have you been playing anything else? What other games do you enjoy? Keep your private life out of chat. Yo, Brain Bowl, welcome in. How you doing? Look at Geppetto. Is this Geppetto's room? Does he just live at the hotel? This is pretty cool. He's got an electric chair? The hell? Geppetto, what are you uh, doing? You've returned. Forgive a sentimental father for worrying about He's his got son. a Mads Mikkelsen. Mads Mikkelsen? He's got that kind of vibe to him. You're precious to me. Even when I ask you to do something dangerous. Speaking of which, there's a factory just beyond the Lycian Boulevard. It's packed with countless puppets. My friend, the inventor Venini, went to stop them, but he never came back. Please, go save him and shut down the factory. All right, perfect. We'll go do that. The hell's going on? P-organs are the source of your powers. The Come penis has a lot of power. To get the strength you need. Oh, wait, wrong game. What's up, Cot? How you doing? Fear the old blood. It's very similar. The Bloodborne, for sure. Remember, the hotel is the last safe place in Krat. It's our only refuge in a city full of perils. It'll be extremely dangerous if anyone has ill intentions. Be careful who you tell about this place, especially if they're stalkers or alchemists. I'm to lie to everyone. Be wary of dangerous people. And 
always be a good boy to me. Mm. Peanuts? Did I say peanuts or penis? The pea organ. That's the, the, the second true innuendo. Use the pea organ slot to activate your character's latent abilities. Why organ? It could have been anything. It could have been anything, but they called it the pea organ. Equip quartz on the pea organ to obtain its corresponding effect. Uh, did you see? <laughs> that's this. That's what I said. Um, if you equip quartz in each of the slots in a single group, you can uh, gain the group's synergy effect. Nice. Each time the synergy effect of two groups are activated, the next step is unlocked. You can get a greater variety of effects as you take your pea organ to higher phases. Thought I misheard. Basically, it's your heart. Yeah, it is my heart. Putting rings on the pea organ. OK, so this is phase one. I, I guess I can only do phase one. So what do we got? We got enables another dodge in the middle of a dodge motion. Interesting. Increases time of energy staggering status. Oh, that's good. Um, what else do we got here? Oh, God damn it. Increase the maximum number of heals. Increase the maximum number of charge slots. <sighs> I guess I'll, we'll start with the heals. How much? I have two cores. So wait, one second. How many? Like, what is the synergy? Does it tell me what the synergy is? It doesn't tell me what the synergy is. Okay, wait a minute. This increases the maximum number of... If I have both, honestly, all four phase one effects are mandatory. Taking my P organ to new phases. Good luck, Spice. I hear P organ in the in his game differs in size. <laughs> oh my god, I believe I went for Halloween night. The, in in Lords of the Fallen, vacant. Caught, Weasel. How you doing? Welcome in, Trixta. How are you? Welcome in. Hopefully you're having a good one. Um, so, if I do both of these, is that when I get the extra cell? Or do each one of these slots give me the extra cell? And then it looks like I have different types of things I can actually put in here. Enhances the attack of fatal attacks. What What is technically a fatal attack? Um, enhances the stagger attack of charge attacks. Okay. Enhances the attack of fable arts. Increases an enemy's stagger duration. Okay. Oh, yes, he's lurking while working, of course. Well, how is the work going today, Brainbow? How was your weekend? Mom, hmm. So what do we got? Enhance guard, regain recovery when attacking enemies. That could be very useful. Enhance a, a fatal attack, pulse charge. Enhances discharge, pulse cell charging upon a fatal attack. It seems very... Um, can you just change these whenever you want? Fatal attacks are the visceral type hits. Oh, okay, okay. Weekend was chill. Played a bunch of Monster Hunter World with Fidgety. Oh shit, when did you guys start that grind? Hopefully you're enjoying it. I used to love Monster Hunter back in the day, but I never played World. Lower damage when discharged. Lower damage while dodging. Uh, charge Legion when eliminating an enemy. That's cool. Now lower the stamina consumption of charge attacks. Charge Fable when perfect guarding is successful. That could be cool too. Increase weapon durability recovery speed. Okay. Um, in, in, enhance the charge effect of Legion magazines. Increase the amount of ergo gain from eliminating enemies. Increase the possession limit for consumables. I, increasing the amount of ergo you get is actually pretty interesting. You need to fill both slots to get the cell in this case. You can only pick one skill of each category, aka attack, defense, and so on. Oh, interesting. Hmm. Dude, I didn't say uh, didn't see this. The cat on the second floor is exactly like the one from one of my clips. One, the cat. I never saw the cat though. I just keep hearing it. What do I want to do? There's so many different things that this could be good for. Like, honestly, I really like the. What I really like. Increase the amount of. Experience I get that that's really good. There's another one. I really liked um, um, hmm. Oh, yeah getting more uh, enhanced guard regain recovery when attacking enemies getting more health back from hitting the enemy is really good, too Do I put both in this one to get the extra heal? So if I put this one here Again, can I just change these when I want? Oh, it's locked in. Oh, 
Okay, so I can't do another one here. That one's locked in. I definitely want the increased experience. But then I get nothing else, right? Curious. You get the ability to respec later? Okay. They always give you these... So that's the... Oh, I sit down for this. Or is this something else? Activate P-Organ. Change shape. No save shape memory. Oh, that's that's how I respect changing shape. Okay. Interesting. Thank you, Father. The city of Krat. It's probably not how you remember it, eh? Ask me any questions, and I'll fill in the gaps. Rainbow, I'm, I'm, I'm liking it so far. It's actually pretty cool. Um, very reminiscent. It's like a mix of Bloodborne and Sekiro. The really cool, though. Works is the puppet's main base. It's a factory where they manufacture more of themselves. Vanini himself went to stop them, but I'm worried. He's an industrialist, not a fighter. Rescue Vanini and shut down his factory. That will deny the puppets their reinforcements. Okay. The cathedral is famous for its wise and kind Archbishop Andreas. He offers sanctuary to countless refugees there. The thing is, I've lost touch with him. Perhaps no news is good news, but I'm a suspicious sort. And if the puppets push towards the cathedral, it could be devastating. Go save the Archbishop and the refugees before it's too late. Okay, it looks like I'm getting a few different missions. So I have to go to the Venini works. That's the next one. But it looks like I have to go to the cathedral also to save the bishop. I don't know what's happening in the Malam district. The Black Rabbit Brotherhood seized the neighborhood. And that's all I know. It was always a run-down neighborhood, but it's descended into anarchy, or worse. I'm hearing rumors of monsters rampaging through the district. Those poor people. They need your help, son. It's one after another, it's all Rosa linear. Isabel Yo, Drifty Street Allison. is a stronghold of the puppets. It's a hunting ground where the most dangerous puppets roam. I believe it's the epicenter of the puppet frenzy. After all, I detected the strongest wave of ergo there. Especially for someone as precious as you. It's a perilous place. And when you walk a dangerous path, my son, it's best to take it one step at a time. Indeed. Allison, thank you very much for the resub. I really appreciate that. Thank you very much for the five months. All five months, a few more months before my Twitch baby comes, and Pix will have another Twitch baby to pay for. <laughs> you can get from City Hall to the factory with the key I just gave you. Well, thank you. Vanini gave me that key, and now he's missing. Rescue him if you can. I will. Allison, thank you very much for the resub. I really appreciate the five months. You got your first ticket this year. Enjoy the emotes and the ad free viewing. How are you doing today? Your little elephant is looking friggin' adorable. Are you almost done the cross stitch? What do you have left? The music, the music is very good in this, Brainball. So I know Fidgety plays some FromSoft games. Have you played any yourself? Do you think you and Fidgety would play this or what? Okay, so we did all that. We did all that. It's time for me to... I guess we'll go have a look at uh, my my little trusty Eugenie over here. Up traces of high-powered energy originating far away. That's one mystery solved. Is it? Why don't we make a Legion arm with it? Oh. Mr. Vanini is the expert when it comes to Legion arms. But I'm pretty sure I can make one. The puppets get fried easily by electricity. If you use an electric legion arm, it'll make your life easier. Cool. Um, Kim, you went home for lunch and you brought back a second heating pad. You got like two blankets, a sweater, and two heating pads. God damn, it's fucking cold there, eh? I tried out Dark Souls 2 for a few hours once. I have to give it a shot again in the future. Dark Souls 2 might be the worst one to start with, from what I've heard from other people. Um... I'm not sure. I think Fidgety is interested in playing this eventually, though. It, it's really cool. I'm, I'm sure he'd love it. Okay, so let's switch the arm. What are we switching to? We got the full minis. Full mini. So what does that even do? It does a lot more damage, but it doesn't do that. Come here! A legion armor that holds powerful electri electricity. It uh, accumulates electricity 
electric blitz and discharges an electricity shock. Lightning has been inter interpreted as God's authority and, f uh, and fury uh, since ancient times. Now God's fury descends to the earth and it is being used to destroy steel monsters. Looks like there's another thing to look at. Legion arm that holds powerful electricity, movable charge, increase the maximum. I don't know what the, the what the rest of these are. What does that even mean? I put one of the heating pads on the floor for my feet. I think it's currently warmer outside. It's currently warmer outside than in your building. That's crazy. It's upgrades. Oh, I can upgrade these at some point. I guess not yet. Let's try it. Try it out. Okay, so we change arms over there. That's not too close. Might as well fill up my stuff and check it out. Do I got bad news for you? What's up, Zam? What's up, Zam? Oh, it's... Oh, wow, that takes a long time to charge up. If I want to charge it up entirely. I don't necessarily have to charge it up entirely, but goddamn, yo, Zam. Dude, thank you very much for that tier one. I really appreciate that. Got some bad news for me. You're around forever. Zam, I appreciate that very much. Enjoy the emotes and ad for viewing. It's always nice getting a, a, a new tier one. Thank you very much for that. Zelda Zam, you're getting your first ticket into the cross stitch giveaway. Let me add you to my spreadsheet. Zealous Zam. Congratulations, your first ticket ever. All right, so I'm not sure I like this. The charge up is so long. I can let go of it early. 200 damage, not horrible. It does double damage if I wait a long time. Does it stun them? Like, I don't know if I like that. I like the come here a lot. The come here a lot help, like is super useful. This one just does more damage, but I feel like the other one has so much more utility. It also electrifies them. I don't know if I like it. I could try it out for a bit, but I think I'd switch back to the other one, honestly. There are worse things in life than to be stuck with you, Zam, for sure. Right? He's the richest man in Krat. A little eccentric, maybe, but a good person. I heard he went to shut the factory down. Hmm. I hope he's safe. I wouldn't want to lose my best customer. I know my way around a weapon. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Simple weapon, upgrade weapon. But so I... How do I upgrade... Oh. Oh, that's the blade. These are full weapons. I had to ask Fidgety. I couldn't recall if it was one or two. One's good. You get better Legion arms and much better upgrades. You'll see. Yeah, I know. It's just a matter of time. I just have to wait. I don't have enough of these to upgrade, so I'll just wait. I wasn't sure if I actually had any others. I don't think I did, but we'll, we'll check it out. I'm not sure I'm going to like it. I'll probably switch it pretty fast. Oh, I actually, she had something to talk about. What was she going to say? I know my... The Vanini. Is the richest man in Krat. His company manufactures most of Krat's exports. He's a uh, peculiar, but a good hearted man. Even though he's rich, he treats every employee with respect. Nice. I heard he went to shut the factory down. I hope he's safe. I wouldn't want to lose my best customer. Indeed, don't want to lose the best customer. Okay, so. Cool. I guess we're going to go save him now. I think I got the first boss. We'll probably be able to do at least one more boss today. The puppet string armor is one of the best, in my opinion. As you said, the utility is amazing. I did pick a different one for like 80% of my playtime, though. Really? Yeah, I like the utility of that. What's in storage? Nothing in my storage. It's just something I never looked at. So let's see. Teleport. Where are we going? Back to the city hall courtyard. Gotta go save him at the factory. Did he say where to go to get to the factory? Also, I should probably check to see if there was that mission that's ready. I found the baby puppet, but I don't think that's good enough to give it to the person. We'll find out. But yeah, the, the utility of that is so good. I'm going to murder this writing program. I close It closed on you again. How much did you lose, Missy? You got to save a lot. That sucks. Losing progress is the worst. One second. I'm just seeing if that mission's ready. Oh, it is. So what's that other item? I have the baby and I have something else, but I don't know what that is. Let's go hand this in. Dark Souls is a great one. Still my favorite. And Dark Souls 3, uh, why don't you try it again? Or go through it with someone so you get used to the feel. As that might get you into it. It's true. Like the th I was talking about it before, Brainbow. There's like a hump you have to get over with these types of games. That I feel like 
after getting past the point of kind of dying to those skeletons and stuff and you're only really fighting main bosses or that like the main bosses are the real struggle that's when you start enjoying it a lot more personally i find um i think i need to go down the elevator yeah that's where she is I plan to try again in the future. Fidgety was helping me when I played the first time, but I haven't really g given the game another shot since beating the first boss. How long ago was this, Brainbow? I do not like that clipping. It's super strange. Okay, no, it wasn't here. Or... Uh, where the hell was she? She was by that other cop. But it was, like, in between these places. I have to find the actual path. I think it was that first shortcut, maybe? Not this way? Was it this way? No, I don't think it was this way. Oh, no, it was this way. Uh, no. That's not that way. That's where that door is. I'm getting lost here. You come in here. Is it out here? The fuck was it? I'm so confused. I don't think there's another path out here other than that one. It's one of these two ways, but I can't remember which way I came. Which way is this? This is where that fight was. Going back that way. It might have been back this way. It might have been back this way. Do I kill this? Oh, whoops. I have the electricity charge. I thought I was trying to make him come here, but I did not. And these guys die way faster now. Okay, if we come this way, I think it's this way. You guys are patrolling everywhere. Star fragments that I'm never going to use. This was where... No, it's... I'm having trouble figuring out where it was. Oh no, it was not this way. Where the hell was it? Really? Totally missed that. I played Dark Souls in, oh, 2022 for about 100 minutes. Okay, so you played a little bit of it and it wasn't even that long ago. Uh, you can sell the star fragments if you're gonna, oh, that's actually a good idea. It's actually a very good idea. I feel like it's not that way. It was where that cop was, but I can't remember where the hell the cop was. Was it actually down the... Was it actually down the elevator? I thought maybe I'm thinking it's much further than it was. I think that's exactly where the boss is, no? Was it out this way? No, this is... Backwards. Where the hell was she? Through the dead end where the butterfly was? That's where it was? So it is back this way then. Keep going this way. You get so turned around. I haven't played this game enough to actually know where I'm going. Am I? You want me to go backwards or not backwards? Isn't this where the butterfly was? No, it's not. Fuck. Wrong way. Okay. Am I taking the elevator down or no? I don't think so, eh? The elevator was where... So if I go out here, this is where... Yeah, okay, this is where... Right, 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 okay. Oh boy, that guy came out of nowhere. I went too fast. It should be after this, right? Okay, keep getting those saw two things. Okay, it's right after here. Yeah, yeah, I get it. You go down the elevator, turn left. I could have done that too, I guess. We just go down here. We'll ignore that guy. That damn cat. Where the hell is it all the time? Okay, through here. This is where the cop is, here we go. I was going for the lady. You found her, guide one. I could sense her from miles away. My sweet Elena. Elena. Please let me hold her. There you go. But it's a puppet. There, there, my baby. I missed you so much. Very weird. What do you think? Is my baby adorable? Misty, try Notepad++. Plus plus. Misty, try Notepad++. Plus plus. Um, that's a puppet. 
She's a cute baby. I have to lie. That's right, kind one. You've granted me it's my free, only yeah. wish. My sweet Elaner. We're going to be happy now. I'm just playing into her delusions. Thank you so much, kind one. Please accept my heartfelt gratitude. So the coffin guy, I got a feel. Close your eyes, dance the night away. Play records. Record records you obtain while playing the game can be played using the gramophone. Oh, at the hotel. You can listen to the music on the records to obtain humanity. Okay. Do I gain humanity by, by lying or... I don't know how that works. They haven't really explained the humanity system. Okay, so if I come down... And we go backwards now. Wasn't there the... I have to go ba uh Oh, yeah. I do have... Uh, yeah, I have to go backwards. Elena, the name has so much baggage from many stories. Elena, yeah, Dragon. What's wrong with Open Office? It, it keeps... It keeps... It keeps crashing, Yona. And she keeps losing her progress. Uh, okay, so if we go backwards, now I need to take the elevator down. Or the, sorry, the ladder down. Got a couple of guys to fight, but I want to go talk to that other person. The coffee guy's the other quest. It says I, it looks like I have something. Yeah, open office is the crashing one. Where is he? There he is. He's one of these. No, he's one of he's the one over here. Okay. could play together like we used to. Murphy, I miss you. Did I find the cat or I didn't? I, I guess I didn't find the cat. I thought it said, I thought the tr the teleporter showed me two different things. Back to the deep hole, that is my current search for planning. Oh, the whistle. That's what it's for? God damn. Oh, the whistle brings the animal. Oh. Use the whistle, my goodness. I would not, I don't think I would have figured that out. Where the hell is the whistle? There it is. Oh no. I have no clue where this whistle is. Hey, that sound. Hey, right, the cop. You, Murphy? The cop. I know that whistle. It must be Murphy. Makes sense. <sighs> Thanks for Friend. Oh. I want that to makes play, sense. But I feel too sick. I, I don't think I can. I miss Zach and Sophie and Eric. I wish we could all play. <sighs> Man, this guy's dying. Radiant Ergo Fragment. Is that actually true? The guy that becomes Robocop, his name was Murphy? Imagine. Imagine that that's why they did it. That's really funny, though. Um, yeah, th th that all makes sense now. Actually, putting it together, I don't think I would have thought of that, but it does make a lot of sense. Because what happens? You... What happens? You... He tells you that his friend was the cop. And when you beat the cop, you get the whistle. And right by where you got the whistle, it said friend. So that's, I guess, what he like engraved it or he, he like etched it into the ground. So it makes a lot of sense. But at the same time, I didn't put it together at all. I did not put it together at all. Do I want to come this way? I probably don't. God damn it. Stop barking. Wow, instant death. You don't want to... Awk, why didn't I block that? You're dead, yo almighty. Welcome in, how you doing? Have you played this yet? People were friends with puppets prior to all of this. Yes, that I know. That I know. Okay. 
So we're back to where the teleport is, but we're pretty much at the end here, so I'm gonna go through. I honestly, I don't feel like I have a utility for that electricity thing. It takes so long to just send it. I, I don't know when I would ever use it. I almost feel like it's practically useless. Any reason I, I chose not to use summons yet? Um, I don't know. I, I don't... Like, I don't mind if people use summons, but for me, I just... I, I, I'd i rather just go in solo. Personally. Added challenge. Duo doesn't believe in help, pretty much. Duo does not believe in help. Okay, so we finished both of those missions. Let's go to the courtyard. Um, yo, dragon. I just got RE2 prepped yesterday, so now I'm working on Shovel Knight. Oh, shit, and Prince of Persia comes out? Until Prince of Persia comes out. When, when When's the release date for that again, Almighty? How are you liking Shovel Knight? Shovel Knight's supposed to be really hard, no? Uh, you can use the watch. That's true, I could use the watch to go back there, eh? Um, Officer Alex James Murphy, commonly known as Robocop, indeed. That's fair, I don't care enough to not use them. That's fair. That is fair, Lone Wolf. Okay, which way is the actual way? I think it's this way. I have five heals now, that's very nice. I got an extra one. That's, that's, I got an extra one for the upgrade. I think I actually want to change my arm. Only time I used summons was the gank fight in New Game Plus. Because I just wanted to get it over. Damn, Yona. Um, switch Legion arm. I don't think I like this at all. I, I, like, I would like to use it. And I feel like I never have an actual reason to. Like, there's no good position. Also, what I was talking about before, this is where we got the whistle. So it makes sense that you go to that guy and he's looking for his friend. So you blow it to him. I would say every record you get gives you humanity, depending on your choice, gives you humanity, if that helps. So, I know that you need humanity in order for the, the endings or something like that, but I don't know exactly how it works. I know me lying. Is there a way to see how much humanity I even have? Like, I don't know how to do that. You need to fully listen to the records for them to count for the trophy. Just a heads up. You need to fully... Do I have to listen to all of the, rec uh, the records? Interesting. Here's the key. Let's go. Just need to stay in the hotel. You have to listen to the music to get that, though. Stay close to the record player, or you could just stay in the hotel. Okay, that's not too bad. Workshop Union entrance. Foggy day. Um, the message that pops up tells you how many you got. You're still on your spring. Your springs are re reacting, which is the lowest one. Okay, so it eventually just changes us. The Nini works. Everything you see here belongs to the Nini. The classiest playboy and most brilliant inventor in Krat. Just ask him. Not just puppets. Almost every machine and tram in Krat is supplied from here. Mm. You gotta be curious about the guy. What kind of person is he? Ah, I wish we could find him. That is, if he's still kicking. Can I pick which version of humanity I want, Lone Wolf, if you're doing your lying run? Which is what I'm doing myself also i'm doing my lying run first what's this throwing cell okay i haven't really used any throwing weapons i would imagine that's a shortcut maybe at some point there's a guy up there or down there dragon have you played the robocop game it looks pretty ridiculous not in a bad way or anything like that it looks really well done it's like a b game just like it was a b movie miracle cure buy the miracle medicine um, buy the miracle medicine here. The miracle alchemist Clark Shore, also known as Dr. Cureall, has succeeded in making a cure for the horrible plague that has spread through Krat. I feel like he's selling snake oil. Made from unicorn horn, blood of two headed snake, and boiled down mandrake. Sounds like a fucking hack, or like a. Sounds like a scam. Uh, Clark Shore has tested it himself and confirms that it completely cures the plague. Sure. The blue plague is not a divine curse. Don't be afraid anymore. Come see Dr. Cureall. Clark, sure. Prices may vary as it is a limited item. My god. Rogue City. I think so. It just came out, uh, Dragon. Once you get the You Feel a Warm, you... Once you got You Feel a Warmth, stop lying. Why would I Why would I stop lying? Don't I want the Rise of P? Don't I just keep lying the entire playthrough, Yona? What the fuck is that? Ew! She just spit on me. Don't spit. That's gross. What the f- I'm like filled with mud. That is disgusting. To stay- 
uh, to stay at the stage of humanity. I mean, oh, you mean for the third ending or whatever? That ain't mud? No. Is that to stay at the state? Is that for the third ending or what? Some people are into that. Yeah, for sure. Some people are into it. 100%. Oh boy, big wheel boy over here. Anything back this way? Hmm. There's an item there, but I don't know how to get back up if I fall down. But I guess we're going down the stairs anyways. That's probably just another way around. Fable Catalyst. I would suggest looking into the ending on Power Picks to make sure you know what to do. Yeah. Well, I know for the first one, all I do is lie all the time, right? Is that it? I, I thought I had to just keep lying from what I from what I saw. That was my plan. Lie all day, every day. Oh, I don't want to fight you in this pit. God damn it. No, this is a horrible place to fight. Nice block. No, don't keep smashing me. How did you miss? Ow. I don't like this. Oh, wow. He's in attack again. Big block. Boom. What's up, Bill? Welcome in. How you doing? This guy didn't die, but he will. Gold greed. Not too bad. Legion Magazine, Dim Argo, Star Fragments. Look at that, he's just chilling now. He's like, hey bro, what's up? He's just trying to chat me up now. Literally just trying to chat me up. Uh, I was very, very EP today. What happened, Bill? Someone take the rip counter, gotta make some dinner. No worries, Yona. The Robocop game is using the actual people from the, they are dragon, which is really cool. Um, the Sleepy Monday, oh, I'm sorry. Oh, God damn it. You take your hand off the controller for a second and all of a sudden you just get pelted. Can I pull you? Yes, I can. Oh God. The little baby, the, the the little girl puppets are scary. You'll take the rips. Thank you, Andy. Appreciate that. Andy, I missed what you had for dinner before. What were you rocking today? Also, there's a phone you have to find. See what that is. I'll I'll find it at some point. I'm sure. I have no clue what it is. It means nothing to me now. Okay, so the cop. The, sorry, the guy throwing stuff was up here. Rice and katsu curry? Nice. Sounds, sounds delicious. Tonight, I think we're doing pork. Although I should take that out to defrost it. And then on Tuesday, on Wednesday... Mother? It makes sense why partner is not much of a fan of this one. Oh, really? This is very much like Bloodborne. Remind me, gang, what was the other game where Duo was taking... Talking to the sick person behind locked doors? That was Bloodborne. Really? I can't jump across that? What is this? Yeah, it is Bloodborne. Your partner doesn't like Bloodborne, Misty? I thought he did. Or I thought they did. And there is no point for me to be up here? I can't jump up there. I guess that was nothing. Oh, well. I guess, oh, I could have fallen down here, and then I would have fallen down all the way. Looks uh, looks like I'm restarting a new file. Why? What happened, Almighty? So, what did you say about Shovel Knight before? That's a tough 100%, right? Do I go down there first? Do I go around the long way? Probably going to be a trap. Look at that guy waiting for me. Literally waiting for me. How come you have to do another file? I love the jump in this game. Yeah. I like that they added jumps to Elden Ring. That was nice. Emergency protection. Okay, that's perfect. So there is... That's the... Oh, God damn it! I was not expecting him to throw something at me. Okay, big boys everywhere. You're dead. Oh, dodged. Come here. Oh, I'm out. Run. Oh, boy. I kind of wish I had a little bit of a sweep, but at least I can get one guy there. Get that block in. Very nice. That's a little weird. Okay, this place is locked, so there's that's not the way in here. That is a little weird. Um, he loves Bloodborne, but he doesn't like games that are too similar. No idea why. So this game is it's similar, but it's not it's not exactly like Bloodborne. It does like being able to heal when you block. Like you block and it gives you a little bit of like 
heal damage. So you can attack things and you're able to heal up a little bit of damage. That is kind of reminiscent of Bloodborne, but just Bloodborne, there's no blocking. So if you get hit, you always get that. Oh shit, telephone. Got the Riddler in this. You know what I'm called, and why I called you, and I want to know your name, but not till we're through. For Got a big Riddler sure vibe. I learned that one riddle burned, and I do love a mystery, don't you? <laughs> now, only the living solve riddles, as everyone knows that's a must. When your city is so full of puppets, it seems are about fit to bust. Mm -hmm. It's time for the riddle. No more waiting. We thank you for participating. <laughs> By morning, it walks on feet numbering four. At midday, just two. No less and no more. It walks on three feet when the evening arrives. And if you solve this, then I'll know you're A monster? A human? What? I don't have a lot of time. I don't know what the hell to pick. What do I pick? What do I pick? A monster? A human? A monster? A monster? A human? A monster? Human? No! What's with the three legs? Humans, the answer? Well, I done messed up. I done messed up, guys. Moonbeam, how you doing? Welcome in. What is up? Hopefully you're having a good one. It's nice to see ya. Um, hmm. A cane. Oh, the cane. Why a cane? But only in the evening? That makes no sense. Baby walk on all fours. Oh, adults is two and then eventually use three. That also helps with your humanity. Yeah, I know. But I mean, I'm trying to get the lying one. So I, I don't know how much I need to lie in order to get the proper rise of P ending. But anyways, although, does that even matter for my humanity there? If I give him one answer versus the other? If I lie, which one's lying, which one's telling the truth? If they're both right, monsters or humans? He said I was right, right? I don't know. Every bolt you tighten brings prosperity to Krat. Well, we messed up, Yona. I didn't die, though, but we messed up. I, I said monster instead of human. I, I, I didn't know what the hell I was doing. Got some ladders over here. Where the hell are we going? Well, I just walked down. I could. There's items over there. There's an ergo. Guess we'll take the ladder. Uh, what ending are you trying to get? We're trying to get the lying one. Welcome back, Yona. What's for dinner tonight? Uh, lying is, equals humanity. There is one ending for max humanity and one for partial. Go for the max on the first playthrough. Super easy. Lie to everyone and get the most humanity. That's, that, that's what I'm trying to go for, Lone Wolf. That is what I'm trying to go for. Meat just meat. Stargazer activated. I think I'm going to go back. I think I'm going to go back. And we're going to listen to the music there. Oh, yeah. Duo. Did you see the glass art? We made the yes. It's gorgeous. Or maybe we already talked about it. We did talk about it on Discord. It's fantastic. Honestly, Brainbow, you guys did amazing work. I showed it when we did some crafting last week or the week before. Um, do you think you guys are going to go back and do more glass blowing? It was you guys, uh, you, you did a great job. You want to go back? 
I wonder if, if we have anything like that in uh, in Montreal that me and Queen can do. Now that we have a moment to talk. What's up? You must understand. The city is on its deathbed. That's not good. The petrification disease spreads too fast, and the puppets rampage everywhere. Nobody knows what caused the disaster. Everyone in Krat is just trying to survive. That's why I found you. Our only hope, Geppetto's puppet. We're both unique. I am able to wield the power of Ergo. Power I used to call on you. That's all I can say for now. Please, save Krat. Yeah, check in the Discord, Saki. Go in to show me what you got and scroll up a little bit. I'll use my power to help. Yes, you will. Um, I guess I can level up. Oh, I, I should turn on the music, though, but give me a second. What do we got here? Capacity, motivity. Do I want more of this? Do I want more? I'm at 48%. Is there a threshold for being very light? Do I even want that threshold? What are, where, what's the soft cap? What is the soft cap? And where's the megaphone room? She's over here. Oh, there's the megaphone. Check records and possession. We got feel. Three minutes. Okay. While we listen to the music. We're going to get the chair cast. Enjoy the chair stream. I'm, I won't do an ad break. So you guys listen to the music. I'll be right back. I'm just going to quickly go to the washroom and get more tea. So I'll be back in a couple of minutes. Enjoy the music.
Look at that perfect timing. Uh, sorry for the long link, what's that? I hope you can find a class in your area. We did one hour beginner's course. This is what you made. You, I live in the UK. Uh, he said he's drinking tea. I do drink tea, but I, uh, I'm i drinking like orange. It's herbal tea, not actual tea. The record's spinning in the wrong direction. Is that true, Dragon? Uh, that's awesome. I already checked classes. It looks so cool. Yeah. Canada's a nice place. I'd like to go visit at some point. Yeah, I'm in Montreal. So there you go. So I got some humanity for that. Interesting. Interesting. What, replays? Okay. So we got some humanity for that. There's no way to actually check stats. Like, if I go over here. Um... I guess not. You think it shows something? I, I've, I I know Yona said something about it shows you whenever you get it, but I haven't actually seen where it shows me. Yo, Kiros, welcome in. How you doing? You were still playing this, right? Did you ever beat this? Queen, enjoy the lurk. All right, let's go back to the workshop entrance. Uh, the colors are amazing. I have such respect for glass blowers too. It's not easy keeping the glass on the rod while you spin it. Yeah, the colors are really nice. Honestly, Brainbow and uh, Fidgety did an awesome job. That's how my record player spins. Is it Brainbow? Uh, it pips the message on screen. Your uh, your springs are reacting at the lowest level. I keep seeing the spring or the gears come up there. Is that what you mean or what? Heck, I'm calling it for today. I still have four pages to read and do assignments for, but right now I'm annoyed and my brain is mush. I'm sorry to hear that. Did you try the Notepad++, plus plus, Misty? Does it work or no? So what are we going to find in this area, huh? I don't think I can actually open up... This gate is just kind of locked. It's a message that says your springs are reacting. Yeah, that's what Yona said before, but I keep missing that. I never see it. The message on screen shows you your springs are reacting. It's the lowest one. There it goes whispering is the next one. Yeah, but I just don't see where it is. Like, I understand that that's what it says, but I, I just never see it on the screen. That's my, that's my weird problem. Oh my god, he jumped far. I'm trying to block this guy, but it's not working. It's in the middle. Why do I keep missing you? Ah. And he does the second one, of course. Okay, the big problem with this weapon is that now I swing basically up and down. It's very hard to hit multiple enemies with this, with this new handle. Oh my goodness, I just keep messing up. Big block there. Boom, now you're dead. I got really stuck on an elite enemy, and after three days of trying to get past them, I took some time off from the game. I actually haven't played it since then. That sucks. Do you think you're going to come back to it at some point, Kiros? You've downloaded it, but I'll probably try it out tomorrow. Okay. The record is supposed to drag on the needle, not push on it. Oh. Yo, Cake. How you doing? What's up, Cake? How are you? How have you been? Have you played this? I don't know if you're a big FromSoft person. Okay, so there's a pipe there. I guess I have to move that so I can get across. That would make sense. There's a big pit down there. Do I want to go down that pit? Let's see what else we can explore here. Uh, no, I you got really stuck. We both know Duo has problems with text. <laughs> you even read it out loud? Wait, when? Oh, wait, is that when I kill an enemy? Is that when I kill an enemy? Well, thank you. I used to play the Soulsborne's games, but I haven't had a chance to check this one out yet. Okay. What's this? Electric Blitz is effective for subduing puppets. Get it out if you're not a stalker. If you're a... Wait, if you are not, or... But I... It was it what I read when I killed the, the boss? I don't know. Combined with talent to confuse himself, we really don't stand a chance. Yeah. It's not exactly easy doing everything. It shows up when you lie or when you play a r record. Oh, really? Okay, well then, did I actually read that out loud? I don't remember reading that. I have horrible short-term memory, honestly. Absolutely horrible short-term memory. Oh shit, that's a pit. Hmm, what is down here? Oh god. So many puppets. 
so many puppets. What's this? Oh, it's a vault. Interesting. What's in here? Salamander dagger blade and handle. Very quick weapon. Okay, okay. Well, I'll, I'll, I'll make sure I check next time because I don't see it pop up. I don't know why. What have you been playing lately, Cake? I know you've been on some Fortnite here and there. Kiros, how's Valkyria Chronicles going today? Getting very close to the weapon I mentioned, not the Salamander, no. Anything else I want to explore here? I think I want to go the other way, probably, at some point. Nothing over here. It's all the same. In other news, I'm finished with Chapter 10 of Valkyria Chronicles, means I'm done with 13 of 23 main story battles. Nice. I, I, there's training battles in that too, right? Okay, there's no more enemies here. Is this just... Oh, this place gives me the creeps. Like something's gonna jump out any second. It's okay, pal. Gemini's looking out for you. How are they different, Brainbow? I'm not sure how they actually work. The difference between a record player and a gramophone. Okay, there's a couple more people here. Yo, man, that guy's got an arm. What is this? Nice. Get his friends. All right, buddy. Dodge you. Oh, motherfuckers. Ugh. I can't believe that. I was not expecting this one bit. Mother. Oh, my God. What the? F <laughs> what a bunch of jerks. I'm literally just running at this guy. Nope, nope. You're going to fall. You're going to fall. Baited indeed, Andy. Baited. I got you baited. Ba Look at this guy's weapon. What is, is he fighting me with a lacrosse stick? Trust no bridges ever. Fuck. They love making you fall. Seriously, eh? God damn. No trust. Okay, you're dead now. Oh, but we get something. That's not bad. We get a chest. What's going to be in here? There's skirmishes and optional side story battles too. Yes, okay. Bell Ford shock cartridge. All right, not bad, not bad. Do these things fall? They do not. Okay, where else are we going here? There's a ladder up. How are you liking the game? It's pretty good, Loki. I'm liking it a lot. I've died a number of times. We got through the main boss, the, the first boss from the demo. Not too long. Five tries, maybe? Four or five tries? Factory manager's report. Dear Mr. Venini. Uh, as per your orders, I conducted a quality investigation on the Ergo supplies by the Alchemist. Of course, it was done secretly. Certainly, the quality of Ergo was getting worse over time. I don't doubt the Alchemist, but the decrease in quality is too widespread to call it a coincidence. At this rate, this quarter's puppets will have a high chance of defects. Wow. The most important thing is the quality of the Ergo after all. According to a reliable source, the high-level alchemists are running ergo production experiments lately using another method. Personally, I think their secret experiments have something to do with the decrease in ergo quality. As they as they ringing out, are they ringing out the bodies of discarded puppets in the barren swamp or something? Anyway, I recommend approaching them carefully instead of complaining to them. Manager of Factory Nicola, Factory One. Interesting. So. The um, worse Ergo was making everything get very bad, I guess. I have an irrational fear of bridges and games thanks to this. Gramophones are like the first version of record players. And that I know, but I mean, like, what was the difference in the way that they worked? <sighs> like, what was, do you know? <clears throat> also, I found out that you absolutely need a complete second playthrough instead of just playing New Game Plus for the achievement. You need to play the entire thing. What's the achievement in Valkyrie Pro Chronicles you're, you're needing, Kiros? What the fuck is that? I don't trust that at all. Okay, I'm going to go check what that ladder is first. What's this ladder? Oh, where'd that guy come from? What's this ladder? I also found out that you, yeah, you need to do a full second playthrough. God damn. Um, okay. I can walk over pipes. It's very narrow. His items over here. Oh, that's this guy. Oh, okay. What's up, bro? So I was supposed to come this way regardless. It's just I probably would not have fallen. Let's go kill this guy. What's up, baby? Oh, wow. I totally missed you. Well, you're dead anyways. What's this? Oh, another one. There's a lot of puppets everywhere. They look like, um... 
What was that Robin Williams movie where he's a robot? Um, Centennial Man? Bicentennial Man? That's what these things remind me of. They got a very Bicentennial Man feel to them. Different grooves on the records for gramophones versus modern record player. I don't know much else. I was just Googling around to read about it. Okay. Interesting. But yes, these guys remind me of Bicentennial Man. All right. Is there a shortcut I'm missing? Because I feel like I have to go through a lot just to get over here. And I would love a shortcut, but I don't see one. Because I feel like that's a boss. Oh, well. I guess we're going to have a, a drastic walk of shame for this one. Drastic walk of shame. What do we got here? I don't trust that. Oh. That was not what I expected one bit. That was not what I expected one bit. Can I even get around this? I would imagine there's nothing behind this. It wants me to go down, but I don't really want to go down right now. There was one area I didn't check. So maybe I'll check that first, since everything is kind of dead in the zone. I'm going to double check that and then we'll come back here. Don't die and no walk of shame needed. That's true. But apparently it wasn't a boss anyways. I'm just going to double check something. Andy, what have you been playing lately, by the way? Okay, I just want to check one area that we just never did anything for. Wow, I can't even believe that that thing broke. Okay, the only thing we didn't check was down that pit. Oh. Hmm. The only thing we didn't check was... Oh my god, what the fuck is that? I don't want to fight that. Look at the size of that thing, it's like the Iron Giant. That's the only place I didn't go down. Maybe that's a second way to get down because it looks like it all goes down to the same spot. I either go down from that ladder or I go down from over here. Kaiju fight time? Yeah, seriously, eh? Kaiju. Weapon is in a chest behind the Iron Giant? My god. That's what you want me to get, Iona? God damn it. So it looks like this all leads to the same spot at the very bottom there. I don't know what's better to go down the other way or to come down here. Oh, what the fuck? Maybe coming down here was the bad choice. Look at this guy. He's got double shields. What is this? This is like Elden Ring. The guy going around Elden Ring beating everything with two shields. Just shield bashing people like a crazy maniac. Oh, that's a shortcut that I don't have yet. Well, this is fun. I don't want to go down there. You're getting shield bashed, bro? I will. Last time I played was Heavenly Bodies out of Friends, but I've not played anything on your own yet. Okay been a slow new year. Let me actually fix my weapon. There we go. I have two heals left. Big rip. What can I do to you? What's up, bro? Oh my god. I tried the dodge. That did not work. Look at this asshole. What is this guy doing? What a jerk. Literally just... Fucking goddammit. Okay. That's fucking weirdly slow. Can I not backstab him? Ow. Ow. That's weird. I don't like him. I do like no damage to him. His bash is fucking fast too. Like there's barely any anticipation for that bash. There's barely. You had a lot. I had a lot of success with just sprinting around. Yeah, seriously, eh? Oh. Kicking me. What is this? I guess I could just take it slow. This guy's a pain. Like, not even worth fighting. Come on. Come on. Oh boy, you almost reached me. Almost got me there. There's my heal. Not running past, I mean, spray. Yeah, I, I figured what you meant. Spin around him, run around. I was just baited out the kick to perfect parry. Oh, what? God damn it. I'm not getting this guy at all. I'm just missing everything. Come 
Come on, bro. Yeah, charge R2 attacks. That's what I'm trying to do. This guy, like, spins like crazy, man. Oh, fuck that attack. He's almost dead. His mother. Come on. Finally. My goodness. Holy crap. I was just baited out his kick. Legion caliber. Hmm. The hell is that? I wish it would tell me equipment. What did I just pick up? What did I just pick up? Legion arm modification part. A correction device used to modify Legion arms. Oh, it's an upgrade material. Nice. Legion arms can be modified with the, with the Vanini craft machine. Okay, cool. Let's go back and do that. Although I have like no heals, no health. You need to completely, sorry. Uh, you need to complete every personal page for all the soldiers. Oh, the pages don't complete until the epilogue and at least one character doesn't unlock until new game plus. Oh my goodness, Kiros. That is, uh, that seems like quite a bit. Okay, we have a light. Let me use this. Is there anything back there? No, that's just a cesspool. Cesspools are bad. <laughs> are we going to use this light a lot or no? I feel like I had no reason to ever use it so far. Okay, so there's a shortcut over here. Oh, oh shit. Come here. God damn it, I missed. Nice. Mr. Butterfly, Motivity Crank. What the hell does that do? Invented at the workshop to allow fine... What, is, what does that even do? What does that even do? Consumables. Um, motiv motivity Crank. A crank that, it, that changes the weapon's properties. It alters the handle's ability. Ooh. A crank invented at the workshop to allow the fine adjustments to weapon handles. Interesting. Butterflies, is that, that the only reason for it? Basically, you kill the butterfly and it gives you, um, it gives you stuff. Thermite. But we're not quite at the ladder yet. I don't know where it is. Gotta slowly go around. We haven't quite gotten to that... S There's another one here. I feel like this actually didn't bring me to where that iron giant is. I thought they were going to lead together, but apparently it didn't. So I might teleport back to that spot just to have a look. Unless I'm actually going to it right now by going underneath that. I don't know. I'm curious. It's very hard to kind of gauge this entire map. Okay, there's two ladders. Maybe that brings me to the other spot. We'll see. Giant comes later. Just keep going. I, I, I thought I could just... But it looked like I can get down from the other spot, but maybe I couldn't. Let me see what's up here. It will. There's just more of a break. Okay. It literally never have it off. Wait, you never had what off, Kiros? Honestly, I always forget to have it. Oh, really? You just never turned it on? Yona, you can go down to your right. There's a ladder. Yeah, but you can make your fight against him easier. Yeah, well, we'll figure it out. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll want it the hard way, right? Where is all this? That I can't open. This is a shortcut that I don't have just yet. There you go. Okay, let's go the other way. Where is this? Closer to the Iron Giant. Oh, this... Ah, see, this is the beginning. This is the beginning. This is what I was, what I was looking for. Oh, the light. Um, I turned the light on and then promptly never turned it off again. I guess that makes sense, Kiros. I do always want it hard, Yona. So the butterflies are... No, it, well... The butterflies show up at, any, at some point anyways... It doesn't really matter. I think it gives you light regardless, just to be able to see a bit more. Now, that was at the beginning of the game, or that was at the beginning of the zone. That's another ladder up and down. Do I want to fight this thing? I don't know if I want to fight this thing. I kind of want to, but at the same time, I don't know. Can I even kill this? Oh, yeah. Fuck. Okay, this is a dodging boss. This is not a... This is not I'm oh my god, what the hell? Okay. This is not I'm going to parry you. Wait, corruption. Oh fuck, this is poison. 
Can I remove? Okay, one second. I need to suck up all of the. I need to suck up. Never mind. I need to suck up the poison. I will do that. Fuck this. Fuck that. I need to connect this pipe probably to remove the poison. Can I have a souls like without a poison swamp? Seriously. I need to remove that poison. That is what I need to do. Can I even jump up in there? Why can't you climb into that? <clears throat> well, that sucked. I also used the wrong thing there. Well, <laughs> I need to figure out a way to remove the poison. That's what I need to do. Not good. Okay, let me just wait for this to undo. God damn it. That's what you meant by make it easier. I think I will definitely take that advice. Poison, right, Andy? The worst. Can't have souls like without poison swamp. Uh, the light doesn't reveal other stuff, or is I, I I would imagine it's for light itself, which will be useful. Now the thing is, how do I remove the poison? Okay, let me just not get corrupt here. I can't even run. Oh no, I can't run. I'm just dumb. Up to Daisy. Let's get out of here. Now how do I remove the poison? We're gonna have a hunt around. It's a symbol for corruption? Maybe. Bill, what you're you're having a tired Monday? Do you have, or do you have anything to look forward to for the rest of the week or no? Okay, so we're gonna come back down here. <clears throat> come back down here. Let's see what we can actually do about this. You didn't get the second dodge ability, I did not know. I got the um more healing from from attacking people after a guard, and I took the more experience for killing things. That's what I took. <clears throat> yeah, I'll go eat food with my cousin tomorrow. Nice. Where are you guys gonna go? Where are you guys gonna go? Hmm, do I want to go up there or do I want to go through the pipe? We love pipes. It looks like this is just an item. Oh, that's an enemy. Okay, dead. Looks like this. Oh, God! <sighs> my heart rate. Oh, my God. My heart hurts. My literal heart hurts. I can't even believe that. Hilarious. What the fuck? So I'm not going up that way. You jump too? I was not expecting that one bit. Oh fuck. Okay. Rude. I'll let this pass by so I don't fall into the pit with it. Since I'm, I'm assuming that's death. I'm assuming that's death. Already here, huh? Yes, we are, Dodge. We got through the demo boss pretty good. Do I want to go that way? I guess I could. The only thing is, what's through the pipe? I did get rolled. Alright, one more time. Let's go this way. Okay, you're dead. There's nice, nice little paths I can take up here, so it's not too bad. Easy peasy. Really? I'm not close enough? Come here. Get over here. Perfect. Get rolled, exactly. Oh, really? You hit me? That guy got burned, but he didn't die. He might get burned again. There's the shortcut. There's a shortcut. What was this from? Oh, that's the other one. Okay. That's not bad. That's not bad. That's not bad. Dodge, did you beat all this? Okay, so that brings me here. That helps. Easy shortcut. I need to go that way. If I got a shortcut for that, let's go see what's in the pipe. I always ran close to the guys, let them get up and walk towards me, then ran away and just let them catch the... That makes sense. Probably a smart move. Oh, I guess I can just fall here. We have the shortcut. I want to see what's down this pipe. Billeth. What's through Mr. Pipe? More poison. Why is there a poison swamp? 
Why does this need to exist? Yeah, but I fucked up and need to do a third playthrough just to get a weapon I want and play it and never play it again. Fair. Oh god. The little girls, they want to hang out in poison. Bunch of jerks. Out, really? Come here, bro. Dead? You know, if I get poisoned, why don't they get corrupt? Billeth autocracked it. Oh, to a, the Norwegian word for ticket. Fair enough, Spice. How far are you into the third playthrough dodge? What weapon did you miss? Oh, big boy over here. Is this where I really want to go? I don't know. Oh, God. Uh, all the little baby puppets? Don't leave me alone. Man, that corruption goes up fast. Oh, God, they're all here. You know, these things snipe like no tomorrow. I don't know a good place to fight these things. Can I can I bait them through the pipe? I beat it twice and moved on to other games for now. Okay. Oh, now they don't want to come? Well, you don't want to cross over. Come here. I said come here. That's weird. If I go around the left side, they come at me. But if I go around the right side, they don't care. They all want to come together. Weapon is kind of spoiler. Oh, it's fine. All right, bro. Ow. Nice block. Nice block. Okay, let me just... Oh, I was trying to hit her, but... Okay, you're dead. Easy peasy. Okay. Um, it's an early industrial age, in, uh, age industry. This pit here might have been a lake earlier. It's possible. Possible. But it's like a Sun Wukong staff? That's pretty sick. Okay, there's still some of these little girls here. Oh. Oh, there's a... There is a butterfly somewhere around here. Where to go? It must be above me. Or it's somewhere in the pit. God damn it. Let me just repair this. It's a waste dump for the factory? Yeah. It could have been a lake though at some point. Come here. Okay, get out of the pit. Let this go down. We'll run across. Did not go down nearly enough, but anyways. Okay, some more Urgo. Okay, oh. Where's the butterfly? Oh, there it is. God damn it. No, with other stuff here. I just didn't get corrupted. But barely, barely didn't get corrupted. My goodness. For your information, don't get toxic waste on your on your pee. It won't end well. Toxic waste is not good on the pee. My pee organ needs to be clean of toxic waste. Ow. Of course. Okay, I think we picked up everything here. So all there was is items. So that's not too bad. We got some stuff. Oh, a hidden moonstone. Very nice. Uh, upgrade material. No slug on the pee, please. Exactly. No slugs. This waste dump probably was before the factory polluted it. Yeah, maybe. No sludge. Sludge on the pee is bad, okay? Okay, we walk across. I picked up all the items. I don't think there's anywhere else for me to go. Unless there looks like there's a path there. It almost looks like there's something there, but I think that's the dumping ground. So maybe we need to put the pipes here so this fills up. Maybe, who knows? Okay, let's see what else we can do. So we got the shortcut here. Let me go back up and we'll figure it out. There's no, uh, there's not a path. Sludge on the PR probably also not nice. Slugs, no. The leeches, remember? That blood doctor from Potion Permit? More leeches, please. Yeah, leeches. <clears throat> you. Okay, oh, not this way. This way, this place is like a maze. Okay, this is the shortcut. This is the shortcut. We'll wait for this to drop by. 
And then we run for it. Oh god. Okay, that's not too bad. Ooh, what? It's friggin' like Resident Evil 7. That guy's busting out of the walls like... Like the father. God damn. Definitely not expecting that. These guys are very rude with their, um... Literally everything they do. Oh, this guy does a lot of damage. Easily sidestep though. What's in this? Another record? Maybe not. There's the skin therapy with Weinberg snails though. What the hell is that? Fire axe blade. Ooh, I love axes. I love axes. I'd be curious to see if that would be my new weapon of choice. I love axes. Axes are sick. Now... I was about to say none of this helped me, but we're still slowly going back to where we can potentially remove the poison. Okay. What are we doing around here? There's a way up. Barrels. That looks like nothing. Ooh, oh, hello. Seem to follow me everywhere. The fox and who is this? The fox and the mouse. This is directly from Pinocchio. They're hoodwinks. They're frigging con artists that keep trying to lie to Pinocchio to steal his money. Um, yeah, interesting. Very cool. Very cool. I'm glad I read Pin uh, the, the synopsis of Pinocchio before I played this. Very interesting to see what they've taken from the story and how they merge it and mix it. We'll see what they say to us. To see you, my stalker friend. You made it all the way here unbothered by ruffians. You've got talent. Oh, the fox and the cat? It's a cat? Okay. And this may well benefit our former client. That could be a cat, you're right. that subtle whiff of money in the air? Of course they're talking Mike about money. Max himself, Lorenzini Vanini, is inside this factory this very moment. I know. You caught us on our return trip. We had to deny his ridiculous request in person just to be sure it wasn't a joke. <laughs> All we could do was laugh. I'm lying to him. Keep your whispers Oh no, that's the black cat. Never mind, there. the other person. He is the richest man in Krat. Or so they say. Who knows? Maybe he's handing out bags of money to lift his spirits. Ha! <laughs> that seems unlikely. No way are we doing that. Hmm. Well, anyhow, best of luck. Hmm. Okay. Are you carrying the latest edition of Vanini's Landmark Guide? It's the most popular non-fiction work in crafts these days. Maduro wrote the actual guide, but Vanini published and financed it. It goes for a premium at the shop, but Maduro might not get his cut. He went missing recently, which of course made that volume more popular than ever. If you can get all three volumes collectors want, bet you can get four. No, 5,000 for it at the shop. Interesting. But you're in luck. I have a conscience and a powerful sense of self-preservation. I'll let this one go for 500. That's a good investment. Don't sleep through it. This guy's. I wish you had this, and the price is a steal. This guy's trying to let steal my money. Do I buy this? Do I need this? I could. Why not? I don't doubt they could taste nice, but they are some of the things I really wouldn't want to taste purely because I'm, I, of how I imagine their texture. Sus, very sus, Weasel, 100%. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, Bill, where are you headed with, uh, you're going to Bogo Bongos? What's Bongos? Um, how's the stream? Uh, it's good, Saki. How are you doing? How are you feeling? I know you said you had an appointment earlier today. Do I buy this? Should I buy this? I guess I could. Um, I don't have the third one. Uh, this is, uh, this is Bongos. That's true. I guess we'll buy it. Why not? It's a collectible. Bongos are the little drum thingies? They are. I thought the, maybe the place you were going to was called Bongos. Um... No, I'll buy it. Whatever. Let's have a look. Ripped, uh, ripped Vanini Kratz Landmark Guide 3. This month's attraction, Rose Estate. There's a warning band attached that bears the herring symbol of Kratz. Warning, this book has been banned. If found, please report it to the city. Reading banned books will result in punishment. Are you sure you want to read it? Some uneven, uneven handwriting is here. You were warned, but you're reading a forbidden book. You're a bad person. Well, you're reading it, so this is what you get. The roses, the roses bloom at the rose estate. Don't know the rest of it. The end. 
Reporter, Cat, this guide was made with the support of the Red Lobster Inn? What a piece of shit. He literally just sold me a fake book that is a fake landmark. Oh my god, what a dick. What a dick. So, Give me my money back. Have you had time to read it? It's the first volume I wrote, so go easy. <laughs> By the way, I need to mention something before it slips my mind. It's a shame that the original author went missing, but I fear you misunderstood this commitment. I am willing to sell my newest book for 500. No refunds, of course. <laughs> That's a given. But look on the bright side. That volume of this series is not easy to acquire. Am I spending another $500 because this guy's a prick? <laughs> Take care, you don't get torched. Never mind, I thought he was... Okay, at least I can't accidentally attack them. I, my, my friggin' controller hit my leg and then it instantly attacked. Best of luck to you, my friend. These guys, all they want to do is steal from you. Bastards. I don't know if that has anything to do with the trophy, but... Okay, so where do we want to go? I thought I saw something up there. There's a staircase over here. We're doing good, Queen. How are you doing? How, how was your meeting? Hopefully you had a good one. Okay, so this is a gigantic factory. Do I want to go the other way or do I want to come into the factory? You don't think those two are tro trophy related? Oh, here's the sludge. Here we go. Sludge controls. Shortcut, nice. More shortcuts. I'm back. I took a short nap after lunch with Twitch going. Oh, hey, Aya, welcome back. How was the nap? You said you've been very nappy. Trying to follow the story, Saki. Doing pretty bad. Oh, in and out of consciousness. Oh, I haven't had much of a game, even if I've been here for a bit. So that was just the pipe. So that's just a different shortcut. Now, the real question is, how do I remove the sludge? Hmm. Okay, offline and reheated yesterday. Dear stew dinner. I'm so done. You're so done for the day. What are you going to do with the rest of your evening, Misty? Venini is a jerk. I want to make as much as Venini's... <sighs> Butler puppet does. My God. I, I wish that would stay slightly longer. Okay, there's more than one of these gigantic guys. Is Vanini over here? I'm not sure which way I want to go now. I moved the pipe, which is a shortcut. I want to remove the poison. There's more after the fox and the cat. Yeah, I know, but I'm not sure which way is the right way and which way is the wrong way. So I'm trying to just explore a little bit. It's always hard to... I really wish I could hit multiple people with this one weapon. It's very strong and I like it. But the way that it attacks, they have to be super lined up or else you just get nothing. Okay. Okay, these are just items. Oh, Doctor's Confession. My name is Clark Shore. People call me Dr. Kural. I intend to confess my sins, of course. We already knew this. I made innumerable medicine sales under the guise of it being a cure-all. At first, even I was sure about my experiment. Early on, the cure really was effective in neutralizing the petrification disease. Whatever helps you sleep at night, Mr. Shore. Um, and or was it Shore? Shore. And why would the great alchemist records be wrong? I know I stole it, but I perfectly followed the manufacturing process. My cure was perfect. But what went wrong? I dare not record what the ones who got treated turned into. That was literally hell. And when I realized that I was the gatekeeper who opened the door, I ran away. How can I atone for my sin? I only tried to treat patients and earn a few extra coin. I'm dying, and this is my pe penitence. I also have the petrification disease, but I'm not getting the cure. I'd rather turn to stone and freeze to death. God, please forgive my terrible sins. My goodness. My goodness. Okay, I take the positive and put the negative aside as much as possible. Okay. Uh, I'm sorry to hear that, Saki. Hopefully tomorrow's a better day. Okay, I guess we'll go see what's behind them. I, it looks like the real way is up there, so we're going to go this way and see what we can do. What is past here? Is this good? Is this bad? I'm going to get ambushed. Oh, boy. Dodge you. Get a nice little hit in you. There you go. I almost have enough to heal. Saw blade, thermite. So a saw blade, is that throwing material? What is all the way down here? This looks like another shortcut. 
course. <clears throat> I had the super violent shot in a bad day, but I'm all right. Being in streams and interacting with people helps so much. At least we're able to do that for you, Saki. No, sorry, not sure if uh, we introduce my math on Twitch would be a good thing. But lurking here for hours while my brain melted to programming. A little bit of math. Oh, that's a couple of guys. Math logic. Come here. Easy kill. Oh, of course you hit me before I hit you. Yeah, I should be able to heal now, which is nice. Dodge that guy. Let's get a heal in. At least I'm able to... Oh. God damn it. Wrong thing. Although I could do this. Why not? Heal it up. I like the fact that you can just heal whenever you want, though. Vigo Fragment. Where are we going now? I'm not sure I trust anything in this pit. I'm tempted to draw while lying down. It's pretty hilarious. What's this? Use the Trinity key. Was this the way to go? I'm so confused. There are too many paths. There are too many paths. There's another shortcut here. Okay, this is the first shortcut. Ah, where that guy was. Which means my umbrella's here somewhere. Hopefully that guy doesn't spawn back. Trinity key means extra things. Oh. Where was that umbrella? My math. I think it's I think it's math like logic or something. Okay, so if this is all the way over here, there's that shortcut that brings me this way. I don't know if there's a fight in there. I'd rather have my heels. Okay, here we go. We'll go back. Umbrella. I, is there umbrella there? Or just one room? Yeah, but I have no heels. I don't want to go in there with no full health and no heels. I'm afraid. I'm afraid. I guess I can try it, but damn. Let's go. At least I opened the shortcut before I went on. Maybe it's maybe I'm just worried for no reason. Maybe I'm worried for no reason. Yeah, I wanted to go back to the stargazer. Sounds like loot. I mean, it could be loot, but it could also mean demise. We'll find out. So the Trinity, who gave me the Trinity key again? Just let the man play the game. It's fine. Let's go have a look. Oh, what the fuck? Not what I was expecting. Question of the day. Did this factory worker ever think he would be destroyed like a puppet? The fuck? Three, create, one. You who open the door, be one with the great one. Oh, the Riddler gave me the key. Oh, that's what this was for. Ah, okay. More riddles then. God damn it. But we do get a little upgrade here. That's nice. Okay, well, I was worried for no reason. Blue blood train coat. Oh, tail coat. Let's do that. That sounds like it's very nice. I picked up a bunch of stuff. Very fancy clothes. Look at that. I look very dapper now, indeed. Trinity as in the Freemasons. Oh, interesting. Interesting. And I got some quartz. Nice. I can upgrade stuff now. Trinity as in Matrix Trinity? No. I don't think they were set up for the comfy dinner. Maybe not. Uh, the little sleeve ruffles. My, my chat keeps reconnecting, so hopefully I'm not missing anything. You thought of Zelda? The Triforce? A little bit different? The little sleeve ruffles? It's super cute. Okay, so... What have I not done then, hmm? Okay, let's do that. If I come back this way, I can go back to where the fox and the cat are. Now, the thing is, I still don't know how to remove the poison. I'm not even sure if I can remove the poison, honestly. I feel like I probably can, but I'm also... I feel like this is the faster way, but I'm not sure. For some reason, I was like, yeah, that makes sense. It's Zelda. And I just went on like nothing happens. There's one more hallway after fox and cat. Really? The hell did I miss? I don't feel like there was one. We got through there. Oh, I reset though. I'm gonna have to refight everyone, eh? Oh, God damn it. Ow. Because I have all my heals. God damn it. How the hell did I miss you? Oh, 
Perfect. Basically have the points to redeem a fact, but with the fact we had yesterday, I'm not sure you want to. That was a lot of saliva, eh? Oh, there's this one. Right, right. There is one more path. Hi. Yo, Kiros wants the hot take. Did we have the hot take today? I think we did. The hot take. There's someone chasing me. Oh, God. My hands are gone. Oh, fuck. What the hell was that? I wasn't sure what was going to happen there. I took my hands off to get the to get the hot take. The hot take was I'd rather give up cheese than oral sex. I'd rather give up cheese than oral sex. I'm torn. Cheese is great. Cheese is great topping on everything. But at the same time, I mean, oral sex is pretty great, too. Yes. Boshi doesn't even like cheese. So, I mean, Boshi doesn't even like cheese. That guy's dead and there's nothing in this pit. Hmm. I would never give up cheese. Well, yeah, I keep the cheese uh, as a virgin. No, I like my cheese. What is oral sex? I guess I pick cheese. Just eat meat. Cheese is great. Cheese is great. What the hell's down here? More dead bodies, huh? If I grab you, I can stop you from doing anything and get a couple of hits in before you get it. Oh, nope. I did not get a chance to stop you. You got extra health because you're a big boy, huh? Big block there. Lurk, dragon, enjoy the lurk. Cheese means no pizza. I mean, you can get a cheeseless pizza. They're not as good, but you can definitely get a cheeseless pizza. Saw blade. More saw blades. I'm still curious what's going to be all the way down here. Okay. Sawtooth wheel. More red. What is with all these? Look like warning signs. Like, oh god. Who the hell are you? It looks like he's fighting me with a spatula. Big spatula, huh? What are you doing? He fired up. It's very hard to tell if he's how he's attacking me. Ah, god damn it! Literally looks like he's swatting a fly. Literally looks like he's swatting a fly. God damn it! That's fucking me up. What does overheating do? That's not good. Ah, fuck you! God damn it. This guy's tough. My heal is useless when I was overheating. That's not good. Fuck, I. Oh my god, I got the block, but. Damn it, I'm dead. I'm dead! Yo, man, these, these, uh, these tough enemies are rough. Tough call here, yeah. Oral means talking, so I assume it's also like when people talk about sex. I still prefer cheese. I know it's a shovel, but it feels like a fly swatter, Lone Wolf. I know it's a shovel, but it feels like a fly swatter. Feels like a fly swatter. Is this still the fastest way for me to go about that? Oh, wait, um... Yeah, this way. Overheat is damage. Spikes with brunting damage over time. Looks like the fly is getting fucked up. I am, Saki. Or the one of those things you use for putting pizza in the pizza oven? That It does look like a thing to put pizza in a pizza oven. Wait, giving or receiving? Um, both. No oral sex at all, Spice. None. I don't know, man. It's a tough call. That's a tough... That's a tough hot take. I feel like a lot of these are like would-you-rathers, but that's not always the case. Like, the last one before was like... It said Kim Kardashian is more famous than Beyonce, which I do not believe. Hot take today is you would rather give up cheese than oral sex. Give up the cheese, right? Give up the cheese, man. It totally a would you rather, pretty much. They're not always like that, though. But sometimes they are. If these guys are going to fall now. Oh my god, they didn't fall from the ceiling. They're literally climbing on the fucking roof like a crazy spider. That is creepy. I was not expecting that one bit. Oh my god, they jump at you too? They don't even have heads. That is freaky. No pun intended. Why not both? Cheese it is then. Totally give up cheese. Okay, I guess we gotta fight the fire guy. God damn it, man. Okay, I gotta kill these guys first because I do not want to back up into here and have to fight... Really? I don't want to accidentally back up into here and get totally wrecked. I'm 
Okay. Okay. Yo, she got you. Had to deal with food. I'm back. Welcome back, Chi. What was for dinner? I was expecting more than a kappa with that template I gave you. What did Yon say? That came quick. All right, you bastard. Oh, I blocked way too early. Blocked way too early again. Fucking hell, man. This guy's a prick. This guy's messed up. My god, I can't do it. I can't block this guy one bit. I keep blocking too early every time. This guy fucked me up. God damn, man. God damn. Yes, I uh, thank you. I actually already knew that. Um, yesterday, fun fact was something in the lines of we, uh, we produce enough saliva during our lifetime to fill two swimming pools. That one's messed up. I used the gate to the left of him to get back to a more open area. Can you actually open up the gate? I thought it, I thought it was locked. Yeah, a bigger open area might be more beneficial. I thought I, uh, not surprised. I would imagine it would be more than two pools. I mean, two two full size pools is pretty big. We need a, a bit of motivation. He gives a really good amulet. Well, I mean, I will kill him, but like, damn, you have to open it while fighting. You get iframes. Nice. Okay, that makes sense. If you act fast enough, yes, you can open it. I will try. Olympic sized? I'm not sure how big the pool is, honestly. It doesn't specify. I'm thinking like like a like a pool that you would swim in like in your backyard or something, which still holds like 10,000 gallons or something ridiculous like that. I can't believe these things. These things are fucked. These things are messed up. To be honest, uh, were these tubs even... Uh, or was it room temperature? What are you talking about? I'm not sure. What tubs? Did I, I did pick up my Urgo last time, but that time it was a little bit too far. Okay, you're dead. Fantastic. You mean the water? Oh, I'm not sure. Okay. Ergo. Door. Oh, fuck you! <laughs> Alright, bro. That's not open area. Big block. Ah, too early. Ah, no, stop spacking me. Stop it. Ah, oh, fuck you. Really? I thought he was done, but I guess I missed. God damn it, this guy's almost finished. I have, like, no heals left, though. There he goes. Boom. There you go, you sucker. Done. Okay. Swordsmanship Master Amulet. Hidden Moonstone. Fantastic. What's back here? Okay. And can I do anything with the... Uh, this looks like it's maybe for the ooze. That, that they're poison. Does it, is it not going to tell me what actually happens? I have to guess. That was some shit timing. Sometimes you would just run. I needed to kill him. Why run? I was good. Food was veggies of the fridge with chicken in the air fryer and then pasta. I'm already loving that air fryer. My bad. I thought of a different amulet. What's that amulet even about? Let's have a look. Um, max HP might be nice. 
Um, reduce weapon durability consumption, whatever. It's not a huge issue. I could have sworn there was a cutscene when you did that. Well, then not this time. Maybe they removed it? I don't know. It doesn't tell you what that happens, but yes, I think it gets rid of the poison. I would imagine that's what it was going to do, but... So what? Which shortcut was that? Oh, it's the shortcut here. Okay. Nice. Fantastic. I'm probably just misremembering. Well, now it looks like the poison's gone, so it's time to fight that. Best Are these guys going to say anything you, new? My friend. They say nothing new. Okay, goodbye. You, yes, yes. So, interesting. I can guess I can go back and around. Was there a quick way? Okay, not this way. I think I have to go back now. What was the fastest way to get to that? You never had a cutscene? Fuck, this guy. This guy's too strong. I need an umbrella. Oh yeah, this. Never mind. Never mind. I pressed the wrong thing. Um, should I draw a cannoli? You could, why not? Cannolis are the best, Saki. Cannolis are the best. I drew that cannoli. It's not great, but it works. Nothing there. Okay. What was my fastest way back? I guess I could just use the um, most recent Stargazer. Okay. I should level up, actually. I should have went to the damn hotel. Yo, Yamino, welcome in. How you doing? How is your headache? Are you feeling a lot better? I think I'm going to go level up. Now lying, 100%. Did you unlock the shortcut to the beginning? Yes. I could actually load to the beginning. You're right. Because I could just run over the... Yes, yes, yes. You're correct. I could just run over the uh, the, the, the pipe. Ah, I'm stupid. I could have just... Yeah, you're right. I could have just done that, Lone Wolf. I forgot how it looks. I'm just going to go to... I'm going to level up. I'm tempted to draw one with the holy cannoli you around it. That's a... I mean, you could. Why not? Pop it in the Discord. I'm better for sure. How are you? I'm doing pretty good, Yamino. Still, like, I, I slept like garbage last night. I feel like I was awake the entire night. I know I did sleep, but I just felt like I was awake for so much of the evening. Where is she? Oh, she's down there. I'm glad your head, your migraine is gone, though. You. Okay, let's level up. We got some stuff. 10,000. God damn. Yo, truck of source. Howdy, howdy. A nice way to celebrate the new year indeed. Dropping that prime. 37 months over three years. Truck of source, always a pleasure. Enjoy the emotes in the ad for your view, and thank you very much for dropping that prime here. You only get one a month. I really appreciate it. How you doing, dude? Have you played this yet? That is your first ticket this year. Congrats. How are you, man? Five on that wheel spin. Do I keep doing damage? Do I keep doing damage? A little bit of health? Maybe some capacity and vigor. Wait, uh, the vigor was the stamina, eh? Mm. Let me do the vigor. Get a little bit more stamina. Okay, let's leave. Actually, I want to talk to the uh, to the old lady over here. See what she says. That sounds very dangerous. I also have quartz. I should go upgrade. He isn't so reckless. The pain of his grief may be clouding his judgment. Uh, oh, uh, yeah, uh, I, I shouldn't have said that. You and Gebetto are always welcome at this hotel. Gebetto's room is on the second Yes, I already know this. You had nothing new? Thanks for keeping me company. Nothing new. Okay, fine. Let me leave. Did you use the show off clothes emote? Infants of the old lady wearing the schoolboy outfit? I did not. Um, do I have to? Is that a trophy? I should. Put on the clothes she gave you and do the show clothes in front of her. Okay, I'll do that. I'll go back, but give me a second. I was just coming up here to upgrade. Joe, you have to have the noodles for arms. Would they be cooked or uncooked? If I had noodles for arms, I'd probably want uncooked noodles because then they're nice and strong and rigid. Although the cooked noodles would make me be able to, like, dance probably pretty nicely, but I am not sure. JB, how you doing? What kind of noodle arms would you want? Let's activate that P... A P organ. What do I want to do? Stagger window? Payable slots? Extra dodge? I guess the bigger stagger window, I could do more damage to them. I only have one quartz. Do I get different? Oh. Oh, yo, JB, thank you very much for that fall. I really appreciate it. Do I get... Are these different or are these the same? Oh, I can't use the same one. Okay. But I can do different ones. 
Uh, Link Dodge is so good, yeah. I don't know, Stagger Window? I guess Link Dodge is better in general. I'm not sure, what do I even add though? Increase the Stagger. Do I have to have all of them done before I get to the tier two, I guess? Interesting. JB, have you played a lot of uh, Liza P yet or what? Are you a big FromSoft Souls fan? Uncooked noodle breaks instantly. That's true too, Iona. But ne you never know if it's a full, if it's a, if it's a body noodle. It's different. Best answer I heard was one of each. One of each isn't bad, JB. If you had him do that yet, I did not. I'll, we'll go do it afterwards. I know internet when he was here last time. Okay. Will the noodle arms decompose or break easily? I mean, I don't know. What should I do? Hmm. Increase consumable, no. Charge amounts of legion when an enemy is eliminated. Okay, I think that's probably good. Recharge the extra legion for killing things. Or charge fable when perfect guarding is successful. I think maybe the perfect guard might be better for like boss fights. Let's do the perfect guard. Okay, let's go put the boy clothes on. What do we got here? So... Does it matter the hat? I guess it's just the outfit. Someone's memory, is that it? Which one was it? Old school uniform. Alright. Let's go. I look like a weird sailor. I look like a sailor. Throwables are broken as fuck, yeah. So how do I do the emotes? Not even sure. How do I do an emote? I don't even know how to do emotes. What button am I pressing? Throwables are broken as fuck. With uncooked noodle arms, you wouldn't be able to take a hot shower, though. Ooh, they'd get all wobbly. In the inventory? Just like rambling. When you get to my age, your memories are like good friends and just as distracting. <laughs> oh, free ergo. That's it. Okay. Well, I guess that's cool. People have no idea. Thanks for keeping. Yeah, this is all the exact same. All right. Cool. Well, thank you. Appreciate that. Free ergo. It's not too much, but or the, they give me an item. I haven't used any of the ergo items yet, so I could probably level up a couple of times with that. I'm going to put my dapper clothes back on. Very dapper. Honestly, it seems that no matter what type of noodle arm I had, amputation would be the best option. <laughs> Just get rid of them. I guess, maybe. Alright. Wait, I need to upgrade. Man, my chat keeps disconnecting and reconnecting. Is anyone else having some weird trouble? I don't know how much I need to upgrade. I have nine of these. I have enough. Let's upgrade it again, plus three. Also, I did have the axe. I did have the fire axe. This does... It's blunt. Weapon durability is a bit more. It is less... It's not as heavy. Physical attack. Why does it say plus? Because at zero, it's, it's stronger? It's 130. I don't know what this started at. Patient slash. Gather your strength for a wide range attack. Hold down the attack button for a stronger attack. I don't know if this is better. I lose my stab damage, but I get more slash damage. I don't know if I like it. Hmm. What about the handle? Does it tell me the handle? Which displays C and C. So it's it's technically it's better with the technique. It's a bit of both. It's a mixed bag. Yet another really nice quality of life feature in this game. In the level up screen, it shows you how much ergo you have with the items in your inventory. Oh, really? That is actually really nice. I have not actually noticed that. I'll use my power you too, Queen? It's resetting all the time? So how much ergo do I have with everything I have on me? Um, required ergo. So I have current ergo is 11,000. If I were to use all my ergo, goddamn, that's actually quite a bit. I'd have to use that stuff first, though. All right, I think that's good. We'll stick with our weapon for now. Um, teleport to another stargazer. So we can go to the main one. Workshop entrance. You can sell it too. 
Or you can sell it from the level up screen. Yo, that is the best quality of life ever. Legit, none of the Souls games let you do that. So I know that I think I will go climbing tomorrow. I have to come to the office again. I have IRL meetings all day. Okay, Queen, no worries. Your internet seems to have decided to screw you. Sorry, Kiros, that sucks. Hopefully you have a great rest of your day. We'll see you later. Enjoy. Um, good luck with Valkyria Chronicles if you continue playing that. We'll see you soon. But I think I want to go this way. No, that's the entrance. I do want to go this way. From that, not not from the level up screen. I mean selling instead of using without losing value. Oh, okay. I have to go through this guy. Is that even worth it? I don't know. Out, try to block you. I don't know if that's this, it's worth fighting this guy, honestly. Out. I could just get better at fighting him. Out. You fall down now. Thank you. So do I sell them at a shop or can I sell them from my inventory? Not sure how that works. Okay, Star Fragment. Get a lot of experience using that level up right away. Okay, so this was the shortcut. This is what I should have remembered that I did this. So I can actually get down there. Let's go fight him. That's what I should have remembered. I have no idea on selling things. Aya, did you play this yet? Have you been going through it at all? Or have you just watched people play it? Alright, Iron Giant, let's go. I'm not, this feels like a very big, like, you know the giant in, in uh, Demon Souls? That's what this feels like. I feel like it's not going to be that hard, honestly. He's so slow. Just kind of dodge around. I do so much damage, although I'm sure he does a lot of damage if I get hit. I he decides to change his attacks. Does he ever fall down like demons, like, like demon souls or no? This guy's kind of weak. Well, there he goes. Big damage there. Oh, is he going to change now that he's on his legs? He's on his knees. Nope. Stays the same. Kind of weak. Do I not have a three hit combo with that? That's kind of weird. <clears throat> I kind of feel sorry for this guy. It looks like he's speeding up a little bit, but it's not really changing much. This guy was a lot scarier. Oh, shit! Okay, I wasn't expecting the spin, honestly. I wasn't expecting the spin at all. Surprisingly easy. He is getting a little bit faster, but... oh. The spin is the worst? Probably. Down he goes. Wrong button? God damn it, I pressed the wrong button. That sucked. He would have been dead. I'm surprisingly weak. The spin is the worst part. If you get a hit, his his arm combo gets interrupted, really. I'm I'm actually a little disappointed in that fight it's so slow and there's like almost no reason to get hit by him i mean i did get hit i messed up a little bit but it really wasn't too bad and what this is that yona said this is a great weapon is this what you really liked what is it booster glive glaive hand blade and handle okay let's have a look let's have a look the booster huh Oh, it looks like gigantic weapon. I like that. Great sword type. Very cool. I already have a great sword. Although I'd have to re-upgrade it. 136 plus 36. What is mine right now? Mine's a plus 3 though. 157 plus 69. It's so much stronger. Although it's way more on technique. Maybe if I put the other handle though, I can use... I don't know. It looks cool. It looks fucking cool. But I lose all my motivity if I didn't... if I use this handle. It'd be a way more on technique. Damage reduced rate while guarding. That's not bad. Oh no, that's everyone's guard ability. This sword is good. This sword is good, dodge. 
Sorry about that. The boost handles amazing. Charge R2 all the way. Since you're complaining about lack of range earlier, honestly, the la the range on this handle is way better than the one I have right now. I'd have to check it out. The thing is, I put so much in the motivity. Moving it back down to a C doesn't seem very pleasant to me. I can have a look, but I'm not sure how I feel about that. Yeah, char the charge heavy close. Close the gap pretty good, yeah. Interesting. I'll have to check it out. Um, that's the wrong... That's the wrong one. It's not the one I want. I'm not sure. I'd have to, I'd have to try it out. Uh, no, you haven't. You just watched others play. Do you think you're going to play it, Aya? I know you're a FromSoft fan. Well, I mean, I keep saying this as if it's like a FromSoft game, but it is very well done, um, as if it might have been made by them. Like, they, they did a really good job so far. It doesn't seem overly janky either, which is really nice. <clears throat> what do we want to do, though? I guess we'll go down this way. Actually continue. You're looking for a physical copy? Surprisingly hard to find. I have to stop them. Is what's his name here finally? We have to find Veniti. Venini? Sorry. What's on your arm? My arm is like a hook shot. I'm like Scorpion from Mortal Kombat. I can drag people towards me. It's very nice, actually, Zam. Um, warning. Beware when handling corrosive chemicals. Be careful not to melt your fingers. Okay, that's a good warning. Uh, where do we want to go? Where is... V Venini. You can put your big blade on the handle so you don't lose the upgrade. That's true, too. But then I lose... Yeah, but the problem is what I lose is... I mean, the blade looks cool. I'd maybe even want to use it just because it looks fucking sick. The thing is, I'd be losing the... I'd, I'd have to start upgrading my technique. Oh, look at this. Yo, man, this guy looks like a trip. He looks like a friggin' joke. I love some of their outfits. My god, he looks like the ringmaster at a freaking carnival. Oh, easy now. Don't need to kill me. Surely we can discuss this like He is a so Italian. People? Look at that goatee. He's Gemini Tiger. Geppetto's a friend of yours. Did he send you? I, I'm, I, I'm fine. Please, help me find my butler Pulcinella. He's a puppet and a friend. Those stalkers were supposed to be working for me, but, uh, well, they bolted and left me to my fate. That was not helpful. My butler went to barricade the back door, and I haven't seen him since. Pulcinella has been a loyal companion. I'd hate to lose him. The factory is, of course, my priority. We must take it back. But please, keep an eye out for my... For my butler. My butler. Consider it a personal favor and owe you in kind. Okay, so this is a side quest. Fear. He gave me a cower gesture. Nice. Uh, my god, I almost accidentally attack everybody. So, Iona, um, I saw what you just said. Put the, the, the blade on and then... What's it called? Uh, put a, put the, the crank on it to make it a little bit better with the, um, with the handle. And this sounds more like a BF than a butler. Before all this, uh, this chaos, Fuoco was the puppet in charge of the furnace. But he changed. He was a stand-up fellow once. Now, not so much. I'm told he's still building an army of puppets, and marching them on the cathedral. How did this nightmare come to be? Please. Must stop him before he does any more harm. I will try. I want to see if you tell me anything before else. All this, uh, this chaos, Fuoco was the puppet in charge of the furnace, but he changed. Fuoco. He was a stand-up fellow once. It sounds like he's calling him a fucker. Now, Fuoco. So much. I'm told he's still building an army of puppets. Army of puppets. Marching them on the cathedral. Mm -hmm. How did this nightmare come? Okay, I need to stop him. So, did he say the same thing three times? Um, wouldn't I? Wouldn't it be better to put the crank on the weapon I'm already using to make it an A instead of a B? Would that be better? I don't even know. I don't even know. I almost feel like that would be better, but I'm not sure. So we have that one now. That's not too bad. 
Where do we want to go? I thought he was going to be on the other side there, but apparently not. I want to avoid that guy. We're just going to walk on top here. I'm assuming I'll get attacked by someone throwing stuff at me. Oh, yeah, there they go. Oh, I can't get through there. Okay, fantastic. Want to keep moving so I don't get knocked down. That guy's dead. Great. More items down here. Boom. Dead. Love that charge attack. I actually really enjoy technique crank. So do you get to keep the crank or once you use it, it's done, right? I'm assuming once you use it, it's finished. No, don't attack. What are you doing? Oh my goodness. Almost getting attacked. Almost getting hit by all these guys. Okay, we got... Ooh. Descartes notes, the puppet cannot refuse the Grand Covenant imprinted upon manufacturer. It must obey the creator's orders and cannot harm humans. But look at that puppet that was once called Fuoco. Is, uh, is the Grand Covenant flawed? The once uh, faithful puppet now kills humans. It creates puppets instead of fire. It obeys something else other than humans. It's as if someone is controlling it or it has a mind of its own. As if there's a king of puppets somewhere. Is it pretending to be human? Is it a simple defect? This requires further investigation. It's surprising. Fuoco's actions were not simple ob uh, obedience, but faith. Fuoco worships something as God. I heard there's the King of Puppets on Rosa Isabel Street. That must be what is controlling the puppet of Krat. But a puppet having a human ego is a problem for another dimension. There is still a puppet secrets that I don't know about. Ergo is probably the key, but those guys are awakening like humans more quickly as days go by. Someone has to stop them before it's too late for the sake of all humans. Good panda. Um, we get knocked down, but we get up again. Oh, we always do, Misty. Uh, they do get used up, but you should get more than enough. Okay. You're never gonna keep. You're never gonna keep me down, indeed. Okay, so we need to keep going around this. Hopefully, we don't get hit. As long as I keep moving, we should be good. Oh my god, I have to run and jump. That's not safe. Oh, danger. Okay. People here trying to kill me. They won't do too good. There you go. Look at that, Zam. So totally get over here. Someone forgot to code the puppets to not know of God. Apparently. I mean, it's something they didn't think it would happen. The humans are gods to them, but no. Not anymore. They've got a mind of their own. Okay, so we made it all the way around. Does that even matter? I guess I can fall down now. The stairs are right here. What are we going to do? There's that big boy. I really don't want to deal with him. I don't think there's anything around here. I never activated anything. I should probably heal. Wrong button. Okay, let me kill these guys before they throw stuff at me. Oh, oh God, those do a lot of damage. That was, that was bad. I got hit by both of them. Was not expecting that. And now I'm just taking overheat damage, which is awful. It's like everything is just corruption. They got a poison mechanic for everything. Does it do anything else? I mean, corruption goes down way slower. Maybe I have a better resistance to overheating. But damn. I'm doing good, Twinkle Toe. How are you doing? Did, War did Warlock play this? Does he plan to? Corruption also damages your weapon, does it? Interesting. Fuck, I, I always block way too early. Big block. Block too early again. Did not, could not block there. Out. Nope. Roll. Just trying to heal. Now I'm overheating. That sucks. Too early, but at least I dodged him. And he's dead. But I'm not going to be able to heal anyways, so we're... Oh, I'm, I'm done overheating. Get them gains. I did two high-intensity workouts on the VR. I'm dying. Damn, Twinkle Toe. Which, uh, which one were you doing? I'm glad you're getting a workout during your lunch. That's nice. You're working from home on Mondays, right? Okay, so where else do I need to go? I guess I need to go down the pit, but I, I'm assuming I should probably... Reset my stuff, or I'm just gonna die. I have 7,000 ergo again. And I don't think there's gonna be... Oh, there's a boss. 
Oh, shit. Okay. I'm gonna go get my Urgo back. Uh, maybe we'll level up too. Actually, here. Uh, boom. Well, we'll teleport back here and we'll come straight to the boss. No heals, no health. What can go wrong? I mean, hey, I saw that thing saying that I could summon something, which means I know there's a boss. There go counter changes color when you have enough for a level, by the way. Oh, really? Interesting. I know I have enough for a level because I have a ton. That sounds like my wake up alarm whenever I have that on. Oh, Misty. Yeah, my my friend's phone, uh, when it rings, that's its ringer. It just does the eh, eh, eh. I almost walked into death indeed, but I'm going to just come back here and level up a bit. I wanted, I wanted stamina. I oh, know I wanted capacity. Yeah, capacity and more damage. And then I don't have, I do have enough. Um, more damage. Okay, so if we have a look at the weapons, maybe I do change it. Although, do I want to change something before a boss fight? It's probably not the best answer. What the fuck? Who would use that as a ringtone? Smash that phone, right? You mean all my friends? I mean, he never misses it. Soft caps are 40 by, by your knowledge. Assemble a weapon. Alter a handle. Assemble a weapon. So we have... Do I want to keep the plus seven? I could upgrade this. Like, that, that thing is very strong. Let's see if I can upgrade. Upgrade a weapon first. So I could do this one. Oh, I need Crescent Moon. Okay, so I don't need the Hidden Moonstones anymore. I have plenty of them. So you said the blade. So did you use both of these or just the handle, Iona? Did you not like the glaive itself? I, I am liking the great swords themselves. I don't know if it changed. Maybe I should just check the weapon out before I start doing anything. Let me just check the weapon out. How about I do that? That's probably smart. That kind of looks cool. That's a big ass handle. I only have one attack here. Wow. And he used all three of them. God damn. Okay, that's cool. That is actually pretty cool. What's the combo like, though? Wow, that is so slow. My other one's so much faster. My other one is so much faster. I think I kind of like the attacks of the other one better. I'm not sure. So what does... <laughs> this is like a chainsaw. I don't know. It's pretty cool. I only used the handle. The blade was way too slow. I used different blades depending on the situation. So the handle, doesn't it... It just changes your... Hmm, don't forget you need all weapons. The vendor before the parade master disappears after a while. Making his weapons missable. I already picked up all the weapons. Those were the starting weapons, right, Lone Wolf? I already bought them. I already bought them. The three starting weapons. I finally have my second Taiko no Tatsujin drum. Now I can host tournaments and stuff. That's cool. So, what was it again? Switching the... The, the blade does the... Like, my upgrade, obviously. Does it... Here, let's just make a different weapon. We'll see what happens. Alter handle. Oh. Oh, that's if I have a crank. Okay. I'm just curious. Assemble weapon. If I use... Um... What was it? A greatsword one with... Or actually, can I just make a different weapon? Like, does it... Uh, the glaive blade? Oh, whoops. I don't know. We'll see. I don't know if I'll change it, honestly. Whoops. I thought it was a C and C. I thought it was C and C. Why is it D and B now? I thought it was... That's so weird. Vandals, movesets, and scaling. Blade is speed and base damage. Oh. So it's a different moveset. But I thought I thought the glaive was C and C. Why is it all of a sudden D and B now? I don't know. I don't know if I like this. Okay. Let's have a look. So this is the other one. So now it attacks a little bit faster, but it's still the other move. I don't know. I kind of actually like the moveset of the baton. I got I got really used to it, so I don't know. 
Maybe that's just it. This one also takes a lot more stamina. Like, it takes so much more stamina. Like, that's fucking cool. You can change the scaling of the handle with the crank? Yeah, that I know. That I know. Honestly? I don't know. It's cool, Leona. And... Uh, I'm not sure. I'm really not sure. Where'd my baton go? Oh no, that was maybe no the puppet saber, no, glaive, dagger, baton. There you go, B and D. <clears throat> Stick with what you like. For now, yeah. I can't upgrade this anyways. I use the baton handle with the electric mace. At most of the game, really. I like the baton handle. I like the way the moves work. Where does it say the speed of all this? Like, does it say where, like, how fast the weapon is? Or is it literally just feeling it out? Because, like, definitely the greatsword was faster than the glaive. But it doesn't look like it actually says where it goes. It doesn't? That's so weird. You think it would? You, it just feel it out? Okay, so what I want to do, though, to make my weapon even stronger. Assemble weapon. Alter handle. Here we go. I'm going to upgrade this one. Oh, if I upgrade this, it lowers another one. So it's going to lower... Hmm. Wow. It's just going to lower technique even more. I mean, I don't have that much technique. So I can just make this an A. And that one would go down to a C. Just adding advanced. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, you can actually do the handles too? Or just... That's... Oh, it, never mind. It's already going to the handle. Did you finish the factory? We're at the boss near you. Hmm. Do I want to do this? I could. Bring it to A. Do it. Whatever. Let's try it. Alright. Let's go back to the boss. Let's try it out. We're at the boss now, Neri. Okay, so. Let's teleport. All the way to the workshop. Getting the R2 charge to stagger a boss might uh, become really difficult sometimes. The booster made it a lot easier to actually hit them. Maybe I might end up doing that, Iona. We'll see. We'll see. It, it is definitely, you have so much range with that. The problem is, I'm not, like, maybe I'm too used to this. It might actually end up being good, because it has so much sweeping, and if there's a lot of other enemies, it might end up working in my benefit to my benefit to hitting multiple enemies at once, right? So we'll see. I'm not sure. Very curious. Okay, the big boy down there is dead. Everyone else is still alive, but I'm just going to come here and fall down the pit. And then run to the boss. We're at the fat Neri, did you get to the end of the factory or no? Try to sell the leftovers. And it's not going good, really cheap. Yeah, well, because not many people just need the game, right? They probably need the drums. You couldn't just buy the drums? All right, what's going on in here? I like how I slid to this door. Did you finish this yet, Neri, or no? You're awake, I swear. Misty, did you just take a nap? Who are we fighting? Oh, another iron giant? This guy looks like a diver. That's my alarm sound? A dragon, apparently a lot of people's alarm sound. Oh no, it's your alarm clock. Sorry, Misty. <laughs> I get it. I use four weapons in my playthrough, the rapier, then this booster handle with the saber, and then the dancing greatsword, then the boss katana. Interesting. A lot of different stuff, eh, Yona? Let there be flame. That I, I did not block that at all. Oh my god, I'm not I'm not holding a weapon. What the fuck? I wasn't holding a weapon. <laughs> What's wrong with me? Okay, what are these guys' attacks? So you spin and hit fire. Ow, that was bad. No weapon, pro. I'm trying to fight this guy. Oh, needed to block that first playthrough. First only, if fist only played through, I could. Ow, that was bad. This guy's crushing me. Oh my god. You never know when he's gonna attack. I, I attack too much. Yeah, I'm blocking badly. This guy's gonna be a big rip for a while. I have to get used to this guy. Until he finally changes his. Yeah, I'm just gonna avoid that attack. Because why not? 
I want a perfect parry, but it's not always the easiest. Oh shit. I did not perfect parry that. It didn't look like it did much damage though. Fucking hell, man. I'm so bad at blocking. I'm so bad at blocking, it's insane. Why am I so terrible? Okay, that was a weird attack. Oh my god, and then... Yo, man, he's changing his moves up so much. Yo, have a good night, Maggie. We'll see you later. This guy's changing up his moves all kinds. God damn it. Oh, fuck, I'm dead. <laughs> I got crushed. I like how it got crushed and I stood back up to fall down to my death. Who needs weapons to boop them? I do need weapons to boop them. I think I logged off from my computer and went to sit on the couch. I probably would have fallen asleep for a way too late of a nap, Misty. What time is it now? Yeah, I've seen it, but never myself, because the only boss I used a Spectre on didn't have a boss or go. Hmm. One cool thing about using Spectre is that they use the boss weapons. You can craft during the you can craft a boss a boss weapon during the fight. I want a perfect parry, but I'm a creep. I'm a weirdo. Oh my god. What would happen if I fall in that pit of lava? Or toxic waste, I mean. No lava there. It's 9.30 right now, Misty, eh? God damn. Can't believe that just happened. I got smoked. Boss is hard. Instant death, I bet. You turned into the Joker from Batman. Imagine that'd be amazing. Turn into the Joker. All right, bro. Let's try this again. Nice block. Nice block. Okay, get some nice hits on him. I do not know how to block. I guess I know how to block that. Okay, no, not too bad. Tried to block that. I did not. Getting some decent blocks now. Uh, that, that move is... He spun the wrong way. You were much better at the perfect block than I was at this point, yeah? Oh, fuck you. Oh, he kicked me! Oh, I tried the I tried the dodge away from that. I did not. I was doing I started off really good and then it just got really bad. Fuck. Fuck, I, I'm going through my blocks like no tomorrow though, that's the problem. Oh, that was way too early. What is he, what is he, why is he pulling stuff out of his crotch? Third innuendo. Third innuendo. He's got crotch fire, oh my god, I'm fucking dead. I need to get away from, when he's pulling out his crotch, I need to run. I'm, I'm, I'm so dead. Fire crotch? Yeah, seriously, eh? Fucking fire crotch. I need a heal back badly. Oh god, he's got a gun! Oh! What move was that? Why is he pulling stuff out of his crotch? Thank you, Taxi. Jack Nicholson Joker, that is, yeah. Oh my god, I just got a notification on my phone that I used up 80% of my data. Should should last for another hour. My god, Iona. Holy crap. Your internet's still not back? Headshot? Yeah, he boom headshotted me pretty badly there. Boom headshot. That was a decent run. Gotta start using the items to get rid of the overheat status. Yeah, that might help a lot, eh? Um, what do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Bag. What removes overheat? Um... Fire abrasive, a special abrasive made by mixing fire and metal. That's not what I want. Um, resist. Temporarily increases resistance. No. Remove special ailments. A special uh, ampoule that purifies a puppet's special status ailment. Use when removes shock, break, or disruptive. That's not the right one. Um, overheat. This is the one I want. Uh huh. Move to equipment. And uh, let me pop it into the shop. Why not? Okay. Boy, fick. The only thing is, like... 
the problem with these types of items is that you want to use them when you're almost about to win because you easily run out of them so you don't want to use them for no reason and if you're just going to lose the fight there's no point doing that i could have used it that time because you know i was close to being done with him and i just died um he's going to be immune to fire i'm sure i watched if i watched on 1080 it would have been done in 20 minutes but thanks to the glorious spectacle of 160 you're still here yeah seriously eh? you can roll dodge to get rid of overheat quicker really dodge that's interesting i probably wouldn't have this brain melt sleepy mood now if I discovered earlier that, earlier that I did things for part three in programming for about eight hours without even touching part one and two. Oh my god, Misty, you did the wrong section. No wonder you're having so much trouble. Okay, buddy. Could not block in time. That big charge attack is good for me. Ah. I never get close enough for that other attack. Nice block. Not I was not able to block there. That was bad. Bad block. As you should. How are you finding Liza P? It's really sick. Mr. Bliss, how are you doing? Mr. Bliss, how are you? It's nice to see you again. I'm enjoying it a lot. It's really cool. We're on the factory boss. This is the third try. Okay, that was weird of you. Oh God, fire penis. Get out of here. Oh my God, I'm overheating. Wow, the dodge really gets rid of that. That's really good to know. Thank you for that dodge. Dodge made me dodge, and it gets rid of the fire really fast, actually. What is he doing? He's putting oil everywhere. Nice block. That time I did not block. I'm gonna heal. I don't like the tar. What are you doing? Stop tarring everything. Fuck. Okay, we blocked that. I need my block back. Ah. Alright, bro. Come on. Come at me. Stop shooting. He doesn't... Oh, my God. He really doesn't want to come near me, huh? Come on. You're stuck in that corner. Oh, fucking hell. Big block. Nope, that was bad. That was bad. He's almost done, man. Almost done. Oh, that was the backhand. Oh, shit. I don't even have a heal. Oh, fuck. God damn it. I'm so close. I was not expecting the fire to my face. I was trying to run around him. I thought he was going to attack me and he just fucking flamethrowered my, my, my skull. I was not expecting the flamethrower. That was a new move. As much as I think the setting is very Bloodborne, like I would compare the combat much more to Sekiro. Yes, 100%. The, but the healing, the healing is very Bloodborne. The being able to heal when you attack, it's the aggressiveness of Bloodborne, which is really cool. But at the same time, um, it definitely is a lot more secure of the, the combat. When he shoots those fireballs, he needs to shout cock rocket. Oh my god, taxi. Right in the ear hole. Seriously, eh? He's probably my least favorite boss just because he loved getting stuck in the corners and spamming fireballs. Yeah, the, the map isn't the best for him. There goes your face. Yo, Persian, welcome in. How you doing? Mr. Bliss, what have you been playing lately? You said you really like this game, eh? You're doing grand just having a lovely, chilly evening. Well, I'm glad to hear that, Mr. Bliss. <laughs> my, yes, my character felt a bit hot vacant, indeed. The combat is a mix. It just feels like Sekiro because you're stubborn to parry everything. Dodging works just as fine. I guess I, I need to do a mix of both, but I don't always do that, right? 
I do not always do that. Okay, buddy. That was a bad block. Big block there. Get him in the back. That was a bad block, but whatever. I did not block enough. Fuck! I keep thinking I'm blocking these and I don't get anything. I just miss hardcore. Fuck, okay, all I want to do is get really good at the parrying. Whoa, yo, he just tried to do an elbow drop on me. God damn it. This is not going well. I'm doing good, Persian. How are you doing? Have you played this? What the fuck was that? I did something really stupid there. I don't even know what the hell happened there. Okay, he's gonna spin. Two, three. Boom. Big block. There you go. Okay, we knock him down. He's a half health. Can probably do a little bit more here. Big damage. Ah. I almost want to use this just so that I can... Um... Oh. Why did he run away from me? That is so weird. Now he's touching his crotch again. You're currently playing Alan Way 2. Absolute masterpiece. I'm probably going to do that for, winter, for Halloween next year. Oh, I, I dodged way too early, but that did, like, no damage. Yeah, I don't mind the block there. Oh, big block. Oh, no, why a third one? Oh, man, I can't believe he missed me. That was lucky. Fuck. That was not good. I got hit by all three of those. I should have just left. This year, this year, Yona. Big block. Big block. Big, not big block, big death. Big death. Halloween 2025? No, no, 2024. Halloween 2024. I keep thinking it's the year before. If you can dodge a wrench, you can dodge a gigantic iron giant. <sighs> I was never a fan of uh, of hardcore. No, I haven't, but I watched Fox Split. Okay, okay. What have you been playing lately, Persian? If you were wailing on my balls like that, I'd run away at the first chance, too. Seriously, all he did was run. All he did was run. I've died 20 times in my first six hours of gameplay. God damn. I was, I was convinced when I fought him the first few times that getting him to destroy the pipes would be something special. It did nothing, Lone Wolf. Every other video game tells me that that should be something, but apparently not. Fuoco, come here, Fuoco, you fucker. Oh my god, I tried to block that. I did not block it. There you go, I got a nice block there. That time was good. I did not block that properly. Uh, it does do something. It gets rid of the cover. To, uh, yeah, to avoid his fire crotch. That's true. Nice block. Nice block. Not that time. Big damage. Here we go. Boom. Okay, he's more than... He's almost done. Totally missed me. Crotch, get away from the fire crotch. Oh, of course. Of course. Okay. I like the fact that dodging removes the overheat. That is amazing. Does that work for anything else or just the overheat? Nope. No fire for you. Apparently, if I'm close enough, it doesn't hit me. Oh, I, tr I tried to dodge that. That did not work. What a silly fool. Now that I know how your flamethrower works. Ah. This guy's not too bad. This guy's really not too bad. King's flame. Done. It felt rough, and then it was just not actually hard. 
Eliminated. High power everything. GG's. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Not bad. Not bad at all. Repair that stargazer. I really wish I had known that dodging removes the overheat. It's super useful. Honestly, Lone Wolf, oh my goodness. Uh, his moveset, uh, that uh, too bad once you learn it. Yeah, seriously, his moveset's not too bad. Once you eventually learn it, like, and you learn it pretty quick. He only has a few moves. Um, very similar. He had zero ranged attacks this time because I stuck on him. If you don't get far away, he doesn't use any of the ranged attacks. He just kind of stays close. Should I go talk to, what's his name? Talk to the, that's what I was going to do, Lone Wolf. I was literally just thinking, like, I should probably just talk to that dude. <clears throat> There's the puppet in the arena? Okay, well, I'll go back and do that afterwards, Lone Wolf. Unless he's gone now and I just fucked up. I wanted to talk to this guy. I wanted to talk to this guy. Ah, you're back. And you found... Oh, dear... Pulcinella, they really did a number on you. Pulcinella was proof that puppets possess true courage. I will not rest until I have revived him. Oh, that's the puppet? But Maybe. There will be ample time for that. First, I must thank you for a truly heroic piece of work. The factory is ours again. The puppets are going to be in really bad shape after this. Let us return to the hotel and rest while we can. Um, I guess we'll go talk to the puppet. I guess I guess we didn't need to talk to the puppet. I'll go talk to them now. Maybe I can still. I don't know. Did you find the human boss in the factory? The human boss in the factory. I bit. I fought the gigantic human boss. I don't think so, Lone Wolf. Where is it supposed to be? Hey, sent home because snow work lurk. Yo, Jake, enjoy the work lurk. There's a puppet here. Where's the puppet? Unless now it's gone, and I don't get any of that dialogue anymore. I did not find the human... There's a human boss. Where is it supposed to be? Where's the puppet in this room supposed to be anyways? I don't see anything anywhere. Unless it's supposed to be out here. I don't see anything here either. This is just leaving me out. Puppet was by the exit. I didn't see anything. And now everything is just done. So where's the human's boss supposed to be? We could try and do that before we exit. There's all this. <clears throat> the human boss is near the fox and the cat, if I recall. I feel like I did everything around there, but I don't remember any boss. Hmm. He's not far away from the stargazer before it. Yeah? Where you pull the lever to lower the pipe is another room? Really? How did I miss that? I guess we'll go have a look. Where? How the hell did I miss that? He's not far away from the stargazer from before. Where I lowered the pipe. So let's go to the first one. Go down to the ladder to the mini boss. Go to the entrance. I could just run to the side. I'll just run through everyone or whatever. We'll have a look. Lower the pipe. I feel like I did go down the ladder, but... I like how I just appear. I'm surprised I missed it. Do these guys... Oh, they do stop working. Okay. So we come down here. This was where the, the switch was. Um, was there another ladder down here? No, that's that one I've been to. There's another room. I went... Oh, this was at the beginning. This is exactly where I was before. I fought the guy down there. Yeah, there's another area I didn't get to. Hmm. Not that room? There is the other side. I know that. After here, if I exit, there's the other side, but there's nothing really there. Although, there was another area, but I don't know how to get to it. There was another area, but I don't know how to get to it. I came over here. There's this room. I... There's these guys. I still don't kill you in one hit. Really. Ah, I tried to dodge. I did not dodge. 
This room, yeah. I came here before, but I didn't, um, I guess I didn't explore it enough. Oh, the, oh my God, I didn't even see this ladder. Wow. I kind of explored other places, but I didn't even see this ladder. I totally missed it. Oh, hi. Uh, all puppets must die. Oh, it's the only way to be sure. Okay. It's not very nice of you. Hi, can I talk to you? Do I just attack him? It's very strange. Uh, uh, all puppets must die. I can't even walk onto oh, him. It's the only way to be sure. Okay, buddy. I hear you. Do I just attack him? I feel rude. Why would I just attack him? Is this the snake oil confession? Probably not, eh? All puppets must die. Talk to him? I can't. Oh, it won't let me. All oh, there you go. Die. Every single one. It never gave me the prompt to Wait. talk to him. Those clothes. Uh, Leo? You came back? Oh. I, I, I killed countless puppets to atone for what I did. I didn't mean to break my vow. I was just so scared. I'm sorry I ran away. Oh, if you're a ghost, just leave me be. It's the weight of guilt. The burden never gets lighter. All puppets must die. Oh, I like his mask. His mask, his mask is actually really cool. Oh, wow. He actually gave his back to me. That's hilarious. Ow, this guy's fast. Ah. I wish I'd known. But surviving is a hell of a thing. Okay. This guy's very fast. God damn, blocking's hard. Oh boy, red attack. I was trying to get away, I'm trying to get a heal in actually. I feel like we're using the same weapon, just he's using Nice block. Ah. Yo, this guy does not have any stamina. There you go. This guy literally does not have stamina. Ah, oh, god damn it. Yo. I'm trying to block this guy, but he's fucking hard. Holy crap. He's not an overly hard boss. Like, oh shit. God damn this guy. Suck it. Come here. Doing the little Mortal Kombat. So we get his we get his uh, attire. Do I have to, to the puppet saber? I was afraid to die. Do we get um? Do I have to collect all of the different clothing in this too? Scorpion kill exactly. I wasn't sure if it was gonna work, but I'm glad it did. Oh, I know where we are. Interesting. I I came to this door multiple times. But I didn't know how to get through to it. Interesting. Interesting. What's with the spotlight? Oh, so as we progress through the different... Um, as we progress through the different bosses and stuff like that, the time does change. The weather changes. The time of day changes. So now we're at more of the night. So the spotlights are here. But I don't know if there's any reason for the spotlights to actually exist, honestly. I don't know. I don't think it really matters. And you got an emote that is needed for a trophy. Oh, really? Okay, so... I mean, I'm assuming we need to kill all the all the bosses at some point anyways. But yeah, not bad. I guess we're going to go talk to... Let's head back to the hotel. Yeah, let's head back to the hotel. And we can talk to... I think uh, what's-his-name is going to be there. We'll go talk to my dad and see what happens. You need all the emotes for a trophy also. Really? Okay. Mm, all the emotes. They're going to be hunting. Automated puppets that use Urgo were developed by the hand of the stubborn craftsman. It did not take long for Krat to enter its golden era through the aut automated puppet industry. So, it, what's funny is that the load time on the PlayStation 5 happens to be so fast that I can't even read that half the time, which is a little lame. I'd probably like to read all the little bit of lore that they give you, or even the tips, but uh, you don't even get a chance to read it sometimes. You don't even get a chance to read it. It's so unfortunate. Uh, what do we want to keep doing? A little bit of technique. I just lowered my technique. So actually, uh, my weapon doesn't even increase with technique anymore. It's just motive. My god. All motive all the time. 
I don't know if that's a good thing. Is there any way to add mode, uh, add something else? I guess I can add advanced, but and that doesn't lower my my motive. But hit that thirty. Uh, the times of helpful load screen tips are over. Seriously, eh? It's a bygone era now. A bygone era. Damn you, SSD load times, right? I think. Fuck, it feels like it's been so long since I played this. Really, Lone Wolf. Well, when, did you play this when it came out? Where is Mr. What's his name? Is he not here with my father? I didn't design every puppet and cry. No, you didn't. It is not surprising that some puppets broke away from the Grand Covenant. I've no idea how many. I remember a few ergo puppets behaving according to their own volition before the frenzy. That wasn't our intention. They were never designed to act that way. But if a puppet starts acting on its own, does that mean the puppet has free will? Or is someone else controlling the puppet? Interesting philosophy right there. The city of Krat. It's probably not how you remember it, eh? I thought it was an NVME, Yona. Any questions, and I'll fill in the gaps. Um, okay, well, I mean, I literally just saved the dude. Is he not here yet? Is he in one of the other rooms? He said he would meet me here later. I don't know if now is later, maybe it's not. Maybe I came here too early, and he's not actually here somewhere. But he could just be hanging out in one of the rooms. That one's locked. That one's locked. He is nowhere. Too bad. And she didn't say anything about that. I guess that's it. No one's here. Wait, is that his butler? Oh, we found his butler. Oh, this is the one I should have talked to. I am Master Vanini's Major Domo. Pulcinella, at your service, sir. This guy's awesome. Vanini carries only the finest in luxury merchandise. I believe you'll find all items to be both superior quality and distinguished provenance. I am certain you will be able to find something that suits you, sir. Oh, is he going to give me all the clothes? At the house of Anini, even priceless things have a price. Every item is a treasure of distinguished quality and superior provenance. Purchase. Oh, so this guy just sells new stuff. Oh, he's got cranks. I can get whatever crank I want. A balance crank. A crank that changes the weapon's properties. It alters the handles. So how does the balance one work? Hmm. I wish it gave me a little bit more detail here. And we also we also got the gr the gr the grindstone and some liner. I don't know what the hell the liner's for. Interesting though. Might as like ah uh, yes, the house of pa Panini. Oh my god. Balance resets the default scaling. Okay. It's basically reset. Oh. There you are, my boy. My savior. Yes, that's the word. You took back the factory, and I cannot thank you enough. Without the factory, no more new puppets. The army has run out of recruits. My friend, you saved, well, all of us. Ah, but listen to me going on and on about my concerns, and I don't believe I've even introduced myself. Signor Lorenzini Venigni. Venigni. Bon vivant, and... At the moment, utterly at your service, my friend. If the name Venigni rings no bells, perhaps you've heard of Kratz, Prince of High Society. That is because they are one and the same. Just two of the many names I've collected in my three decades here on Earth. He's only 30? While I sincerely believe meeting Venigni is its own reward, I have not rewarded you in the more uh, traditional manner. Please. Take this, my newest prototype. It'll be safe with you. It's a grinder stone that keeps granting special attributes to the grinder. I hope you'll put it to good use. So this is reusable weapon buff? Hmm. You can equip a special grindstone on a grinder through a Venini or a Stargazer. There are different types special grindstones that grant different effects to your weapon. You can use a special grindstone effect in battle only once, but it recharges if you revive or visit a stargazer. Only once. Okay, but it okay, so it's just reusable, but it's only one time. Interesting. 
So if I look at that, do I even have something to put into that right now? But it recharges, huh? Um, bag. Where's my grindstone? That's a repair tool. So where do the grindstones even go? Basic items? No, it's consumables, but not consumables. Uh, grind, modificator activated. Okay, so it's kind of like assembly... Uh, sorry, Enigma assembly tool. Okay. So how do I even equip this then? That's the grindstone. Oh. So the, it's not a usable? Oh, it's this. Okay. No, that's not it. Is it not a usable item? How do I even apply it then? Uh, the grindstone is what repairs your... Oh! So it automatically buffs it when I use this. He's gotten off my legion arm. Uh, then my eyes do not deceive me. I never imagined I'd actually see it again. And in the flesh, so to speak. I just designed it, set it aside, and never got back to it. Genius and the claim can keep one quite preoccupied, I'm afraid. You are really interested in the arm, I see. Then, my friend, you shall have it. It just needs a few mechanical adjustments to fit your um, particular needs. And frankly, this design is almost child's play to me now, so let's start by making it a bit stronger, shall we? Shall we? I will also add what we brilliant inventors call modularity. That means it will be much easier to improve and repair since you'll be able to use commonly found parts. You might say this arm's new abilities are... Uh, legion. Legion. <laughs> <clears throat> no. Too much? It was too much. Um, Mama was welcome in. I'm not, I'm using the umbrella in the sense that all of these little stargazer things are umbrellas. I don't have that weapon though, if, if there is an umbrella weapon. And Flower, I'm gonna find out afterwards if, um, if I got the Ida in. I'm gonna check the mail after. I might get it today or I might get it tomorrow. I know it's in the country though, so hopefully I'll get it. If not, we'll have to do something else tomorrow. So how do I equip... There's something here. So how do I equip the thing to the grindstone then? Uh, you can upgrade. The upgrade station is to the left of Vanini. Talk to him again. Again. My god. Oh, that grindstone. Okay, I see it. I always welcome friends. May I be of service? Oh, I have to imbue it first. Switch grindstone grinders. Ah. So I can just add the flame grindstone. And I can only do that once. And then I can come here to what? Switch legion arm. Craft legion arm. Mortify. I can craft stuff. The flameberg. Oh boy, there's a lot of these. High-powered flame amplifier. The Legion... Ooh, I can make this. So I, I'm assuming I need all of these. Mama Wiz, how you doing? How's your Monday been so far? I guess... Does it, like... Do I, I need to use all of these? A Legion plug. I don't have any plugs. You need to craft them all, yes? So Wave of Fire. Do I need to upgrade them or what? So I need to craft all of these. I don't have any of the Legion plugs, but anyways... See, my battery's already dying. This battery lasted three and a half hours. Big rip. <clears throat> What's this? A matza. That is one slick prototype. You think it's a tram for crickets? A cricket tram? Is that supposed to be some sort of um, random... Can I not upgrade the ones that I'm already using? Uh, modify Legion Arm. Oh, I can. Puppet String. Do I want to use any of the other ones? What does the Puppet String upgrade to? Trance. I got a Legion Caliber. Press and hold the Legion Arm button to track an enemy. To track an enemy. So wait, I go to it instead of him coming to me? I guess that's not so bad. I can get to a boss really quick. Dodge. Enable dodging after a hit. Oh, okay. I don't know if I want to upgrade this. Yo, Xenia. I'm doing good. How are you doing? Welcome in. What is up? I, was, I, don't, I honestly don't know if I want to increase attack fire range. Maybe the fire is good. I don't know. What did the rest of these do? Legion arm that can install a motion sensing landmine. Okay. A legion arm that fires a sticky acidic substance. Okay. Corrosive is nice. 
A legion armor that can block enemy attacks with your left arm. Okay, it's a shield. A legion armor that fires armor pieces and shells from a distance. The launcher shell explodes soon after they land. I don't know which one I want to use. Attack link. If you pull a wire, if you pull or wire trace an enemy and press the and hold the legion button, oh, it will trigger a line attack. Wow. That's actually, that's that's probably the best thing about it, honestly. But this is good for like pleb enemies. It's not really good for bosses. You like the rocket arm? It sounds pretty cool. Leather working your hands hurt, Zenia. Well, take care of yourself if you need to take a break. I'm glad you're having a good one, though. You're having a good start to the year so far. Uh, I used the line gun the moment I got it, and I barely changed. The line gun, huh? You mean this one? The falcon eyes... Is that the line gun? I don't even know. The attack link does a ton of stagger damage, yeah? You could whip enemies in the balls. Uh, the falcon eyes was your secondary, yeah? It sounds like it, it's pretty good. I, I do like the puppet string, so maybe we do upgrade this for now. Um, so I can go towards them, but... Mm -hmm. Interesting. Very interesting. Well, I think that's it for us today, though. It's just about four o'clock. I have to start getting a dinner ready. It's going to take a while to cook in the oven because it's it was frozen. I took it out a little while ago, um, but um, it's definitely not refrosted, uh, defrosted just yet. In any case, when we get back to this um, on Wednesday, Wednesday, yes, it's Monday today. Um, we're going to be continuing off from the workshop and we're going to go deeper into the factory, I guess, to get to the cathedral to save whoever is in the cathedral. My father was talking about it before, but uh, we'll get to this. Uh, first thing, Wednesday morning. Um, so thank you very much for hanging out with me. I really appreciate it. Mm -hmm.